go live. Well, hey, apparently I'm live. So um, you're going to get this 30 seconds ago. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, you're watching something that I was going to talk about. I thought I was live, but now I'm actually live. So, yeah, hello. Uh, Matthew Williams, The Secret Vault here, and cheers. I'm going to show you from the scratch, from zero, how to edit a video, which is basically um, one I forgot about. I'm going to do one from Dover, and uh, it's fairly benign. There might be some bad language we need to cut out of it, but um, yeah, I thought it'd be interesting for you to see how we do these things. So, the haunted coachman says hi, Matt, and Christmas Murphy says evening. Now, what I'm going to try to do is whilst I'm running the stream, I'm going to uh, see that's that's wrong now. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Uh, is that right? No. Where's the um, where's the where's the camera gone? There, there's the camera with me on it. I've done this wrong. Done this wrong. I I had this going a minute ago. Hang on, this doesn't make no sense. That doesn't make any sense. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. This is the main, and I, I just added a video source in. Sorry about this. Uh, let me do it again. So you're going to get to learn how to use OBS as well now. In addition, so video capture device. I think we said it was capture device two. It is. See, I've done. I've done all this. I've already done this. This is crazy. So this one here, I want to zip this down to the edge like that, uh, so you can have a little window to see when I'm talking um, but it'll allow you to see most of the uh, most of the controls and most of what's going on here <sighs> and if I need to I can turn it on and off so I can get it move it out of the way um, hello from pool in Dorset hello Vauxhall mechanic and Scotty B um, yeah the the little camera the 360 camera is quite good isn't it um, they're quite cheap now as well they're only about 230 quid something like that is the cheapest I've seen it's an insta 1x360 it's a tiny little thing I just put it on a pole up there whilst I'm doing stuff so it's out of, out, out of the way and you can see forwards and backwards then pretty cool but anyway what we got here is um, a Adobe Premiere as you can see on the screen and a Adobe Premiere is a video editing package um, you get it on Windows and Mac so this will be useful to everybody if you're interested in using a Mac I can't understand why you would but uh, some people do these things it can be, it can be pretty crazy some people um, evening people what's going on well I'm going to show you Matt Jackson I'm going to show you how to edit a video from scratch so you've just come in at about the right time now I have set it up here already right on a timeline but I want to show you from scratch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these here and I'm going to start this as if this was completely new so I'm going to these are all my projects here which um, some of them you won't have seen because they haven't been finished there's bits and pieces and lots and lots of mess but what I'm going to do is create a new folder I'm going to call it Dover 555 okay uh, us Drover 555 but uh, I'm going to change the spelling so it doesn't matter I'm not totally OCD Dover Dov 555 you know what we mean otherwise we'll be here all bloody day right so anyway over here um, in a folder called Urbex Dover with Ian of IKS 28th to the 8th 2019 we've got a load of video files now I'm not sure which ones are which so we're going to sort them out as we edit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these so I've, I've selected them all so you can see I've selected them all like that I'm going to drag and hold on Premiere wait a couple of seconds it's important you wait a few seconds then drag up to the Dover 555 folder then let go now this can take time this can be slow so um yeah so um how much was it to hire a scooter in paris well it was supposed to be um one person rides one goes free it, it actually turned out that um i think we ended up both paying but it's just you know because that's how they get you isn't it they go well, it's going to be free and then actually we just charged your account mm. can't be asked though i think it worked out 
oh, for like an hour was 11 quid or 11 euros, something like that. So I think, you know, because I had it for two hours um, total, I think it came out to about 20 euros, which is not bad because a taxi would have cost a fortune and you just, all you'd have been doing is just stuck in traffic. Anyway, um, da -da 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 -da. if you want to find out more um, Haunted Coachman, just, just check out Lime, Lime Scooters, and they'll have all the details. Um, is my camera waterproof? The 360 isn't, but you can get a waterproof mount for them to be used in underwater. So I, I should get one of those. Um, well, hey, there she is, Ghosty G. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, yeah, scooters, scooters and lobsters. Okay, so I'll try and scan this. If if I haven't, um, what I would suggest. This is what I said to people in the past. Uh, if you are asking me a question you'd like me to answer, put it in capitals, and then as I scan back through, I'll I'll spot those easier. So if you're just making a general comment for everybody else to read, lowercase. If you want me to answer something specifically, or you want me to see it, very important I see it, then put it uppercase. Helps me scan through, because I'm just going to go into this now. So anyway, here we are, Dover 505, we can see up here um, in this section. And then what you do is, although we've copied them in, we have to highlight them again, and we have to drag and drop them onto this little new icon here. This one here, you see? So drag it and drag, drop it on there. It then creates a new project. It doesn't have a name, so it's just called itself 06. I'm going to name it, I'm going to call it Dover 555, okay, even though it's in a folder called Dover 555, the project needs a name as well inside there. So now we've got all the footage, right? and you'll notice it looks very creamy at the moment, there's a reason for that, but go with it, don't worry about that. So I can skim forward through the footage, like this, and by the way, I don't know what this is looking like, I'm, I'm tempted to actually, um, does it look okay? Where's the dog? I don't know actually, I'll have to call her. Angel! So anyway, uh, Angel tweets. She'll come straight away when I say tweets. That's what she's interested in. Here you go. There she is. Having a treat. Go beds then, go beds. Go beds. No, not in this one. Oh, she wants to go on the bed now. Right, hang on. Oh. And if anyone's interested, look, I've actually started f repairing my uh, repairing my Phantom 4. The legs were all smashed off it. Um, so the other, oh, the other half, I was going to say. Uh, the legs were all off it, so now they're on. All the wires have been fed through, ready to put onto the circuit board. Um, it did actually smash two, uh, two of these... You can see where I've been. I've done epoxy resin on it, so I've basically epoxied up the two little sensor cameras for you know not hitting things, and then I'm going to put it all back together. I'm going to I'm going to do one more layer of epoxy for good luck, and then leave it dry for 24 hours, and then I'm going to put it back together. It should work. Anyway, that's what I've been up to there. And I was going to say that's why why she can't go on the bed, but now she can. So do you want to go to bed? Do you want to go to beds? Go on in. Go to bed then. Go to beds. Yay! Angels on the beds. Angels on the beds. Angels on the beds. Yay! I'll keep a, a you know what for later on a T R E A T. Yeah, we haven't got nothing now. Nothing now. Nothing because she'll just sit there for hours just looking at me like this. And I have to, like, you know, I really don't have anything, honestly. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the editing. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. If I can move that to the top, that would be easier, yeah, because I know where I am then. Right, so, um, uh, yeah, Steve Wills, <laughs> it's very creamy. Yes, it is very creamy, the footage, and that is because it's shot professionally. And guess what? The more professional the camera you have, the more it shoots creamy. And there's a reason for that, but if you're not into professional editing, you won't know this, but it's called log colour. And log colour, I will show you now. This is one of the first things I do, actually. One of the very first things I do. Uh, let me just change the quality to half quality. So you come along, this, this thing down here zooms you in so you can look at bits that you're doing quicker. And this is Matt uh, from Exploring with Matty, by the way. So you can press play, hit the spacebar to press play, hit the spacebar to stop. There's me. Dog's got hiccups. 
listen. There it goes, actually got hiccups. Now it looks very creamy, looks unnatural. And what it does is it compresses the um, the highlights and the blacks up into the middle. So anything that would have been deep dark black, it now becomes gray. And anything that would have been super white is kind of brought down as well. So it's in this kind of compressed range. Now what that means, it looks very low contrasty, but when you then put the log mode, the log color mode on in Premiere, um, suddenly, boosh, you get all these colors back. And what it allows you to do is, I'll show you, I'll show you. Right, so what we do is we switch to the color window up here, color, okay. And I have to set the master color for the first um, clip. And then I'm gonna copy that master color into all the other clips. So here we are. Now, this, this is how it's shot on the camera. I could manually tweak it up by putting in some more contrast, um, taking the highlights down maybe, taking the shadows down, um, tweaking around like this and then adjusting the color, you know, getting it a bit like that. I can do that, but that's not really giving you the full dynamic range. So what you do is you don't do any of that. So I'll have to reset all these now, um, which you do by going over here, over here. And I will press the reset button on the Lumetri color panel. It's called Lumetri or Lumetri. So um, I'm gonna dial in that I'm using the S log two mode on my Sony A7S and I want to turn S log two into Rec 709 which is HD color for HD televisions. Um, there's also H uh, Rec 2020 which is HDR basically but I don't want to do HDR because it's a whole different kettle of fish. So um, S log two color shot on the camera into 709 see what it does. Bang straight away it sorts out most of the color problems for you but Here's where the magic happens, right? A lot of people say, well, why bother? Why not just shoot it with black and deep blacks and all that? Because you don't have to bother then. Well, where it comes in really important is if you have to seriously color alter things, right? That would not look very good at all if you shot it on normal color mode and you'd get banding in the clouds and stripes and things like that, yeah? But when you're doing it uh, with log color, it allows you to color adjust without um, too many problems. So now I can make the blacks a bit blacker I can um, or put them up, take the highlights down so you get the clouds back in. You know, you can get the clouds in, you see, stuff you wouldn't have seen before. Um, yeah, and you just basically tweak around. Now, and then you have to play it a little bit, make sure it looks natural. Now you see the, the whites there. Now I've got bad color vision, so believe it or not, it's really hard for me to actually do the colors in these videos. And you've probably noticed that sometimes my colors don't look right. And they do for me when I'm editing them, but everybody else could immediately tell in a heartbeat, that looks terrible. So what I have to do is I have to reference back and forth many times and use a thing called the white balance. Now white balance doesn't work with the log color on, so you have to turn the log color off. You use this little eyedropper here, you press the eyedropper and you take the eyedropper onto your scene and you choose something that's white, but it's not being illuminated um, or not picking up any colors from like grass, not picking up any colors from other objects. It's something that's just generally white without being affected by other objects. That's usually a good thing to white balance on. So that looks white. So you try it and you see, does that actually look any better? And it's again, it's hard for me to tell. So what I tend to do is I ramp the color up like that so I can see, and then I do it a few times and I just see, does it change? And what will happen is these sliders here will slide around, okay? So you'll have more pink, more green, or you'll have more blue or more red, okay? That's how the, the, the color system works. So you, I'll, I'll do it a couple of times, and now the sky looks a bit murky, but it's gone a bit more towards the red there. If I do it again, I know, see it's gone a bit more towards the blue. So it depends on the day. You can actually artificially make gray days look blue. Um, and you can also say the light areas, like the sky, make this like the, make the sky bluer. Watch now. Um, make the sky bluer, but don't affect my skin. You see, which is the highlights. You see, so I can make the sky more blue, but without affecting my skin so much. There's little things like that, you know. So um, come back to that if we need it. But anyway, so I get the color looking okay in non-lumetri color mode. So I think it's basically telling me it needs a little bit of blue and it's a bit over into the green so it's gone blue a bit more blue a bit more green once you've done that you can then turn the color mode back on and i can turn the color back down to where it should be which is about there now never take that as red scan through the footage and you can basically there's ian from iks you can then um 
kind of work out if everything looks okay. All right, so the sky's looking a bit bright, but that's not always a problem because you sometimes want to go for that bright look. But sometimes what happens is the sky gets blown out. So you, you're losing the, the tonality in the sky, which is like that. That's how it is as standard. So you can pull the highlights down like that. Now you can't do that if you don't use log mode because once you've got the sky is burnt in on normal footage, it tends to be, you can move it up and down, but it'll just sort of go like that. With log color, because you've, you've compressed the image down, then you can do this and you can get a lot more of the sky back in. It will have slight effects in the foreground, but you know, now I tend to like to get the sky in. So I tend to sort of punch that down quite a lot. And then I might bring the, the foreground up a little bit and a little bit more, little bit more contrast maybe, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, so then you've got to go back and forward. Does that look natural? Now you tell me, um, <laughs> exploring with Matty says he's, he's watching. Hey, look mate, look, look Matt, it's you man. It's you, it's you, man. Look, look, exploring with Matty from the, from the rear. Look, in his glory. <laughs> it's, my, it's exploring with Matty, and he's on the channel. Hello, Mr. Diggers, as well. Um, so let's have a look. Do I have an Apple Mac? Are you kidding? Don't don't start me on that one. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Um, yeah. So I didn't take the dog to France. And um, yeah, so if you want to ask me a question, put it in capitals. Um, yeah, Matt says he remembers walking up that hill. We were, you'll see it in a minute because we were actually walking up the hill going, oh my God, it was actually horrible. But I'll tell you why now. Well, you can see it for yourself. You'll see it in a sec. And we're probably swearing a lot because it was, it was evil. So um, where was I? I think I've done the colors, but you tell me, is it, does this look correct now? Some people use this method. When they're in the color mode, they go to the Lumetri panel over here and they try to see when they move these around, do they look balanced? I.e., is there is there when when the red and the green and the blue kind of meet each other, people say, well, that's where the balance should be. That's the perfect balance where they're kind of overlapping each other, you see, as this panel on the left. So um I'm not a big believer in that, because if you if you mush them in the middle, I would say to me with my bad color vision that looks red okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna opt for the slightly bluer looking because it's more natural but you see what it does over here is it pushes the blue up but i think that's that's how it's how this scene is meant to look but some people would tell you you do it differently to that um so oh there we are always remember to save your project um <laughs> because Premiere crashes a lot, as you will probably see. Um, it crashes on a Mac, it crashes on PCs, and so does Final uh, Final Cut Pro it crashes on a Mac as well. Luckily enough, when you get used to these editing systems, you kind of know what to do, what not to do, and you always constantly control S, control S, control S, save. So you'll see me doing that a lot. You can put it on uh, automatic save as well, which is important if you go to, um, uh, project playback, or what is it? Memory? It's one of these. And it basically says auto save every blah minutes. Where is it? Auto save every 15 minutes. I'm going to say every five minutes because I'm surprised I haven't actually put that up to faster. Um, what it means, if imagine if you lose 15 minutes of work and the program crashes and you have to go back and do that 15 minutes again. It's a killer. It's a killer. It, it, it ugh, oh, you don't want to do it. Don't go there. Yeah. So if you've done something big and important, control S. If you forget it, every five minutes it'll do an autosave. And if you if you then come back in, it won't automatically bring that autosave back up. But if you go into the Adobe project folder, there's a backup autosave folder. You look down to the last file and that will bring it back up for you. So you'll have only lost a few minutes. I'm surprised I haven't done that before, down to five minutes. Um, yeah, right, so... Uh, um, do I like Space 1999? God, you're going to take me off the bloody topic here, aren't you? Um, try and keep it on Premiere, folks. I don't mind ask, answering questions, but it's going to take me way off. Uh, yeah, I used to like it. Martin Landau and all the um, Moonbase Alpha. And, um, yeah, what was it now? Uh, yeah, the... Uh, Remind me, reminded me. Well, it was actually done by Jerry Anderson. I was going to say, it reminded me of the, the the program called UFO by Jerry Anderson, which is classic. I I like them. They're good, stylish, um, good stylish things, and uh, employed its own kind of unique style of editing. You know, kind of like jerk editing um, to kind of change scenes. Uh, right. Okay. So anyway, 
we've done the color on this one i think that looks okay i could i could go even further right but this is going to get complicated for you but there is a master color which adjusts the colors before the luma tree right which i sometimes like to do that uh that and that and that before you go into luma tree and i tend to find that the effect is sometimes better in the skies but it hasn't done an awful lot there so i'm going to put it back okay so it's it's a lot easier if you just use each individual clip and you put the colors on each individual clip now uh up here in the top left when you scroll with your mouse button or you click this button you get your other screens now i can be in editing mode color mode audio mode graphics mode there are all these modes up the top okay now i'm in color mode at the moment which means i get this color bar down the side which allows me to do the sliders now when you set up that color mode you can set up which panels will be available over here on the left and um, i choose to have my uh, music and my clips here the effect controls here um, and then you've got the Lumetri panel for color and audio. And that's all about all I that's all I ever use. So you don't need much more than that. But when I go to edit mode, which I'll show you here, editing, okay, it 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 gets me some of the screen back because the color panel has disappeared on the right hand side now. So I'll show that to you again, right? So when you're in color mode, you get this whole color panel comes up here, which is nice for quickly and easily messing around with the, the colours. And I can undo my mistakes by Control Z gets you back. It does undo. Control Z is an undo on the keyboard. I believe that works on PC and Mac. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, when I go into editing mode, watch now. This panel on the right will disappear, and you get more real estate to edit within. Um, so now I've got the baked in, uh, the baked in color here. I go to the effect panel. So you see, I've got effects and audio. Uh, you know, so effect project and I can just scroll back and forth so on effects I've now got a thing for lumetri colors has appeared so watch if I select the next clip we have not adjusted the color in the second clip so if I go to that clip you see there's no lumetri color being adjusted if I was to make an adjustment using that color panel they would appear like this one's got oops like this one's got lumetri but it hasn't got one you see so You'd have to do this for every single clip. And as you see, I've got tons and tons of clips. So what you do to save time is you select the uh, clip that does have the Lumetri color information in it, okay? You go to the effect panel, you right click Lumetri color and you copy it. You zoom out so you can see the whole project. You highlight every clip in the project that you want it to be pasted into and then you can either right click and do paste okay which isn't letting me do it okay for some reason um, or you can control v which will let me do it so if i control v you'll see now the blue fx appeared then right so i'll, I'll undo it watch the little blue fx i'll undo that effect if i say go on then paste that color on all of those clips for me so i can control v jump you see so you've got to learn the keys there's a lot of little keys to learn in this program and they really do some magic things. Um, so, okay, now if we go to the next clip, we've now got a bit of color in it, okay? And it may not be right, but it's a kind of a, a starting point, yeah? And yeah, we've got sort of more color. It's a bit dark, I'd say. And it could be because the day got darker and then we're in somewhere underground. And because we're using the light underground, of course, the, the color balance will shift so I may change my mind and say ah I don't like the color on this and we'll adjust it and then we'll paste it to all the applicable clips until we get back outdoors okay so um, uh, so let's have a look Kojak's football sack hello sir I believe this person lives uh, just down the road from me so I've been told I think he told me oh. um, Andrew J Andrew J master a lot master of a lot sir nice to see you behind the scenes yeah yeah trying to keep warm yeah um so what do we got then um right we've done the color 
So now let's listen to the audio level and see what we've got there. So the thing, I, what I've done here is I put my audio panel down here on the right, and you can squish them down and you can zoom them up. It depends on your preference. So you can re you can adjust these things and you can put the panels where you want them. And if you've got two or three screens, you can put the audio panel on that screen over there, and you can put your effects panel up here on this screen to the left of you, and you can have the project in the middle, and you can just move all these panels around. Um, how I do it is I've got a big television over here, as I'll show you now. Right. Oh, can you play? Can you see this? It's huge, huge television, yeah? It's a 50 inch job, yeah? Or, uh, is it 50 inch? I can't remember now. I think it's about, it's about that big. It's about that big. I hope you can see that. So, uh, I can't remember how big it is now. Uh, 46 inch, so it's nearly 50 inch. Um, anyway, I normally, but I can't do it with because I'm sending you the video. I normally have the small screen over here on the right is my preview window and the full HD high quality image is here on the left. So I, I mess around and I do what I'm doing here. And on the left hand screen, I can if I want to see it high quality, I don't have to go full screen on that one. I can just look to the left and see the full screen effect on that one. So that's how I've got it set up. But because I'm live streaming, I have to keep this screen kind of free because uh, the process is probably going nuts at the moment. Um, right, so what's the audio level like? Let's just play. And you can see down here, if I bring my cursor down onto one of the audio tracks here and I slide the mouse, you have to be in a blank area. If I slide the mouse um, roller, the roller control, up and down, it will stretch and open and close um, these, little, uh, these little things so you can see them better. Um, if I come up here like this, I can actually adjust my window smaller and see a lot more of these if I want to you know I can do that sort of thing you know so it all depends how you want to set yourself up I, I like it about that size I don't need to see the audio waveforms bigger than that because I know what I'm doing and if I want to know how loud they are I don't really like looking at them like that I like to press play and watch on the right hand side to see how big the audio peaking is. If any coppers ask you, like, uh, what... Now we're quite lucky because that's peaking at 12, minus 12 dB. Now minus 12 is in some circles supposed to be um, voice. Okay, minus 6 would be loud effects and loud music and 0, near 0, which you've got to be very careful not to go too too high, but near zero would be very loud sound effects like explosions and things like that. So, you know, some people, they do them, their videos are quite quiet, you know, down like 24 and stuff like that. But it means that some people can't hear these things on and they've got to turn their television really high up. And then when another video comes on, it's like blasting. And this is because people don't follow the conventions of what the sound levels are meant to be at. Now, I was kind of taught, you can look these things up, that it's 12 is voice. So I stick for voice at 12, music a little bit higher than 12, and um, background then is whatever it is from 12 down. So it doesn't seem too bad, actually. So let's what just do it. And uh, you say, oh, look, and they go, oh, it's eucalyptus. Right, so oh, that's... shit, everywhere. So they seem to be peaking about 12 quite nicely. I'll see you in a minute. So that's because I've set my camera up quite well. Not always do they come out like that. They sometimes don't come out. But I can't even feel it now. And uh, so they seem don't to be okay. That's not too bad. Now, what I tend to do because I don't, um, I don't have a, a directional mic on my camera. So when people walk away, they get very quiet. They get very quiet. Yeah. So when they walk away from you. you and then they walk back to you and you can hear them perfectly. Now I'm at minus 12 dB, and this is a problem, okay? So if I'm talking and then they disappear because they're saying something, it's loud, quiet, loud, quiet, loud, quiet. So to get around this, I do a thing called compression of the audio. A bit like compression for the video, like uh, compressing the colors. What you do is you make this the quiet sounds come up and you make the loud sounds come down. So you compress it all into a narrow band around minus 12 dB. And the way you do that is you come to your effects panel, which I've got down here, and you just type in compress or compre, compress. And there's a multi-band compressor here. And what I do is I bang that on the timeline. And once I put an effect on the timeline, it's recorded in the effects control panel up here. So now we've got lumetri color is one effect and we've got multi-band compressor, okay? so. If I edit that and open it up, I'm going to do what I did earlier. I'm going to copy this to all of them. 
Um, basically, uh, without explaining the di everything about it to you, I'm going to click a couple of boxes here, and I'm going to compress the top end down, which you'll see now. So if I, when you see when you see red, it means it's getting close to the top, and it'll bring it down. Okay, so I'm going to bring it all down to about minus 24, and you'll see red. See the red on this one? Come on, say something, Matt. Come on, I've got to get it to a place where I'm actually speaking. Because then it's very loud. Okay, hang on. Let's get it to somewhere where I'm saying something. Whoa. There's only so much German lean. Right, so let's get back to that effects thing again. Right, now what I'm looking for is the reds. When the reds come down, it means I'm talking very loudly close to the mic. So it's bap, 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 bap. And I want to bring those down and I want to bring the bottom stuff up. So let's look for the... In my, uh, you see? The reds, the reds are peaking too much. So by pulling all these controls down, I bring the top down. And then what you do is you bring the bottom end up, which is known as gain. So you turn the gain at the bottom up to about six, eight or 12. Don't go too mad, right? So that brings the bottom up, the quiets up, and then you bring the tops down. So listen to the difference. So I'll, I'll, I'll try it with it on and off so you can hear it, so. Ow. Right, that's not too bad. So that's on. We're out now. And this is with it off. So. so what you find is that the quiet sounds of like rustling, which would have been very quiet. Listen to how quiet they are. They come louder, but this is with it off. They're all quite quiet here. The background's fairly quiet. Okay, but if I turn the effect on, listen now, the background comes up. God damn it. But now I'm not I'm not booming because I haven't turned all the volumes up. I've brought me down and I've brought the background up. So this means you'll be able to hear people shouting in the distance and talking in the distance. But you'll also hear a lot more noise of little things. You'll hear little pin drops, yeah? So anyway, um, off. On. So you can hear them talking in the distance a little bit now, right? But if I turn it off. Come on, say something, boys. Hang on a minute, guys. Fucking knackered. Or oh, carry on, but I'll just catch you up. Breathe a minute. Anyway, that's off. This is on. Anyway, trust me, it works. <coughs> now there, when I coughed, that would have gone boom through the roof. It would have redlined and it would have basically created crackling sounds. So the compressor takes care of that as well because it goes, whoa, he's too loud and it, zoom, it brings it down to 12. So have a look at the 12 now when I, let me go in close. I wanna hear that cough again, okay? So there's a cough there, watch, the, watch now. <coughs> See, it mostly goes around 12. Now, what would have happened if I turned the compressor off and listened to it then? And watch the watch the bar on the right-hand side. It'll go through the roof and it'll blow people's speakers out. <coughs> well, actually, it's mostly mostly around 12 again because they set the camera up quite well. But sometimes it's the loudest bits like this here. So, in my uh, first aid kit. So I'm quite loud. I'm going above 12. So let's do the in my first aid kit again. I'll turn it on. Watch now. In my uh, it's not doing an awful lot. I think I'm going to turn it down to 36. 36. There we are. Let's try that. Try the 36. So uh, did it. In my uh, first aid kit. There we are. It's peaking about 12 now. So it's either 24 or 36. I normally turn the compression down to. Now it'll bring them right up to me, but it brings me down. So anyway. Ow. Right. That's not too bad. Will you? And it just means I can hear people in the distance, you know. And some people say, well, put a directional mic on, but it's just more weight and it's the gimbal and, uh, you know. I think it's just better to record it like this and do it when you come back home, to be honest. Um, right, the other thing you'll hear is it's not very nice audio because the way the camera records is without any bass. So we can fix that by putting the EQ up on the bass. So I just type EQ and put a graf graphic on it. Oh, that's the old EQ. Hang on, sorry, I picked the wrong one. Graph equalizer 10 band, nice and simple. All right, uh, so let's get rid of the EQ. So now we've got multi band compressor and then an EQ after it. So after it's done the processing, so press play and just tweak until it sounds nice. It usually just needs a bit of bass. We're out now. So. Yeah. 
So, God damn it. So I said a bit more boomy now. So I'll turn it off. That was flat. Now it sounds bassy. So I'll, I'll get it to where so people are talking so you can hear the difference, right? Let's get it to where some people are talking. Come on. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Uh, let's get it to where somebody's saying something apart from me. Oh, here we go. Right. So listen to the difference with the EQ off. You'll see me turn it off and the compressor off. So just watch me on the left hand side. Listen to the effects. Okay. I'm just going to not tell you what I'm doing. I'm just going to press the buttons now. Oh, that's all right. Had to give me one last any time on the way out. Typical. The bass off. One last bloody compressor off. Nettle or thorn that says like, see ya. Enjoy your stay. Come again. Right, so let's get back to where people are talking. I've turned the compressor off and the. Intro. You know, uh, About five minutes, eh? Okay, I'm, on. I'm too far out, yeah. There we go. Ow! Had to get me one. Oh, that's alright. So listen to Ian's volume there, level there. Had to get me one. Oh, that's alright. So listen to Ian's quiet and I'm loud. Now, if I turn it on, listen to Ian now. Had to get me one. Oh, that's alright. At least about the same level. I'm going to boost the gain up again. I'm going to, I'm going to go a bit mad. I'm going to turn it up to like ten. So now, now Ian should be more where I am now. Listen to the volume levels. Ow! Had to get me one. Oh, that's all right. Had to get me one last bloody time. You see? Watch the right hand side. Ian's coming up to about just under twelve, and I'm just a little bit over twelve. Instead of Ian being like down here and me being up there, Ian's now level with me. That's what a compressor does. So yeah. Had to get me one. Oh, that's all right. Now it sounds tinny because I've turned off the equaliser. Let's turn the equaliser back on. It should sound a bit more rich now. Had to get me one. Oh, that's all right. Had to get me one last bloody time on the way. So there we are. So we're pretty much nearly now. We've got all the sound we want to hear. We've got the colours we want to see. Almost. It's looking a little bit creamy, but we'll sort that out a bit later on. Um, so we're ready to copy these effects now to all the other all the other clips so I just select them in effects controls control C to copy on the keyboard um, and then I come back to my original clip I will paste it control V and you'll see that it's pasted it into the original clip here and we've got all these other clips as well which I want to do which is all of these so it's gonna be quite hard to select some of these so um, I'm gonna do it that way and then I'm gonna select a load more and do all the rest of them and control V on those now move to the clips select one scroll down and you see graphic equalizer multiband compressor we come all the way along to the end and we've got lumetri graphic equalizer multiband compressor ah it's it's for some reason it's put the graphic equalizer before the compressor it shouldn't have done that that's naughty but it doesn't really matter let's listen and this was used this was all put in for the channel tunnel feed. right okay yeah. okay so that's pretty much good to go um wind noise we can get rid of a little bit with a, a wind filter thing i'll show you that later but anyway um so Back to the beginning. Let's have a look at what people have been saying for a minute. Um, so if you want to ask me a question or want me to respond, put it in capitals. If you just want me to read it later, just leave it in lowercase or if it's for other people. Um, do -do 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 -do. Doesn't a boom, a, a boom mix help? Doesn't a boom mix, don't know what that means. Mic, boom mic, yeah. Um, I'd have to, you'd have to carry it round and have to record it separately on a separate recorder, so you don't keep it linked to the camera, which is a pain in the ass. Mm. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, cool. Um, I haven't disabled Windows Ten. Um, I'm using Windows Seven. Um, I haven't really bothered with Windows 10 yet. I'm I'm setting it up on my big beast machine, uh, uh, dual Xeon machine. It's got uh, 12 processors and 24 threads or whatever. Um, but I just haven't got around to doing that one because the fans on it are absolutely astronomical. Whereas you can't really hear the fans on this one even when it's going full chat because I've done it really nicely myself. So I'm going to get that type of fan system in there, replacing that fan system and then yeah. Do I think YouTube will be here in 10 years? Well, I would like to see some competition because, to be honest, I think YouTube is is crumbling under its own um, wish to kind of, you know, satisfy everybody, including government, this da 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 And, you know, at the end of the day, um, I don't think Google have to really cave in to what 
the American government, the British government, all these governments want. I mean, it's just because it's based in the US. I mean, the smart money would do an offshore YouTube that could do all sorts of things that YouTube can't do. An offshore YouTube. Hint, hint, hint. Somebody who's got some money. Mm. Ah, right. Um, anyway, so there we are. We've got the sound is basically sorted. We will tweak these things later on. So that's just to give you an introduction. So now we've got all these clips. We've got to cut them down and we've got to cut out the F-bombs in there as well. So, you know, a lot of stuff gets thrown sometimes and I will sometimes chop things in a certain way that kind of looks good and, and you know, looks smoother than the actual sequence of events on the day okay so it's just little tricks of um little tricks of uh, video editing so when you see me doing this in linear order this is linear time the finished product may be that this sequence might happen a little bit before earlier on and you, yeah so don't don't worry about that but i mean so i'll just go through it so let's just just see what's going on so we've got matt and and you've got to remember it's got to be like a storyline it has to like follow a storyline not that it's faked but it has to like follow linear rather than just being a, a a random set of shots so i have to kind of cut the things out that don't make sense and keep the things in that seem to be telling a story so let's see what's happening here then so come on matt speak to me i'm gonna go click that there we are. Uh, yeah there's two mats i mean the other map but now it's me yeah so here we are so yeah man everyone everyone thinks it's, it's fucking stuff but it's mdma ketamine now I, the, believe it or not these are often the things i cut out is my jokes okay because i'm i'm constantly messing around and making jokes and when i watch myself later on i, I horrify myself and i they, they don't end up in there right so this is a joke but it's like yeah people often ask me what's in my snuff tin Okay, hang on, let's just put this on, let's put this on big screen so you can see what I mean here. All right, it's a snuff tin. Okay, so, it's snuff. They asked me, what's in my snuff tin? It's going to be a whole lot of sneezing in a minute, so, oh, I hope I don't get a sneezing fit, I often do. Um, but here we are, let's listen to what this, listen to what this, this Matt has, this Matt has to say, yeah. Let's listen to him. Uh, this is not easy to do. Okay, cool. So the joke is, right? This is a joke, by the way. Come on, why is he not starting? And I may have crashed, which I'm not. Oh, so I'm going to Control S because I'm going to lose all my edits otherwise. So you see what I mean about hitting Control S? For some reason, it didn't start playing. Then. Oh, which is usually white powder, you know. And then you you put a bit of tobacco in there, but the tobacco is really sort of. It's just for the smell, you know. So if any coppers ask you like uh, what you're doing. And uh, you say, oh, look, and they go, oh, it's eucalyptus smelly stuff, and you get, you know, so, yeah, anyway, I better start recording now. Better start recording now. Ding, ding. <laughs> See, what I'm trying to do is freak, freaky and out, because he doesn't know whether I'm being serious. I'm like, yeah, I tell everybody it's snuff, but it's actually really ketamine, MDMA, ecstasy, coke, crack, and uh, voodoo, voodoo, um, voodoo powder. Um, yeah. But and Ian's just like nodding away. <laughs> it's just like these are the bits I cut out because I decide that too much silliness probably ain't what you guys like. So, and you're all gonna go, oh no, we want to see it, we want to see it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you, you trust me, trust me. I've seen enough comments. I've seen enough comments, right, from people going, we don't like this, we don't like that. Do this, do that. I know what you guys like. I am, I am the master of putting the jokes in but I have to cut them out unfortunately because there's too many of them and they're too often so yeah let's see what we can keep and what we don't keep so ah uh, yeah so yeah man everyone everyone thinks it's, it's fucking stuff but it's MDMA can't really keep that in can I because it's just people are just going to start going nuts if I say that so I, I'm, all I'm going to keep of this is just me walking right so so let's have a look now Ah, uh, yeah, so, yeah, man. So let's see what we got at the end. I don't really want to keep this in. Okay, so we got Ian. Yeah, so, yeah, anyway, I better start recording now. Better start recording now. Ding, ding. That's a good place to start, isn't it? I get rid of the joke. And maybe I can uh, cut it like this. So I'm going to, Matt. Ah, uh, yeah, so, 
Yeah, man. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. So I'm gonna look down, but I'm not gonna start the joke. So I'm gonna look down, and then I'm just gonna cut it to the point where I go. Smelly stuff, and you get, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, I better start recording now. Better start recording now. I'm gonna start it like that. So it's a tamer joke, and it doesn't involve anything that's gonna get me in trouble with you, you know, YouTube sensors or whatever, you know, these algorithms. Yeah. Anyway, I better start recording now. Yeah. My jokes are all bums, tits, you know, very, very childish toilet humour a lot of the time. And I film loads of it, go home and, and think to myself, Matt, just stop filming that rubbish. You always, I always end up cutting it out. So, yeah, anyway, I better start recording now. Better start recording now. Yeah. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Right, so there we are. It's a, it's a safe for work joke. So what are you saying then? MDMA and crystals, respect your judgment and accept my word. Well, you're the only person that ever has Captain Tyrell, but I'll I'll buy that for a dollar. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, so, we're, uh, that house abandoned. I'm gonna keep Ian. I don't even have to, I don't have to keep the audio in here because I start speaking. I can I can fake out the audio here if I start speaking too soon. But. So we're uh, so because I I start speaking. I'm just going to cut it a bit earlier. But I want to see Ian. I want to see Ian stop on the step. So what I'll do is I'm going to go in close. I'm going to take out the audio and substitute it with some other audio. So we're. Uh, so we're, uh, and then I ask, we're, uh, is that house abandoned? That house, well, I'm talking about something else. So I'm gonna, we're, and then I'm gonna cut the audio there. So chop it. I'm gonna take out the soundtrack from there and I'm gonna find a piece of just ambient audio and just fake it in. So I'm gonna listen to the audio somewhere else. So, so, so I'm gonna chop there, chop there, copy that piece um, actually I'm just going to copy the audio so I'm just going to select the bottom part so copy that in uh, and you have to select which track you're going to copy it onto so in this case it's going to be track one but if I wanted to copy it to track two ie down here I would put my pointer in the right place and then control V and it pops onto track two but if I want to copy it to track one I'd have to have track one selected and then I'd have to put my my marker in and it would paste in as you see, so you can decide which track you're going to copy to by selecting with blue which track is selected there, and they go in priority by number order. So um, yeah, so there we are. I've got a bit of fake audio on there now to kind of cover and mask that, but it might sound jarring when you when you listen to it because it's going to go bang bang. So let's go in close, make sure there aren't any gaps. Is the first thing. Oh look, there's a tiny gap, so we've got to move it close because that'll sound horrible. And then at the end of it. We don't want a gap at the end, so I've got to move the audio up there. Now, some people may, may think this is very OCD, but trust me, video work takes ages if you want to smooth it out. You can be rough and ready, but if you want to make it smooth, you know, a one hour video is going to take you five hours to edit. So, have you got, you're going to be here at um, about four o'clock in the morning with me. So, get, get ready for a, a long one, folks. <laughs> So anyway, right, I'm going to select the audio tracks and I'm going to say over here in the effects on the left hand side, I've got some presets under mats effects here, which are ones I use commonly. And one I use is an audio fade. So I'm going to put a constant gain between there and there. And provided they're quite short, the, um, the times of these transitions, it'll very quickly move from one clip into the other, but you, you won't hear it. Listen, so. Listen, so ready. Is house abandoned? See? So I I've got the is that house abandoned now? I don't want that. So is house abandoned. So I can fake in fake in a bit more audio there by cutting out that, that bit as well. Is that house abandoned? Let's see what I'm saying first. Let's go through it. Pretty empty, I says sold says, yeah. Uh Anyway, well, that's not too bad. I can leave it like that, actually. I'm just gilding the lily here. We have a walk this up, but uh, it's a quick way. Up. 
Now sometimes, sometimes I, I do edit in high speed mode because if I haven't heard anybody speak for a while, I don't have to know what, what's going on as long as it looks okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the control key, well I'm not using the controls, what they, they're called control uh, playback controls, okay, so you've got, you've got stop, play, um, no it's backwards, stop, play and play forwards. So if you press the play forwards, um, it goes into fast forward mode. And if you press stop, it'll stop. If you go backwards and press this a couple of times, it'll go backwards. So watch what happens now. They're, they're the J, K, L and semicolon on your keyboard. This is why you see some editors have colored keyboards because certain keys are certain colors. They mean certain things. So if I press L, that'll play forwards. Oh, it's saving the project a second. Hang on. So just click up here, press L. And then I can stop it by pressing K. I can go backwards pressing J. I can go forwards pressing L. Backwards. Oh, although it has to catch up sometimes, you know. So you can kind of play with this and you can hit the space bar to start and stop as well. So I don't need to watch all this if nobody's speaking. So I'm going to fast forward through this and watch how I sort of go now. This saves a bit of time for the times when you've got to do lots and lots of editing. So I can go forwards. Just keep an eye on the volume levels. Make sure nothing bad happens that you're going to have to bring down. Well, I don't want to be filming the. F I don't want to be filming the floor. Right, that doesn't doesn't look very clever. So hang on a sec. It's a bit unprofessional, isn't it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bit out. So we got in walking. And just before, just before it starts pointing down, I'm going to put a cut point in. Now here we are, cut points. You see the razor? That's a cutter. Razor is a razor blade. So what you're doing is just like splicing old film and then joining it together, literally like that. So I'm taking a piece of film, as you can see here, right? And I can put cuts in it and I can cut it again like this. I can take a piece out and I can drag the resultant back together. So it's like cutting a piece out moving them together and putting sellotape across the join. Okay, so I'm gonna control Z and get back to where we were. So I've cut that um, cut that piece. So let's have a look at the uh, resultant. So I wanna wait until it points back up. War. So there we go, so it's back up about there. So I'm just going to put a slight fade between there now. So I'm so that trim points are set. So at this point it goes out. Watch, and at the in point it comes back in like that. Oh, actually I don't want it pointing up because that's that's jarring. So let me just move that trim point in. Okay, now I'm going to bring the footage together. Now you can either slide it, which you do one clip at a time. But then you've got to do all the rest of the clips one clip at a time, which is obviously very time consuming to do all that. So there's another way, is in the blank spot, you right click and you do ripple delete. It just brings all the clips up nice and close. Okay, so we carry on. War. So does it look nice? Let's play it, see what it looks like. War. Okay. We can put a fade, we can put a fade in there, which I can do with my transitions up here. Um, so video transitions, you've got wipes, fades, dissolves, page turns, all that sort of crap. But what I tend to do is I've got a default fade on a special key called Control D for default effect. Okay, so what I do is I select two clips and I press Control D and it puts a little fade between them. Watch now, ready? There's there's the fade, you see it? Very small, right? I'll get rid of it, I'll do it again. Control D, watch around here, okay? There's my dissolve. Now. Play it. War. Okay, we've got a cross dissolve. I can make the cross dissolve longer by stretching it, but the default is one second. War. I set it to one second. You can set it every fade to be three seconds, so your video will become very slow, fadey, and all that sort of stuff. But the default I can add is one second. So there we go. Let's have a look what we got then. Who we got and what we set, what we're talking about. Mm. Um, as I said, he doesn't watch 
he doesn't watch his videos Matt, Matty says which ones SJW what's that SJW that rings a bell that's a that's a uh, I don't know oh right um do, 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 do. yeah all right Carl how you doing man um do, 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 do. okay yeah okay yeah you're all having a nice chat amongst yourselves that's fine so let's just keep going then I'll let you carry on talking and I'll scan back in in, in a bit and uh what have we got then? Hang on. What have we got some buttons up here? Um I was toying with sticking that thing on, what's it called? Like super chat or whatever. Oh hang on, there's a button at the top. What does this do? Insert an ad. Oh, I don't want to do that. I suppose I could press that button if I go to the toilet, couldn't I? I'll press insert an ad button up here. Hmm, okay. What's this button? Create a highlight video, nah. Live stream settings. I'm not gonna play with that whilst I'm streaming. Right, okay, let's carry on. Um, is it too loud, too quiet, by the way? Um, let me know what you need me to do, if you if you want me to do something. Make it in capitals. Uh, okay, so let's press play. Come on. Just take a while to start up sometimes. Here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Start recording this again, Andrew. Yeah. We got about forty minutes. Yeah, on that one, maybe. Yeah. Fucking dog shit. God's sake, people in their fuck. So you know, Ian, like myself, he edited that out because he doesn't like swearing in his own videos much. But I mean, he's just stepped in a dog poo there, and and quite rightly, he's reacting as most of us would. Um, so I. Don't people and their fucking dogs. People and their fucking dogs, folks. So what I could do is I could I could get rid of that audio problem, so you'll not hear him do that. So we don't have to cut out that piece. So I'm going to cut out him saying anything there. The audio is now gone. So just in case you weren't wondering, these are the video bits and the underground bits of the audio, and you can separate them and you can chop them out, like as I'm doing here. Now to cut, to cut with a razor, you press C. That's cut. Next to it on the keyboard is V, which is to select, okay? Now you can you can get to these things down the left hand side, but you can use keys as well. So that's select, V, and if you go on it, you see it says V, selection tool V. If you want to cut something with a razor, it says C, okay? If you want to paste, it's it's uh, control V. And if you want to slide things, we'll come to that later on, it's A. And if you want to um, rate stretch, I believe it's N or R. Um, no, N is rolling edit. So the, those are basically most of the keys I use. C for cut, V for select, A for um, sliding clips, uh, N for rolling edits, which is a, you know, it takes a while to get used to what that does, um, and R for rate, if you want to stretch the rate so it's going slower, okay? And you can make it faster if you want to. Right, that's the rate, R. Okay, so these are keyboard shortcuts. Won't blow your mind with them, but if you want to know where they are, you go to help up here and you go keyboard. And there's a big page will come up and it'll tell you all about the keyboard shortcuts if if adobe haven't got rid of it yet because they tend to delete a lot of their pages but there's the help and um yeah so we don't need that at the moment let's kill firefox because I'm, I'm trying to have as little as i possibly can running whilst we're going now so we've got the problem ian's gonna drop an f-bomb there so i'm gonna nick a piece of audio from earlier on that doesn't sound like too much is going on and i'm gonna hide that f-bomb so Come on, it does take a while to start up sometimes. If, you, if you're if you quick with your edits, but this is 4K footage, remember, so, and it's high bitrate 4K footage, so it does take a while to start up either. So let's find somewhere where we're not doing too much, so like this. So, so I'm not speaking much there, so I'm gonna nick that bit of audio to, to mask across, so um, I'm gonna select that audio piece on its own. So V to select. On the keyboard control C okay come over here now I'm gonna drop it on the second timeline I'll show you why now I'm gonna put my marker somewhere near here drop it on the second one because it may be too long and it was it was too long to fit now I can just drag it to the correct size drop it in and I can 
on my effects panel go back to constant gain and I can put a little fade and a little fade so that you won't know that we just did that and let's listen now you won't hear Ian f-bombing come on start playing yeah some reason it didn't want to fade from that one into this one I don't know why that is but let's uh, that's naughty because I want it to fade across ah it's because there's a gap you see if there's a little gap it won't allow the the effect to cross the barrier so you have to get rid of the gap by stretching a bit more footage in okay and that's why it wouldn't allow me to do a cross fade so if I drop that effect now I can drop it between the two and we won't get any break in the audio it'll be nice and smooth listen I know they just like, like oh we're, we're off a beaten track now so I just let my dog shit everywhere now I might take my shit out but I you know my dog shit I could hide the fact that we're saying any of this and just put in some background audio so we don't talk but you know as long as I get rid of the S I don't want to like I don't want to show other people in a bad light, but I don't sometimes mind showing myself in a bad light because <laughs> you'll probably be like, oh no, Matt showed me swearing. Just let my dog. dog. Oh shit. Shit. Okay, so there we are. So that's the word shit. I've got to go in quite close. Right. Find the find point, so. I just let my dog shit. And you can roll, roll when you're on the. Um, if you keep your cursor in this area up here, you can roll the mouse backwards and forwards, the little roll control, and you can. You can ah, lost it. <laughs> Gotta go back now to find where I was. It does this sometimes. It'll, it'll leap forward, right? All right. Okay. So I go up there. Uh, where is it? My dog. Oh, I've totally. It does this sometimes. It just jumps. Uh, okay. So where am I? Yes, yeah, beyond here. Oh, there we are. So. So. I know. They just, just like. Like, oh, we're, we're off the beaten track now, so... Right, keep going. This is why it takes time, see? Hang on, press play. I just let my dog shit. I can see where it is, it's there. But if I want to show you this roll effect, right? So if you roll the mouse control... Yeah. But you can't stop for too long, because if it goes into pause mode, it, it takes a while to start back up again. But you can actually, you know... Shit. Oh, and it's jumped again. If it gets to the end of the screen, it jumps. It's a bastard. It does my nut. And I've lost it again. See, I, these are the things I can't get my head around sometimes. Track now, so. Ah, right, where is it? Where is it? Somewhere near you. Right. We're off the beaten track now, so. I just let my dog shit. Right. Don't let it run off the end of the screen, and you won't. it won't lurch forward so shit. I think it's there so I'm gonna press I'm gonna press play shit shit so I know that's the word shit so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there and there and I have to unlink the footage you have to unlink the video from the audio otherwise if you press delete you delete the audio and the video and all I want to delete is the word shit Okay, so now if we play it, we're gonna have the word shit taken out. I just let my dog get everywhere. Okay, better for your algorithms, better for your uh, view statistics. If you want your channel to succeed, you have to take out the swear words. Sadly, you don't have to, but you won't get shared so much. Um, the algorithm sees to that, so yeah, I would recommend either censoring yourself when filming or cutting that stuff out. Um, it's rather sad, but yeah. Um. Wait a minute, wrong way, sorry. So it goes up that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember this being right? Ow. This is where it all goes wrong because this way is just full of nettles. It's just terrible. Watch now. God, oh, this looks a bit more <laughs> mank. Yeah, straight up. Bear in mind I'm wearing shorts. That way, yeah. Mm. Pause the path. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Now, what have I forgotten to do? Control S, you need to save, otherwise I'm gonna lose where I am. We're only two minutes in. We've taken, what have we taken? We've taken about, let's have a look, how long we've we been here. Um, okay, I'm introducing you and everything, but how long has this been on for? I don't know. Oh, uh, no. No, one hour and I've only done two minutes of footage. Bloody hell, hang on. Um, definitely see why some of the quality of your work is miles above the rest. Thanks, thanks, Andrew. Um, yeah, um, at Matt, no, there are official government video fil government videos filmed by him. Are they really? What, by me? Um, insensitive and top secret at the time facility, so yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, they're, they're not um, officially sanctioned government videos, I think they're rather I didn't do them, to be honest. Um, so anyway, let's ke keep going. Right, come on. That's where it's taking its time to get going again. Come on. Okay, I'm going to speed it up. There's no way up there in a cut across, is it? I don't believe so, yeah, no. Well, probably we're going to be talking a lot during this because there's a lot of aggro. So, so better, better listen in carefully. Do you want me to go first? Get them all down. Okay. Oh, we're in your uh, ripped, ripped stuff, so yeah, because it's like fucking. Oops. There's a uh, f bomb. So let's listen. Come on. It's 4K footage, see? And this is why this new computer is going to be much better because it's going to be ding, much more reactive. Fucking. There we are. Fucking. Fucking. Right, I got it. It's there. You get used to this, but you can kind of work things out. Fucking. Right, so I'll keep it tight. Unlink the audio video. Take that out. Play it back, make sure it works. It's like in, it's gonna get you in it. I could have put on my uh, orange camos and uh, be done with it. Ow! Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. If it's gonna be too much, mate. Yeah, it's nothing now, right? Eh? Does it get better? Well, I reckon so. I reckon so. I think it's just a bit. Because. Um, oh man. You know. It's going to be a bit of a brick oh, I've got just shorts on, see? Got shorts on. Whoa. There's only so much germaline in my uh, first aid kit. Ow. Right. Now, I'm noticing that I'm getting red peaking, which is bad over here. In the volumes, I'm peaking out. So that will cause nasty crackles when you edit. So I'm going to go back into the compressor. Uh, mode and I'm just going to uh, I could turn all the volumes down but I'm going to turn on a thing called the limiter and I'm going to put a threshold there and gain it down a bit so that should stop it I won't get any more, I just want to stop these little reds appearing because when you play back it goes <coughs> when it hits the top so right, that's not too bad, we're out, we're out. We're out now so God damn it. Damn it, Janet. Oh, hang on a minute, guys. Fucking knackered. Alright, Ryan, on, what are you doing? Catch you up. A breather a minute. Now, breathers are often cut. So the colour's looking a bit washy here, to be honest. I'm going to go and tweak the colour on this particular clip and have a look what's going on, because the highlights are down so you can see the sky, but it's it's if it's if that's normal, that's to get the sky in, but it's making it look a bit murky, right? The shadows are up a bit, so maybe if I drop the shadows down that way, I can keep the sky in, but make it look a bit more contrasty. That's, that's not too bad, so I'll go for that, I think. Now when you when you change that, it's only going to change it in that part of the clip that I've done it on. It's not going to change it in the other bits. So you may see a change in the colour between 
sequences. So I may have to do it like a slight crossfade. So instead of go, it going click into a different color mode, it'll actually fade, making it look like it's the camera doing it. So watch now as I ch as the color changes. Watch it, watch it change now. So yeah, because it's like in. You see, nasty, nasty change. You don't want that. That's bad. So what we're going to do to to stop that happening is we is going to unlink. We're going to make the make the video jump the gap there, and we're going to put a crossfade in, and you aren't going to notice that the 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 jump is bad then. So because it's like in so it just fades down. Now I can make that a slow transition, so you don't notice it. Right, yeah, because it's like in it's going to get you in it. And you hardly notice it, but without it, without that transition in, it looks really nasty when you change colour. It's like in. Yeah. So crossfade. So I'm going to go from there to there, make it a long crossfade. So you're going to get the darker blacks, but it's going to make it it's look like more punchy. In. It's going to get you in it. There we are. I could have put on my uh, orange camos and uh, be done with it. Ow! Wow, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh. If it's going to be too much, mate. Yeah, it is nothing now, eh? Does it get better? Well, I reckon so, I reckon so. I think it's a bit. Because, um, oh, man. you know, it's going to be a bit of a rip. My legs will rip to shreds after this. I've got just shorts on, see? I've got shorts on. Whoa. There's only so much germaline in my uh, first aid kit. Ow. Right, that's not too bad. We're out, yep. We're out now. So, so it's just a case of listening to the soundtrack at this point and see if there's any boring moments. Well, that's right. The camera turns around and we look at Dover, God but it looked it. crap before. So now, when we turn around, it'll look a bit more natural. Come on, Let's speed it up. I know nobody says anything bad. All right. Oh, carry on, but I'll just catch you up. I right, turn around. Breathe a minute. Colours look better now. Hmm. More pleasing. Yeah. So not too bad. There's only so far I can go with making these colours look good with my colour vision, anyway. To be honest. So. <coughs> Postman said morning it was afternoon. Yeah, bless him. Thorns, gorse. Now, I mean, these, these oh, like walks, nettles. They can take a while and they don't achieve an awful lot, so sometimes I just speed them up. Now, hopefully I'm not going to say anything naughty in these sections because people could just slow them down and uh, <laughs> listen to what we were saying. So I'll have to be careful, I'll have to listen to it, but I might just speed it up in a minute. So don't forget, save your project, All right? otherwise you lose it. All right, count. Thistles. Right. So anyway, I'm going to come out of the audio clip mode. I'm going to go back to editing mode because I've done the colours. So it's got bloody works here. So. Do I say anything? Problem with editing high res footage. Um, it takes a long time to start up. Oh, God. Right. What did I say? Oh, God. She's coming from there, look. She's coming from down there. Top of the mission, up the hill. I might cut it from here then, so. Fingers crossed I don't say too much. Ooh. So right. right. 
so I'm going to I'm going to speed these bits up where people aren't speaking. Um, I'll probably say let's make it 300, three times the speed, so it'll become a shorter clip. Seems to have stopped. What's it doing? Oh, here we go. It's crashing. It's crashed. Why did it crash then? See, this is it. So I saved it not long ago, so I'm going to be able to get back to where I was, but it's just crashed. Hmm. Be a pain in the bum. Now I could speed this up, this editing process, by um, I'm gonna have to kill that now. So I have to kill Premiere. It's actually not even there. Oh, there it is. Kill it. All right. Kill it. Restart it. Load up the stuff. So yeah, um, welcome to my world. You get a lot of that, and it becomes less of a. Argh! I need beer. I'm going outside. I've had a guts fall. It gets. It gets to be a lot less of that if you save more because <laughs> you don't lose so much stuff but when you've lost like 20 minutes half an hour's worth of work and you've got to do the whole thing all over again oh god yeah just keep saving the more you save the better off you'll be what brand of beer is it perlenbacher it's um Lidl's ah yeah Lidl's and I forgot to go and I was going to go and buy some more actually. I only got a couple. Well, I think I've got two cans left now. Dear, dear. And it's cheap. It's only like £2.50 or £3 for four cans, which is pretty good. Uh, it's good stuff. So there we are. So is it going to let me continue now or what? So this bit here, there's not a lot happens in it. So I might just speed it up again. Now, will it crash again? I don't know. It's, it's being a bit slow here. It's being a bit naughty. Come on. Right. So does anything exciting happen really? I'm going over old ground here now. I'm I'm My little Okay, I might I I I the people like to hear stress. Which is me going, I'm stressed, I'm stressing my nipples off, my glasses are all steamed up, Ugh, it's horrible. So I'm just going to save that there now, because I don't want to lose it. right? And then I'm going to apply the speed change. So, and remember I'm at 624, so if I've come back in, I know exactly where to start then. So let's go 300%. There we are, I work that time, see, it makes the clips shorter. So now we can, we can do, like, fast. So... Could go even faster. No, I'm going to go even faster. So speed, I'm going to say 600, double that speed, because I mean it gets a bit boring watching people just walking uphill. You want to hear me moaning and you want to see me in pain and my legs ripped, but you probably don't want to see the walk. There we are. A bit more of the speed, and it's 600%. Uh, hang on. I think I said. We came from down there. I wanted that bit in. Hang on. So, so I think I said like we came from down there. So cut that back in. Now this is where I'm going to have to use the A key. I'm going to have to stretch the footage back out now. So A mode. If you if you go from select mode, which is that, to A mode, your cursors become arrows, which means you're going to slide the footage along. Okay, which gives me room to play with then. So I can put back in. Um, at a hundred percent, that that clip where I say, "Oh no, wrong bit, wrong bit, wrong bit, wrong bit." It's this bit in it. Where I, sp where is the bit? Where is it? I've lost it now. I'm an idiot. Where is it? Where's the clip? Oh, I've lost where. The where I turn around. I've lost it now. What have I done with it? Idiot. I an idiot. Hang on, what have I done with it? Oh god. I don't know. Is it not this bit here? See something like that. It's not important, to be honest, but I just say, oh we've just come all the way from down there, you know, because we are climbing up quite a bit of a hill, but Oh there it is, there it is. So I I, I did the wrong bit. I, I slid this bit. Don't crash. I slid this bit 
which is wrong. I meant to slide that bit. There we are. So now I can turn the speed back by right clicking and doing speed duration back to 100, just so I say my bit. And then we can go back to high speed again. She's come from there, look. Come from down there. Top of mission, up the hill. And then we just go back to 600% again. So let's get back up to 600. Come on. And I better save this because, you know, changes, taking time. You don't want to lose your time. All right, I've got to get rid of this gap, so I'm going to bring it in by right clicking and doing a ripple delete. Brings in the footage closer again automatically. So I save it. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Yeah, if you want to get my attention, um, if you want me to answer a question, just put it in caps. Cap capital letters and I'll try and read it but if you're typing in lowercase I'll assume when I scan over to the left where I've got the chat channels on a different screen I can't um, differentiate what you're saying a lot so if you want me to respond um, uh, then write it in cap capitals yeah cheers um, oh hang on Cornelia says I emailed you a few weeks back about Chilmark Bunker did you ever get the drone footage you mentioned I did. Didn't didn't you see it? Um, I put it on the channel. Actually, it was um, something like Chillmark. They didn't want me. They didn't want me here, or something. Or Chillmark. They weren't happy with me filming. Um, so there is. If you go back through the videos, um, if somebody wants to go and have a look and provide it to Cornelius because he hasn't seen it, I went back with the drone, filmed around, and. Well, I asked permission actually first. I drove in there and said, "Is it okay if I film? I'm just trying to see what you've done with the bunker because you've obviously done a lot of work and you know you've cleared it all out." And and he was like, uh, "This guy was gritting his teeth. He was like, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so.'" And he was like that. And I'm like, "You know, whose bloody pet Rottweiler is this? You know?" So um, yeah, have a look. It's on the channel. But anyway, let's, let's get back to the editing because this is going to take all night. I will be here till about five in the morning. You have no idea how long it takes to do these videos. So here we are. Look. Right. So we might want to be speeding up. Mission. I'm sorry. Do the mission. Will. Will. Nip nips off. All right. So I'm going to. I'm. Hang on. I might just cut to that point. So we cut to the points where we where I actually say something instead of this speed up thing. Hang on. So, come on, say it. Yeah, sweat's tripping. That was a waste of time. I should have put that at six hundred percent as well. Right, get rid of that gap. And I say, when you to this week. Today would be good. Yeah. Sweat's dripping onto my glasses, off my head. Right. Sweat's dripping off my glasses onto my head. Right. Let's see if there's any important things. Yes, I'm sorry. I do I'm just going to speed it up speed it up all the way to the top and I'm going to take out bits that that will have me pointing backwards because they'll look a bit funny in the speed up thing so I'm going to go 600 let's watch it and just cut it when I when I think we've got near the top because I'm starting to get a bit bored now with looking at this I'm sure the viewers will as well really no, that's not too bad actually oh, I don't want to look at the floor so I'll cut that bit out I'm going to be looking at the floor. Come on. Yeah. Right, so we get that. I must have put the camera down whilst I was like sorting myself out with sweat. So when we start again, we move. So I'm going to chop that bit out with a ripple delete. What am I saying here? Yeah, better be careful. I don't say anything naughty. So let's go back to normal speed. Come yeah. on. Jesus. Fell right on my fucking. Fell right on my fucking. So, hang on. Belly. Belly. Fell right on my fucking. Fucking. There we are. Fell right 
I'll write on my ing, 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 king, king. I'll write on my blank. I'll write on my f belly to let the camera go. Well, that was must have been when I, uh, when you saw it looking at the ground, I fell. Oh, I might have been interested to keep that in. It's starting to make me think now. Should I keep that in? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that important. Ah! Fucking. These bits are going to have to be audio clipped because um, I'm getting pretty ratty now. Fucking. Right, so I'm going to have to audio clip that. Thorns are fucking oh! Right, you see why I have to edit these quite a lot, don't you? Fuck it. Right, so now you're getting. Fuck it. Yeah, if I sped all this up, you probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't get into trouble if I sped it up. But their their intelligent algorithm probably can listen at hundreds of times per second what we would hear. You know, hundred times faster. So. Fucking oh! Fuck's sake, you can't push him out of the way. Fuck's sake, hang on, I get to get the F bomb out of that one then. People like to see you suffer. I think that's part of uh part of these videos. <laughs> they like to see us in trouble or suffering or you know. If these videos were all about like um unicorns and uh you know, um how to how to be friends with your neighbours. I don't think so many people would be watching, would they? But Fuck's sake, you can't push him out of the way. You go straight for your bloody gloves. Yeah. Ow. Uh, it was so hot. It was so hot. I didn't nasty want to wear thorns, man. I didn't want to wear shorts. Nasty, it was too nasty. hot. Too hot. And here's the funny thing. We found out we didn't actually need to go up that way at all. And when we went down, we went down and there was no thorns. So, ain't that fun. You'll find that out in a minute. Come on, footage, come on. Come on, come on, footage. What the? Better listen to what I'm saying here because there's going to be too many F bombs in the world. Crying out loud. Right, why don't we just cut to the top? We've, we've, we've seen me in pain. There's no need to labour it now. We're, we're there. And I could put a bit of music behind some of these bits as well to kind of, you know, because it's long and drawn out and it add a, add a bit of emotion to it. Hello. All right, what happened there? Press the button, something, something happened. Um, so let's see if I can cut any more bits out. Bloody gloves. So, I don't know. That's a bit safe. Oh, where, where am I? Right. Okay, so save it. Don't want to lose anything. We're at six minutes. I think when we get inside, it's not going to be as bad because the f bombs are not going to be so prolific. Bit, bit mentalist. I know I'm moaning a bit, but I'd rather do this at night. It's cold. It's like sweat central. I mean, it's not that bad, but you know, it's not not 100 comfortable. I know that. I want to sit down up here for about five minutes. I think just recoup. Tell you what, I'll sit down inside. Ow! Had to get me one. Oh, it's all right. Had to get me one last bloody time on the way out. Typical. Always just one last bloody nettle or thorn that says, like, see ya, enjoy your stay, come again. Fucking. Fucking. All right, that's the Welsh boy of me, see? Apparently, uh, Ian's uh, got some Welsh Welsh uh, nice in him as well because he curses. <laughs> he doesn't don't see it in his videos, but yeah. fucking yeah. But I think most of us do, don't we? But we we try to be polite and not show this. Well, not because of us; it's because our bloody viewers complain. Fucking and the, the algorithm as well, but uh, the YouTube algorithm. But you know, people are like, "Oh, do you have to swear so much?" It's like, "Oh God, all right then, we we'll take it out then." But, Bloody Bible bashers. Fucking bullshit. Get rid of all the bits now stuck to my, my legs. Socks and all that. Bits in my socks. 
no doubt bits that'll drop down, thorns that'll have me in a minute. Big thorns that'll stick in my boots. Anyway, enough whining. So enough whining would be a good point to cut to another scene because let you know, let's if we mean it and we don't want any more whining, let's cut to something else. Yeah, let's not dwell on it. Let's see what somebody else says, but we we've got to cut the shot to kind of keep the pace up because keeping long scenes going get yeah, a bit boring, but as long as we cut to somebody else quite tight, then it more bunkers. So get off me. That's right. Oh, I'll see you in a minute. Else. Right, so we want to get rid of that. Ripple delete. Bring the bring the gap up. So ripple delete again. Bring all the footage up that I've chopped out. So there's a nice shot of uh, Mr. Matt. Look. Uh, what's this then? Uh, software. You make it look easy. Well, if you've been using it for a long time, um, yeah. Uh, then yes, it's Adobe Premiere. It is Adobe Premiere. I'm using the 27 ed 2017 edition because um, I stopped paying for it because I've been paying for this software for years and uh, then they took out features that I liked and wanted to charge more money and I just went you take shit out you get less money yeah but they went no we take shit out we give you we give you charge you more and it's like no you took shit out I not pay you anymore so uh, yeah I'm not paying them anymore so but I'm still using it hasn't hasn't gone wrong yet but yeah Oh, where are we going here? This way. This is... Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> I just I got up. It's like, oh, no. I'll get Matt saying which way we go in here, then. Right, sir. Oh, where are we going here? This way. And then I'll cut to Ian. And I'll, I'll kind of just speed along here, because I think it's taking too long for us to get to the destination, so hang on. So... <laughs> I just I got up, it's like, oh no, you're not. Right, let's turn the camera off. See you in a minute, I've got shit in my shoes. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep that bit in. <laughs> Sorry. In that life, though, it's like, right, I've just cleaned my shoes out, put them back on, I stand up, and it's like, no, there's actually a thorn in your shoe. You just want to just scream at that point, but yeah. Right, right let's turn the camera off. See you in a minute, I've got shit in my shoes. Don't get catch you saying that then, so... Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. What's oh, it recording? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, just around the corner. If I right, okay. So the magic of television is now that it's nice and nice and pert. So let's see that. Let's make sure it works. Okay. Oh, where are we going in? This way. Right, let's turn the camera off. See you in a minute. I've got shit in my shoes. Yeah. Oh. Well, so yeah, just around the corner, if folks. After that crazy journey up the bank there. <laughs> Colour's looking a bit murky in the sky again, maybe. I don't know. Might tweak the colour up a bit here. Hang on. Colour. Let's turn the uh, shadows down. Bring a little bit of highlight up. Bring a bit of contrast in. Save it. There we are. Go back to editing mode. Right. Citadel battery. It's like um, Victorian... Uh, right, let's make sure it doesn't look weird when I cut from one scene to the other that the, the, the colours don't change badly. Well, they do look, yeah? Yeah. Oh. So, I'll do a... Well, it don't matter, it's a different scene. Dude. Yeah. Oh. Shit happens. Well, so yeah, just around the corner, if it's after that crazy journey... I, I tend to go back over this later before I do the final thing and I watch different things and if I'm unhappy with the colours, I'll tweak them at the end. But for now, let's just keep going. Yeah, the bank there. <laughs> Citadel battery, it's like um, Victorian uh, gun battery. I think it was built late uh, 1900s. I think it was built around there. Oh, where are we going here? This way. There is magazines, underground magazines to these, but they're very difficult to get in. I suppose we might be alright to get into one a bit later after we've done this other place, but. Uh, yeah. Take me to the bunker. Um, bunker. Bunker. The bunker. Yeah. We want to make a stupid take me to Gun the chopper. Yeah. Take me to the chopper, Joe. Glad I didn't. Old, uh, naval guns, probably. I must have been, been up, been up, been up quite raised up quite high to be able to clear that then. Uh, yeah. Enough bolts. I think this channel has something to do with some sort of calling for the gun. I've heard someone before. Liquid cooling. Yeah. Place in Portsmouth, one of the uh, ports there had uh, 
gun battery like this and they have the same uh, cut out. So that's the view, which I can't see because I'm holding the camera up. Get those the old drone up folks. Yeah. My head's pumping now, I'm baking. It's like standing still is boom boom boom. Straight up there, um, I think that's um fire command post yeah. up there, something like that. Yeah. Bunkers. Ooh, yeah. It's quite a but it's wet probably. It's a bit like the Bristol aircraft battery at uh Purdown. Right. I think we used to call it Purdown Percy battery bunker. But uh it's a lot of surface stuff with a few little, you know, dug down magazines and things like that. Yeah. But uh Everything else right up on the top, but as I said, unusually, uh, it was um, pretty much not manned for the firing, just manned for the reloading. Yeah. It was electric control from somewhere else. We're on about one hour thirty-five, and we've done ten minutes. Right. Ten minutes and the footage, the total length of this footage is one hour forty two before we cut bits out we don't want. So imagine we've done ten minutes in one and a half hours. So the projected time it's gonna take me to do the edit for this if I don't speed some shit up radically is gonna be like six in the morning finish time. Mm. You can see how long these things take. They ain't they ain't quick. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. The three gun positions are pretty ring. There we go. Another one. That was still got the metal frame works in it. Yeah. In the Second World War, possibly. So they were. a shell hoist mechanism that's been capped off. Right. You can see there. So the guns would have been up high, and the, that would have been a framework around the edge, so you could walk around the edge of the gun, is it? I'm sure underneath it was for protect, protection, so they could work and load the gun underneath the right. No frame and walk, the gun walk over there. The top of it, possibly. Yes. I think that's that might have worked. Yeah. Oh, I hope I walk over there because otherwise I'm not going to see what this capping off means that he's talking about. Oh. One point over, Matt. Turn, look over. Don't you look over, idiot? So now, because he's explaining something, but I don't, we don't see it, I'm going to have to zoom in. So let's go backwards a bit. Come on, footage. Right, so I might zoom in for a bit. So the way we do this is let's find a piece and we'll, oh, come on, forward a bit. So he goes. So there was a shell hoist mechanism that's been capped off. Right. You can see there. So you can see there. So of course people will want to see then. So we have to zoom in a bit to kind of show them what we can't see which come on move so the right so now i'm going to control s i'm going to save because this is where things start to go wrong if you're not careful so i'm going to i've selected this bit of footage i'm going to say scale scale to um 200 percent um maybe a bit more so i'm going to slide it up and down look so slide it up and down get into position and then so we'll play that, so it says, says... So the guns would have been up high and the, that would have been a framework around the edge so you could walk around the edge of the gun, is it? I'm sure underneath it was for protect, protection. Well, he says protection, we come back to... So, so, they could work. so in this bit, I'm going to press the reset button on the position. Come on, position and scale. So we go back to unzoomed then. So this is the effects panel where you can you can move footage around you can scale it up and down yeah and zoom it and you can scale it over time you can move it over time you can rotate it you can make it um, blend with other things you can have multiple layers running on top of each other you know so that's so let's get rid of all these changes I've just done I'll turn it back to where it was okay and let's carry on work and load the gun underneath the right the framing and the gun poked out the top of it possibly yes I think that's how it might have worked yeah. When I film, I don't use automatic settings on the camera. I set set it so that it's going to get the lights and the darks in, and then I leave it. I don't I don't allow it to go bright when it gets dark and uh, dark when it goes bright. Yeah. 
so you notice you, you don't have to mess around with the colours so much when you edit later on because if I was to just let the camera go fully auto when I chop and edit it's going to look bad between oh, scenes. This is the Citadel is it on the back of the Citadel? The Western Outworks Defence Caponia is buried under this a massive like, sort of part of a fort the tunnels and stuff like that, or we go this way. Okay. Mention that word you said, uh, something underneath it, a carbonier? Caponier. 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 Yeah. Carponier. Now, this is where I have to go and start looking and researching things, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to fire up a browser briefly, or what am I going to do? Over here, look. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to just have a look on Google and see if I can find K carp... If anybody knows how to spell it, by the way, carponier. Anybody... Uh, um... Definitions of Carponier. Cap Capronier. Is that what it is? But it's in French. I, I translate this page. Translate it. Right. Capronier. Strawberry fruit. No. How do you spell this, folks? Does anybody know what it is? Help me out. Help me out. Have I done any bunkers in Northern Scotland? No. If I ever came to Northern Scotland, I'd have to stay up there for like two or three weeks because to go that far I wouldn't want to just go up there and come back because it would just be such a waste of petrol I'd have to stay up there so I'd have to you know like do a mega mega mission and get my dog looked after for quite some time um, well maybe take the dog with me but it would limit what I could do underground because somebody would have to look after the dog so yeah um, Scotland there's so much hasn't been seen yet well have a look up near Faz, Faz Lane and up there because there's a massive bomb dump just up the lake from Faslane and it's got a massive ex air exclusion zone over it it's a massive and they might have nuclear weapons up there by all accounts mm. we'll have a look at that place um, yeah camera doing its own ISO can make editing a living hell does anybody know what this Carponier is? Um, Carponier because I want to put the word in and I don't know what it is so how would you spell that? Uh, carbonier? C A R C A Carbonier. Carb. Carbonier? No. Carbonier? No, it doesn't like that. So what? what's it going to be in? I don't know. Carb. No, it's in Google bloody translate mode now. I don't want Google Translate. Search. Carbonier. Carbon EA Carbon EA. Oh yeah, this stuff. Carbono. Carbono. This is what takes the time to see if you're gonna try and get it right. Now I could mail Ian. And what I when I'm not sure about things like this, I put a marker in there, like this. I put a marker up on the timeline, and then what I'll do is I'll put a title in and I'll say it needs to be researched. And then I'll have to go to the person and actually ask them. So I'll put a title in up here, look. Um and I will say needs needs spelling so needs spelling 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 carbonier so I'll 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 just pop that on so that's a, that's a title yeah and I'll drop that title on up here and um, you know it basically I've got a mark on the timeline then so when I zoom out I can see all these little marks I've got in the whole project and I can go down to them and I'll go ah I need to fix that so these little marks help you to come back they're little sort of reminders of where you want to be so I put a little mark up that's the mark button there add a marker and you can add the marker to the timeline and you can add a marker to a clip as well you can put it on a clip you can use as many as you want and if you want to you can double click those markers and you can um, name them you can actually put names on them like this one up here if I double click it I can actually say up there don't forget the spelling but it but the thing is then if I forget to do it and forget to look at the marker by putting it in like as a title it forces me to do it whereas I may forget to look at the markers I sometimes do that but that'll force me to do it when I'm going through doing my color checking later on I will remember to do it anyway let's let's carry on so don't need to dwell on that one uh, I probably need to get some drone footage in here, and I haven't got any drone footage in yet because as we as we walk to the top of the hill, it'd be nice to have a little bit of drone to kind of illustrate what we're what we're doing. Um, now I'm going to do it now rather than later because I'd have to watch the whole thing again later on. So to give us an idea of roughly where we are on top of this hill, 
I'm going to have to find some drone footage. So let's come back to about here, or maybe when we first got up on the hill. When we first get up on the hill, we want to establish where are we. So let's get some footage which which does that. So we've just arrived, and then when he says, so where are we going? Yeah. This way. Right, let's turn the camera off. See you in a minute. I've got shit in my shoes. Yeah. So, hang on. So I, I reckon between there and there, so I'm going to put a gap in there. So I'm going to get the gap ready, like that. So that's the gap where I'm going to put some drone footage in. So I'll save that. Now we have to go and get our clips now. So this is going to be fun, because we have to go and find the clips on the hard drive, and we have to drop them in a folder. So we've got Dover555. In there, I'm going to create a subfolder called Drone. I'm going to drop all the applicable drone clips in there, and we'll go through them, and we'll have a look, and we can see what we can see. So where's the drone stuff? So we've got Paris, AVCHD. So we've got Ian Dober. Right, there we are. Luckily, I've got them in a folder called Mavic. Now, I can watch them here and decide which ones are applicable before I drag them in, or I can just drag them all in. Um, so I can watch them here first. And as you see, they're all in log colour as well. So this is along the coast. So some of this might be good later on, but I'll decide where I'm going to drop this in. But this is just general coastline. So let's move through the footage. So it's no, it's a lot, lot further on than this. So that's a bit of Dover. Oh, this is the right place. We're on top of Dover, and we're actually looking at these um, these bunkery things, yeah? So we're kind of the same sort of area. Yeah, similar. I did use some of this because that's quite impressive, isn't it, yeah? And you wouldn't see that from the street. You can't see any of this. It's all hidden away, and you can't see it from the sea. It's all camouflaged in. But that sort of shot gives you an ideal example of the type of area we're in. Hmm. So that would be an ideal shot. So that's 991. So what I'm going to do is I can say 991 to 999. Possibly I might want these shots. So I'm going to drag them into Premiere, drop them in the drone folder. So you have to wait with your finger on the button here to catch up. Okay. So you wait for a little bit and then you let go and you just wait because now it's going to bring the footage in. It takes time sometimes because it has to conform the audio. So there we are. There's the clips are all in there. Now to drag them in. Uh, well, I got. To, I'm going to have to create um, quite a bit of space here to get this this sequence of um, drone stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to clear a few minutes. Yeah. So let's have a look at clip nine nine one. Let's find a start point roughly. So let's have a look at a nice start point. So, so let's get a start point. Come on. That's a bit crap. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So let's come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Right. In he knows the spelling for Carbonier, by the way. Tell me in the chat channel. Um, Carbonier. The spelling you need is Carbonier. So I'll I'll copy that. So I'll copy your words that you're typing there. I'll go up to the title. Look, double click the title. Uh, come on. So I double click the title. Bring it up. Um, might be there. So I don't worry because I'm going to come and change this later. But Carponier, thank you. So that's good. So we've got our information we need. So uh, drone footage. So roughly around here on the drone footage, then right. So now the trouble with this drone footage is shot in H.265 format, which requires a hell of a lot of processing on the computer to play back smoothly. But it'll play back fine in the in the finished product. But it's it's obviously lagging like crazy here. So let's drag it in. If we're lucky, I might have what's known as proxies turned on. I don't know if I have. Let me just see. Mavic 2. Oh, I do have proxies. Ooh, but do I have to link them? I do, don't I? Ah, no, I ain't got time for that. Anyway, proxies, that's another lesson. It speeds things up. But this footage now is going to crawl when I try to, to, to view it. It's going to jump, 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 jump. Um, right, hang on now. So scale scale it yeah right the colors obviously rubbish so i'm going to i'm going to work on the color on one clip before i drag several clips in so let's go to color mode color mode let's put it into it's a different it's not s log because this was shot in the mavic so the mavic has a different uh log profile which is called d log m to rec 709 so that one that's gets the color in but you can look it's looking a bit murky so what i do is i turn it off for a second find a nice bit of white which is going to be the front of somebody's house there we are and we try it again does that look any better not bad not bad i'm always airing towards a little bit of blue myself but look what that looks like 
camo footage. I just need to see the skies. I look good. Yeah, it might be alright. So we need a bit of music here. So um, when we, when whenever we go across to clips like that, we always use um, audio to complement it. So um, let's have a look at that clip again and see is there any more stuff we can use. So we're up on the top and we're trying to kind of like work out where we are, which is like, oh, 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 oh. see that's the prison. We're not far from there actually, because yeah, it is, it's just behind the prison, the bit we're in. So it's actually, it's a fortification there, so I think it's kind of like, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna take that bit of footage for now, so we need an endpoint. So where's the endpoint? Is that the endpoint? No. Shit. Hang on. I've got all the controls visible. I, mean, I have to slide that up. So we need an in point. So I'll say maybe there for the moment. And then going out at about. Uh, I had problems with the drone because it was losing signal here. So that's why it stopped. It's not fine anyway, I say. So I'm going to say, well, we'll stop the clip there. We'll drag that in. And then is there anything else we can use on that clip? Probably not. I probably stopped it, tried to get the drone home, and tried again in another clip. Let's see if another clip is better. Uh, it's just following on from that one. So do we go any closer to these fortifications? Well, they're on the left, actually. On the left-hand side, these gun gun emplacements, because we climbed up the hill. So I think they're kind of down that narrow track here. I've got a feeling that's where we are, somewhere along there. In fact, let's just have a quick look. Uh, I can't see it, to be honest. Can't really see it. I think we're way off down here. We haven't even we haven't even come this far yet. I think we're sort of. I don't know. In fact, I'm not entirely sure. It might be that we're we're further up here than I think. So this this footage might be useful. So I'll I'll get a bit of this then. So I put my in point, drag along, maybe a little bit. But we might need some of this later on. So. Um, I'm going to drag that down there, little clip. Let's go to another clip. I don't know, see if there's any, if it looks any better. Quickly skim through it. I haven't shown much of that um, other bunker in these things. Because uh, I wanted to go back and do it. Actually go there, no, this, is, this isn't. So I didn't show too much of that drone footage because I wanted to go back and, and have a look at this other place. Now that's good because you see it from a distance, you can kind of see what the kind of general layout is then, so that's a good, you can see Dover Dover uh, Harbour, you see these uh, bunkers which aren't exactly where we are but they'll still illustrate the point quite nicely, so I'll just drag it in, um, probably not. There's a nice clip of us before we go up the hill. So that might be useful later on, look, because it's like a little bit of footage of us flying and doing what we do. So that's always useful. So I'll grab that, um, a little bit of footage of us. So you never know when that'll come in handy. So I'm just thinking, I'm thinking ahead for, for stuff I'm going to need later on. I'll grab it all now. Uh, oh, that's well away. That is over by the, um, the Navy, um, what do you call it? Coast Guard facility. Yeah, that's nothing. So I think we're well away from it now. So yeah, the only bits we've got are the bits we've seen. So yeah, there's that. So we're well away from it. Better save what I'm doing as I'm going to lose it. So save it. Uh, so we've got a couple of bits there. Not quite the bits I wanted, but not far off. But we need music now. So let's drag this back up. Drag this back up. Go go to the editing mode um, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at my folders there's all sorts of music here but I want to get mystery sort of like mystery music let's have a look at what um, what people have been chatting in the channel so let's have a look um, yeah cup on here yeah thanks Daniel Hellman uh, take the cup of coffee yeah he's without the R he says okay um, it's a dick shaped defensive structure that gives a field of fire along the ditch. Oh, that's what it means, right? Okay. Um, 
Cornelio says, type it in capitals. Oh, yeah. Faz Lane is the nuclear sub base. Yes, that's right. But above it, to the north, up that lake, have a look. There's a set of bunkers in the hills. And that's where they keep the weapons. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Right. Carponier. Yeah. God can't type, he says. Um, Obs is dropping frames bad, is it? Hang on. Is it dropping frames bad? What if I bring it to the front like that? Is that better? Uh, it's only using 2% of the CPU in order to, to run OBS, but it probably doesn't like the fact that something is in front of OBS. So what I might need to do is give OBS a bit more priority in the um, task manager. So I'll just um, give it a little bit more, a bit more oomph. What's it called now? OBS. OBS, yeah, there we are. So I'll give it a little bit more above normal priority. See if that sorts everything out. Okay, so we need to get some music now. So tell me, is it um, uh, five more hours to go? Does this really pay? Well, you know, I think if you if you value what you do, you want to make it look good. I mean, you could just throw it together, or you could just edit it. If you're really good, you could just get the shots you want and start and stop your camera on the day. Some people can do that. I tend to just film everything and then come and edit it later on. It takes a bit longer, but you know, it saves me the worst thing in the world is when you're excited and you're doing something is forgetting to record, forgetting to press record, or when you think you're recording you're not, and vice versa. And you get it so I just I just record everything, saves a lot of aggro. And um subsequently I've learned that people actually like watching these long extended videos as well, you know, kind of worked out the you know, certainly my viewers seem to, to like that. So I give people what they want. If they want long videos, they can have long videos. Um, but uh, yeah, Creative Commons music. Right, here we are, my YouTube music library. I want something that's going to be kind of um, sort of spooky, old Victorian, or and kind of like war, like a feeling of war, battle, and stuff like that. Let's have a look if we've got something that's battle related. Um, so. Dan Bodan, Fortress Europe. Hang on, see what this sounds like. It's okay for drone music, isn't it? Like floating around. That could work. I reckon, yeah, that could work. For floaty, sort of droney. You know, so I'm going to drag it on the timeline, even though I don't need it yet. I'm just going to drop it there because otherwise, you lose where things are and you have to go back and find them. So I just drag them on the tri timeline and I just put them at the end of the project, and then I can come back to the end of the project and just grab them back really quickly. So you'll see what I mean now in a minute. So that could be our music we want. I'm going to save it and let's just look for something that might be a bit more, a bit more punchy. That might be in, good in the middle, but not good for the beginning, because the beginning needs something quite punchy. So let's have a look. What's this then? I forget what these are called. Choosing music is, takes a while. Oh, I like this one. That sort of thing. It's not necessarily old-fashioned music, but it's got that techno-y, spooky sort of... Often end up not using some of these things, but I know that goes into like hardcore drum and bass in a bit. But I do like that track, and I haven't used it very much, so I'm going to see if that works. I'm drag that on the timeline as well. So it's a case of just like you know, trying a few things, seeing which one works, and then just putting the others away at the end of the timeline. You might use them again later on. Um, right, what's this in Hovertov Cavern? No, that's underground sort of stuff. Uh, Requiem, I don't know, Doug Maxwell, Tribal War Council, don't know what that is. Oh, it doesn't work, it's zero bytes. Um, Chris Sabiskri, he's got loads of stuff, but sometimes a bit repetitive, some of this music that they do. Uh, Candle Power, Air Hockey, uh, Dark Lord of the Mountain, oh, what's that one now? Bit slow. Definitely too slow. Um, it's 
a bit like ghost, ghosty house or something. It's not like for landscapes. Nah, I need something a bit more dynamic for a landscape. That, that could work. How's it start? Start slow. It's going to work its way up, which means we could start the shot slow and work our way up. Um, stuff like this can start fading in before we go to the drone footage. But it's a very slow start, so I might have to start it in a bit. Come on, move on. Quick, quick. Oh, fucking what? Yeah, I reckon I'm going to put that as a possible back burner jobby. Alright, okay. Uh, any others? Quickly. No. There's not enough. Not enough really going on in these. Yeah, that's got something like war, war, a bit sardonic, landscapes, it's got that sort of landscape-y, uh, not everyone would agree, but a bit like Blade Runner, how does it start, keep going, what's it like later on? Yeah, that could be quite good actually. That could be a, like a long theme throughout the whole thing. So anyway, we've got a few pieces of music. I'm not saying they're the best in the world, but as long as they're things I haven't heavily used again and again, I don't mind sometimes. Now there's something, oh, I was gonna say that's not really coming up properly. And what I do is I zoom out and I drag all this crap to the end of the project, right? Including the drone footage, right? Oops, and what we might do is I'll I'll go for that one right which I liked I'll drag that one down now so we've, we've got our possible track which let's put it put it here where the start point is let's get a bit of drone footage come on in so I reckon the music's gonna fade in before the drone footage starts so it's gonna kind of lead us that we're we're doing something or we're going somewhere something's about to happen so so when Matt says so. Enough whining. Oh, where are we going in? This way. Right, so where are we going this way? Yeah. So let's see whether it fades up quite nicely in the background or whether it's too loud. So. All that. Bits in my socks. No doubt bits that'll drop down. Thorns that'll have me in a minute. Big thorns that'll stick in my boots. Anyway. Enough whining. Oh, where are we going in? Point, we're going to be fading up. I'll fade down from matte, fade to black, dip to black on the end. So that's an effect. So it, at the end, it goes from matte and it'll go black. Come on, em. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry. I get frustrated when it doesn't start playing quick enough. So let's, let's have a look at drone clips. Which one am I going to use then? Where is it? Which ones are going to be? So I, I, I like that. I do like that, it's quite exciting. So, but do we want to start with the excitement? We want to start with just looking around and then maybe a bit of excitement. So, that's kind of looking around from a distance. Now, that's actually zoomed in. So, uh, scale the frame size back because these are all 4K and I'm working in a two, two 2K. This project is actually 2K because I ran out of memory on my cards. So this is a 2K project, believe it or not, but the, the drone footage is 4K. So, uh, the colours are good there, so I'm going to copy the colours into all the other clips. So copy the Lumetri colour, copy the Lumetri colour over here, copy the colour into all the other clips. Do they look okay? Probably because they were shot at about the same time of day. Yes, they do. They look okay. Maybe could do with a bit more shadow in them perhaps, but yeah. So do we show... I reckon we show that bit first and then we, we zoom in on it. So, so not that bit, not that bit. 
bit. Not that bit. Not that bit. That bit. Uh, I've lost it. That bit. That bit. I reckon that's the opening shot. So we need to drop that in first. So let's drag that down there. Move these clips out of the way. Drag that in first. Right. Let's let's check for natural timing now. You've got to time when Matt fades out to when it comes in. I've got to get the natural timing. So Matt fades out and it comes in at that point. So we drag the beginning of that clip in there. Save because I don't want to lose anything. Dip to black up. Now the colours aren't looking brilliant in this clip, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. So there we go, it's gonna fade up. So I don't like the colours, it looks really drab. Let's punch a bit of contrast in there. Let's get a bit of um shadows in there. Shadows maybe, a bit more highlight, bit more I'll push the colour all the way to the top, do do a slight tweak on the grading. Look, tweak it. Does it need to be green or pink? Somewhere like that possibly and then pull the color back to where it should be probably around there maybe maybe some more shadow yeah more shadow a bit more contrast maybe yeah, that's a bit more a bit more spunky right right come on where's my time marker right okay so let's save that Okay, let's play it and see what it looks like. It may jump because it's it's very, very heavy footage, the drone footage. So. Oh, we going in. I'm going to fade out the audio on the end of Matt as well because um, otherwise it's going to be rather aggressive, the uh, the end bit. I'm just going to cut off, so ready? Oh, we going in. You won't get that clicking in the final thing. That's just the process of struggling. So there we are. So we've got a little establishment shot of what we're looking at. I suppose that's the Carponier they're talking about. That is the Carponier. So where's the other bits of drone footage? So which bit next then? So we've gone from that to a close-up, I reckon, flying around the Carponier. That bit, yeah, because that looks really good, I think. But colour-wise, let's get a bit more punchy. So I could copy the colour from here and try it on that one. So say, does that colour there work on this clip? Sort of sort of it's a little bit too shadowy maybe but it's punchy it's got a lot it's got a lot um a lot working for it so let's see where we start on this clip then it looks nice so we don't want crappy camera moves that's good that's it so we come in yeah that's it so we'll start it near the beginning then really so that's good so trim it there drag it along, do a fade between these sequences, so from one sequence to the next, ready? Oh, it, there was a turn in the camera there, which I didn't want. So it's going to start from, start from here, actually, I made a mistake. So, eh, ripple delete, eh, 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 eh. right. So, Now the other thing I'm noticing in the in the drone footage, which you pro pro probably don't notice, but it's it's at an angle. So being a perfectionist, what we do is we get rid of the angle problem. This is a it's a common thing. So I put the horizon straight and zoom in slightly so you don't notice it. Right, then it straightens the horizon. Now you can't see it here because the camera is at weird angle, so you can't see the horizons off. But often the, the drone flies with a slight horizon shift so you have to correct for that you don't you have no idea how long that takes to do but it does make it look good because there's nothing worse than a drone flying along with a horizon on the piss so there we are so there we are so from that please fade nicely yeah that's good and yeah so about there, see the similar timing? I'm going for a similar sort of timing. So timing, timing, I'm going to cut around the same time. So they're about the same sort of cut point. So it's about several seconds cut. And I'm going to move a little bit further along that footage just to keep it going, right? Just to keep it going there and speed it up a little bit. So what happens when we go around here? What happens? Come on. Well, there we are. Oh. So that's that's the same place, but I want to see us rise away. So I want a dynamic sort of rise away shot. So there we are. So just to speed it up a bit, because we don't want to stay on drone footage all day. 
So this is just because Ian said, where are we? Or something, or somebody said, where are we? Or where are we going? He goes, over there. And then we cut to this. We want a little bit of where we are, but not too much, I reckon. So um, cross dissolve again, right? And maybe just a couple more seconds. And we'll be out of it. This isn't exactly where we are, you see. So I've got to show one last piece of the actual area where we're at, which is a similar time to that look. Right, so that's about in, that's about equal time there. So I'm going to cut it. So our edits are going to be similar time time per shot. Ugh, right, okay. Um, and this is where we actually are. So let's see whether these colours work on that scene. So lumetry colour. Go to this one. Um, drop out the lumetry colour there and drop that one in. Does it look better? Yeah, maybe. I reckon we need to darken it down a bit. So we're sort of up here now because it's 4k footage we can actually zoom in 200 percent to where we where we really are and we can zoom around the image and because it's only 2k footage you're not really going to lose anything it'll actually be that's where we are you see so i can show effectively kind of that's more of where we are in fact i can come over to the left a bit so it shows so it was like it doesn't show too much of this. This is a prison this is, right? But we're gonna to come to that again. Okay, so so this would be good to keep it keep it there like that. And that shows we're on a hillside. I don't wanna don't wanna delve too much on the um on the prison. So what I'll do is I'll pan the shot as we go. So what I'll do is I'll this is um dynamic panning and tracking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the bit of the scene I'm interested in. So I'll put my start position and scale okay so start position i have to get it in line so i want us to be pointing at oh that's all we can do is up there so let's see if this is a start position so we're not going to start on this shot i don't think right. i just want to maybe start well maybe go to the left a bit yeah maybe like that that's it so that's the start of the shot i reckon there Let's get it down here. All right, let's put a fade on it, see how it works. So that's actually where we're walking around that bit. Now that's not too bad actually. Don't need to do much work on that. I was gonna move the camera. It just sits there. Right. So yeah, not bad. I mean it'll 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 do, as long as it's not too long. So I'll cut back fairly quickly because it kind of illustrates where we are. People who know where we are know where we are. People who don't know where we are won't understand what the hell they're looking at anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll put those other bits of drone footage we haven't used. I'll copy them, cut them, which is Control C, Control X. I'll copy, cut them, and I'll dump them at the end of the project for use later on. So they should be, there they are. In fact, I'll put them close to the end of the project so we can see them, otherwise I'll forget they're there too far away right okay back to where we were so we've got this little sequence so how does it work overall let's play it so all that bits in my socks no doubt bits that'll drop down thorns that'll have me in a minute big thorns that'll stick in my boots anyway enough whining oh where are we going in I mean about the storyline because Ian says this way so he's he's inviting us to kind of know where we are so this is the point where you cut to the it's a natural way to kind of tell the story it's kind of like somebody says something that invites you to know where you are let's show you where you are it's what I mean about like the storytelling aspect of editing it's like so I might zoom this back a bit because it's looking a bit fuzzy it's maybe I'm a bit too close so I might go back a bit and up a bit and let's get that over here so let's see how that works I don't want to don't want to show too much of that though so let's see it see if that works hang on let's try it again I'm happy with the early bits and we're gonna move on quickly I'm not gonna dwell too much on this now and tomorrow I'll probably watch this you need to like leave it like several hours go to bed and then watch it again after you've done it because you might decide oh no look at that terrible mistake I didn't realize you know you shouldn't just put stuff straight out. There we go. Similar times for the edits here. So cuts in a second. Cut, cut. There we go. And similar time. Cut. Ah, didn't do a didn't do a 
is dissolve. Sorry, it's jumping. That's the nature of this being hardcore processing power to run the H.265 footage. But in the final thing, it'll be perfect. Don't worry. It's not your computer. It's not your video. It's me. So, yeah. If I'm moving smoothly, but the Premiere isn't moving smoothly, it's because Premiere can't keep up. So, there we are. So it fades to black, which then will fade back up to the other sequence. So we need to drag that sequence in. So we've got to move this down. So we press the A key, which gives us these two arrows again. We can oh, we can drag the footage, but you see it's dragging the, the, the music as well, which I don't want. So I'm going to lock the music track, which is a little lock icon here. You see, unlock lock. I'm going to lock that track, and I'm going to drag this along. That means I can leave the music in place. That's what locking is. That's why it's there. But I don't want to go from black I don't want to go black straight into that. I want to have a little gap like we did at the beginning, similar timing. See, like similar sort of time. So I'll do the same sort of thing there. And then we'll come back in. Where is it? Similar time. And we'll come back and we'll see how that looks. So I cut, split the difference, but there. So I want it to fade back up from black. So fade it back up from there. And then it's going to go. Yeah. I don't want ya. Yeah, so I'll probably, I'll probably get me off the beginning. I, I just want to see E and I don't want ER. Oh, so yeah, just around the corner. There we are. So I'll put, it, put him in there. So A, drag it down the timeline, see if it works. Does it work? Oh, so yeah, just around the corner. It's after that crazy. I've got a Now, I, that works. So I'll unlock the music track so I can play with the music track. Now, I should be faded out by this point. Okay, so. Let me. I've cut the music track. I'm going to get rid of the rest of it, but I don't want to lose that music track, so I'm going to drag it up the end for future use because I'm going to come back to it. So I'll get it out of the way. So it's now it's up at the end of the project. Zoom back in, and I need to zoom back in and fade this out. So we do a constant gain audio fade, and I'll start the fade before the drone footage ends, and we'll see what that works like. Don't forget to save, or we'll lose 10 minutes of work. Right, okay, here we are. Right, let's just play that then. So, oh, so yeah, just around the corner, here, folks. After that crazy journey up the bank there, <laughs> Citadel battery, like, um, Victorian uh, gun battery. I think it was built late uh, 1900s. I think it was built. Right. So I think we've seen all this because I mean, yeah, we have. So we need to be up here now. So. Uh, we've established stuff with drone footage, but then I think we wanted to establish something else with drone footage, didn't we? So let's... Uh, here we go. Firing position. So it says Carponnier. And I, like, I don't know what it means in French, but it's, it's an outer... Man uh, who... Defences. Oh, right. Sort of like, just... yeah. Well, yeah. sticks out, and it's like firing position. Man with onions who goes to the market. Yeah, the yeah. Carponnier. Yeah. That's one of my silly jokes, you see. So, again, we've seen what a Carponnier is. So I'm putting a title in of what Carponnier is. Now we've illustrated it earlier on, but then we've got a large section where where we could illustrate it here. We could do it with something off the internet. We could get an, an illustration of what a Carponnier is. So let's have a look, see if there's any graphics of suitable things. I don't know, hang on. Um, so let me bring in, um, let's have a look. Car, uh, how do you say Carp? Carponnier. Uh, looking at walls of fortress images. Oh Christ! Look at that. I didn't want that. See what I mean? Is you're you're only one click away from fortifications. Uh, fortifications. You're only one click away from porn. Wherever you go on the net. Carpon. Carponnier. Carponnier. That's the one. Look, Carponnier. Carponier. Mm. Uh, so nick somebody's photo, maybe. Don't want to, you know. Don't want to get into kind of like. Um, uh, I tell you what, I've actually got that other drone footage I said I wasn't going to use, and that has the one which I said oh, I'm going to come back to that in the future, and that actually did illustrate the illustrate what one looked like. It was earlier, wasn't it? It wasn't in that footage. It was in... Oh, God, where's it gone? Right, hang on. Um, I've lost where I am now. Let me find the folder with 
Uh, yeah. It's one of the first clips I had, I think. Yeah. No, not the first clip. Maybe a third clip. Not that one, not that one. Sort of around this one. Yeah, we're, we're going down the... You see, not everyone can work out what this is. Yeah, so there was there was one of a different... Um, yeah, so that's coming up on that. But there's one of a clear, really clear... Um, really clear... If I know which clip it's in. No, that, no, it's not that one. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. This is clip 993. So when he says Carponier, I'm going to put in a tiny bit of clip 993, which is over here, to illustrate what he's saying. Because I like to kind of reference things like that. So let's put um, 993 up there. Zip. Oh, there we go. Exactly what we want. Scale it to the frame size. That's the one. So, find a nice bit. I think we may actually have. Oops, a daisy. Sorry. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. It's going to crash. It's going to crash. It's going to crash. I think it's already crashed. It's gone. It's gone. Bollocks. That's it, folks. Um, right. Hang on. Yeah, not doing anything. It's crashed. Right. Whilst that's firing up, I'm going to go get another... Because I'm because i going to scream now downstairs in the kitchen. Whilst I get another beer. So, um... <sighs> Ain't that a pain in the bum? Ain't that a pain in the bum? So... Here we are. Look. Have, a look at, have a look at Malamute. Malamutes, look after. Make sure they don't do anything when I'm out of the room. So Malamute, did they do anything whilst I was out of the room? Did they nick anything? Did they press any buttons whilst I was out of the room? No? Good. Thank you. Thank you for looking after the place. Well, hey, look at all this. Look at this. What's all this? See? Ah, uh -huh. What's all that? Look, up on my wall. What's all that? I haven't, seen, I haven't really gone into what that is yet, but I bought that from a, um, bought that from a Comic Con. Oh, right. So let me just start the premiere up again. Hang on. Let's start the premiere. Here you go. Do, 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 do. See, I often, <laughs> my premiere projects, when I have loads of crashes and I have to save them as new projects, they start to become like Matt's Project 1, Matt Project 2, Matt's Project Shit, 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 Matt's Project Please Don't Crash You Bitch 444, and stuff like that. You start to see all these different names where I'm like in different levels of frustration. Right, how much have we missed? We've lost then. Um, oh, we're still at the same place, so see, I didn't lose much. Let's get down to the drone footage. It's 993. I dropped it in. I was looking for the colours that were used on the other bit of drone footage, which was down here. So let's get the colours from that. Uh, there we go. Lumetri colour. Hang on. Get this can out of the way. Sorry. Right. Um, I did want to actually drink something, so let me just... Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It is jerking, isn't it? It is jerking. What's happening? What's going on with it? It's jerking bad. Oh, it's not jerking now. 
Oh, hang on, it's because Premiere has, I, I've got to set it to um, background task. We are below normal. See, I want I want OBS to be high priority. I want Premiere to not not take control. So there we are. So let's take the colours from this one, and we drop them on this one. Ready. It's going to come up in a minute. Trust me, it will come up. It will come up. It will come up. Ugh, come on. Well, let's pour some more beer whilst just thinking about it. See, if I had any sense, I would have created proxy files. Well, I have. They're in the they're in the folder. I would have created proxy files for those clips. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. To speed things up, I'm going to do a technical thing called attaching proxies to my footage, which is going to put in a low resolution two six H two six four file instead of the four K H two six five, which will make it much quicker. For me to edit, so attach. Come on, where are you? Uh, 993 proxy. Uh, 993. There we are. Now, I should be able to skim. There we are. Should be able to skim along the timeline, like a bad boy. Hang on, it's zoomed in. Why is it zoomed in? Scale. Oh, there we are. Right. So this should now let me play and scrub the timeline. You know, not really well you see but I just got to, if I spend the time to attach the proxies I wouldn't have so much trouble so I should have spent that time I'll just be I was just trying to be clever but I've got way too many things going on here with OBS transmission um, right so let's have a look at what people are saying in the channel I don't want to leave you out in the cold um, Caponier yes Caponier right so let's have a look at the spelling this was Caponier uh, cap, cap on ear, cap on ear. So, uh, cap on ear. So we'll say like cap on ear, um, fortification with firing, uh, firing down alley, alley, uh, alleyways. Um, Moat, moat type fortification, for moat type fortification, maybe fortification. Um, so I should just copy this from Wikipedia to be correct. Down alleyways. With, um, let's make this font a bit bigger here. Caponier. Now, if anybody's got a better way, if they think they can, they can spell this thing better than me, or they've got a better way to say it, then tell me. Uh, type it in the box and I will use it instead of mine. Okay, so Carponier, a moat type fortification with firing down alleyways. So that's going to come over the top of Ian when he's talking, but I want the drone footage as well. So let me just. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, yeah, so there he's talking about Carponier. So let's get in at the right. Let's see what he says. So, Carponier. Right, so. There's something underneath it, a carbonier? Caponier. Capon carbonier? Caponier. So he's going to talk about it there, so I'm... Spe oh. Caponier. So I'll fade in the titles, so... Caponier. Caponier. Yeah, that's a French that? word, something like that. What does it mean? It's, uh... Oh, I don't know what it means in French, but it's... Right. Uh, what does it mean? Ah, so wh what does it mean? I will... Save the title for for that point because we because here I'm making it's, a joke. Uh, oh, I don't know what it means in French, but it's, it's a outer man who fences. Oh right, sort of like just, yeah, one here sticks out and it's like. Uh, I'll get that bit in then. So outer man who defenses. outer defences. Right, so we'll start him there, but you're not going to see him. You'll just hear him in the background whilst we run the drone footage. So because you won't notice we've done the edit then. So I'm bringing the drone footage in. So and we'll show this. So shadows, it's a bit dark. I'm gonna punch, make it a bit more punchy with some white in it like that. Um, so is this gonna work? Outer again? man who defenses. All oh, right. Sort of like, yeah. Outer defenses. One here sticks out and it's like firing position. Man with onions who goes to the mark. Take that bit out. Man with onions. Huh, fucking. Hell. What am I on about? Me and my jokes. Man with onions who goes to the market. Yeah, the yeah. Caponier. Mr. Caponier. Yeah, okay. 
But that's all buried. But that's all buried. They filled it in in the 1960s. Right. So let's get rid of that. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Sorry. That's the bit I don't want. I wanted the drone footage um, up to that point, and I want to slide him in underneath so we can we can come out at some point. But that's all buried. They filled it in in the 1960s with landfill. They were going to do it with all the moats around here. Right. But they managed. Uh, so I'm going to save this. Well, it's it's auto saving. That's it. Auto saving. I'm then going to do a manual save. Manual save. Right. We'll just see if there's any more of that footage that looks in. looks good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I like that. I like that. I can't, I can't resist using that. So whilst he's talking, look, we'll illustrate it with a bit more drone footage. That's sexy. I like that. So, right. So what have we got then? So it's... Yeah, it's French that? word, something like that. What does it mean? Outer. Man who... Defences. Oh, right. Sort of like, just... yeah. One here sticks out and it's like firing positions. So. But that's all buried. They filled it in in the 1960s with landfill. They were going to do it with all the moats around here. Right. But they managed. Someone managed to stop it. Luckily. Um, and yeah, all that's still buried. No one's been in them tunnels since like the um, 60s. Excellent. Oh, mad. Sounds like a challenge, folks. Sounds like a dig, folks. Yeah. Anyone who's mad enough, once they. So once we come across the edge, that's the time to cut out because we we probably go exploring around this. Come on. Yeah, so that's it. We should be out by there, I think, because we're sort of like there's probably loads of other good footage, but we might we might use some more of it later on. Who knows? Oh, that's that's good because it's like an alleyway, isn't it? Ooh, so I could, I could use that. Look, an alleyway to fire down. Yeah, so we maybe just a bit more. I'm being cheeky, but maybe just a bit more because it helps illustrate the point. Hang on, let's have a look at what people are saying in the channel. Right, uh, what's somebody saying? Woof, woof, motherfucker. Uh, Oi, hairy hole. Um, a covered passage that traverses a dry ditch from the curtain to the ravelin. Right, that's getting too complicated now. Or the covert way to an arrow detached redoubt. What? <laughs> it's a bit complicated, isn't it? Um, bloody hell. It is the landward defence covering the port of Dover. That sounds pretty sensible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, covered on either side by a parapet and equipped with gun ports. Yeah, I think just like firing at people down alleyways sounds a bit more simple, doesn't it? Because, I mean, you've got to take it... You, you can't be too complicated with these words because we'll have to explain every single word otherwise. So let's have a... Come on, computer, catch up, catch up, catch up. Right, come on in. Anyone who's mad enough, once they've once they got in there, contact IKS on the email address. Don't leave it in the comments. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> Public comments, folks. Yeah. Right, so I know you're going to hate me for this, but we're going to have to go through these trees over here. Right. Okay. So let's cut back to these trees, because now people want to see what he's talking about, so it's time to kill the drone footage. It's an actual time to come back to the... Um, thing oh don't it it oh no oh no 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 bollocks i've just lost all that fucking work <sighs> jesus oh huh. you're right this is just shit so now you see the frustration that you have to go through sometimes uh. I hadn't saved that for a while. I'm going to take my hat off because it's not... No. You'll see me going red now because, like, I've rubbed my face and I'm pissed off. <laughs> it's like, come on. Really? But I know what I want now. At least I know what in the footage I like so I can quickly recreate it, you know, without too much aggro but it's not the point though you know what i mean it's like this is what this is what drives me to go i've had enough now i'm going to sleep i'll do it in the morning tough but because you're here i'm going to be very well behaved and and uh so let's see what we can do right okay so oh we haven't lost too much then right okay 
so I'm going to go back to editing mode I'm going to oh, let's just have a look again so let's play it through oh, I'm struggling like hell here is it because I haven't attached the see it ha it's got to the point where I haven't attached the um, the clips again now you see I don't think proxy attach the proxies attach uh, proxy 993 there we are so it's a lot faster now save that save it Ugh. look how cute the dog is by the way right look how cute the dog is look how cute my dog is look how cute look how cute she is lying on a bed yeah right enough of that yeah she's just cute 24 7 right come on come on play 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 Play. Firing positions. But that's all buried. They filled it in in the 1960s with landfill. They were going to do it with all the moats around here. Right. But they managed. someone managed to stop it. Right, I was going to do a zoom down that alleyway like that one. I? I was going to do that. Because that was quite nice, that was. I like that. So quickly, I'm going to have to recreate what I did earlier on. So we go la 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 la. Right. But they managed. someone managed to stop it, luckily. Um, and yeah, all that's still buried. No one's been in them tunnels since like the um, 60s. Excellent. Mad. Sounds like a challenge, folks. Sounds like a dig, folks. Yeah. Anyone who so cut that there and come out to. That's pretty good as well. See. Uh, what's that then? So that's the point. So I'm going to drag that to there. We have a little bit more. I might have to chop the audio behind. So yeah. Anyone who's mad enough, once they've, once they've got in there, contact IKS on the email address. Don't leave it in the comments. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Public comments, folks. Yeah. Right, so I know you're going to hate me for this, but we're going to have to go through these trees over here. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, play. I'm not going to touch anything now, because this is where, if you don't just oh, leave it, this is where it crashes, right? So I'm going to save it there now right if you just like hit the space too many times that's when you sort of overload it so yeah i right, cut out and do a crossfade out so we come back to ian i'm gonna have to listen to this whole section again because i think there was a bit where um did i get rid of the bit where i said about onions mr onion man or something so let's have a listen the tunnels and stuff like that or we go this way okay mention that word you said something underneath it a carbonier caponier caponier yeah, that's French that? word, something like that. What does it mean? Outer man who fences. Oh right, sort of like just... yeah, one here sticks out and it's like firing positions. Mm -hmm. But that's all buried. They filled it in in the 1960s with landfill. They were going to do it with all the moats around here. Right. Now I suppose people know we're talking about one of the. This is Dover, but I could put another title saying that it is. I, I think they managed, it... someone managed to stop it. Luckily. Um, and yeah, all that's still buried. No one's been in them tunnels since like the um, 60s. Excellent. Oh, mad. Sounds like a challenge, folks. Sounds like a dig, folks. Yeah. Anyone who's mad enough, once the, they've, once the they've got in there, okay. I contact I IKS on the email address. Don't leave it in the cop. Right, okay. I think it's okay. I didn't have that bit with the onion man in it. So, right. It's, it's not a domestic fortification. <laughs> well... Did people used to have domestic, oh, bloody hell. domestic yeah, fortifications? Trees. First it was grass. <laughs> then it was yeah. then it was mud. Now it's trees. Trees. So we're walking towards the prison bit here. They call the citadel up the top. Good old English countryside. Painted town. Yeah. So at least we're out of that that heavy bit of a lot of editing, a lot of drone footage. So, you know, we can move on now. I think we've illustrated the point quite well. Um, I might show some footage of this Citadel prison in a minute because we're getting near the fence line. So when he mentions the Citadel, I'm going to have to show a little bit of the Citadel. 
but at least we're starting to move on now. Kentish town for Kentish people. We don't like your sort. We're yeah. on 13 minutes and it's taken us 2 hours 39. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to be able to get yeah, to move on. No, it's very, very welcoming. Saw some mad people uh, fighting in a bus stop last night. Yeah, and some bloke running, walking up the street going, rrr, 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 like, as if you're looking at me or something. I was just like, wow. Well, I didn't see anybody else around, but. What is it home? Yeah. Bloody hell. Welcome to Dover. Welcome to Dover. So, yeah. Camera up there, folks. Yeah. Monitors as well. I think it does move. Right. Yeah. It's so when he says camera up there folks, I better zoom in to show people what we're kind of talking about. But it's only 2K footage this, I forgot it's 2K. Yeah, man. Camera up there folks. Yeah. So I better just show people what he's talking about, otherwise he'll moan. So he's like, zoom in a little bit. <laughs> so let's just, um, so I'll, I'll do a, a zoom now. I'll actually zoom in. So I'm gonna put a, a key keyframe there, which I've put a keyframe in. I'm going to zoom well, I think it does move. over this, that, that period of time. I'm going to zoom in. Right. I don't know where we're looking at, but mm, it'll do. That'll do. So, um, and then... Right. It's razor wire and everything. <laughs> see if it... So as I zoom across and I... Razor wire. Uh, then we'll cut. And wire then and then we'll go back to just normal zoom. There we go. So, yeah. so let's see how that works. So he says, "Yeah." Monitors as well. I think it does move. Right. Yeah. It's razor move. wire and everything. Let's see if the, the prison. Yeah. It's became a prison, and uh, they're not really happy about you coming in here. I think, don't think. But prison fences. Wow! 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 Can't get your fingers in there. Far over. No, but you could put like a bit of me bent metal strapped to your shoe and it'd be really good cl climbing up there. Yeah. Well, I haven't found a point like Spider Man just yet where I want to show. Straight up there. Wee hey! Oh hey, wee hey, hey! Oh, oh your butt! See what I mean? Thank you. Right. Thank you. He's knocked my fucking camera off as well. Last second, you have to get a nettle. It's impossible. Uh, see, I'm getting my frustration on now. I often cut these bits out as well where I like just lose it. Um, right, okay. Lose it over a nettle, folks. Thank you, right. Hang on, I better get that bit out. So let's see what we want to do. Oh, your butt, see what I mean? Thank you, right. Thank you. He's knocked my fucking camera off as well. Not me. Fucking camera. I've got to get rid of that. He's knocked my... My fuck... So, get rid of that. Fucking... Right, so... Uh, 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 get rid of that bit of audio. Zoom out. Save it. Play back. He's knocked my fucking camera off as well. The last... Second, you have to get a nettle. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a white cut here because that means like, and then when we move on, move on from Matt's tantrum. So. It's impossible to do it without getting screwed. Just at the last moment. Yeah, yeah. Ah. All right. So it's just like. To do it without getting screwed. Just at the last moment. Yeah, I'll just like just at the last moment. I'm going to cut to there. So it's like I'm going to illustrate a bit of time has passed. So it's kind of it's kind of showing the viewer we don't want to show my rant basically. So it's like you know we'll cut away from my rant and come back later on. So it's like here we are. Have to get a nettle just at the last moment. Yeah, yeah. Ah, here we are. That's what. Knock my bloody camera off now. Right, rant over. And back to the exploration. Here with Ian from IKS Exploration and Matthew from the Secret Vault. We're complete professionals. Yeah. Three sixty. 
I have got some of that 360 footage. I put some of it up, actually, I think. Um, I'll have to put the rest up as well. But, yeah, it's Ian, Ian playing with the camera. i got loads of dust. I don't know if you noticed. i got loads of dust on the sensor. I don't know how it got on there, but I sort of opened it and then closed it back up, and uh, it's just loads of dust I managed to get on the sensor. It's just look, really got to clean the camera sensor before every single shoot, and you have to get a microscope in there, and you have to look around with a with a torch and get rid of each piece. Then you've got to take a photo of something white, and you've got to zoom into the photo and see if you can see the dirt, you know, before you go filming. Or you know, it's just like ah. Yeah, now, these Sony A7S are quite well known for getting dust on the sensor for some reason. I don't know what it is. It might be electrostatics or something. But um, hmm. so, how many people we got here after two and a half hours? Uh, how many people are actually in it? I don't know. Um, we've got 34 viewers. That's amazing. So we got Stephen Truth here, Captain Tyrell, and I can see it's high ground, but also all the structures undercover. Development of the Trace Italian style. He says, I like brambles. Yeah, okay, cool. So, um, have we lost, um, have we lost exploring with Matty and, uh, Mr. Diago? Probably. Probably playing, probably playing computer games now, <laughs> I would imagine. And I wouldn't blame him. This is pretty boring. Hang on. Shit. Something's happened over here. Right, wrong screen. Save. Right, uh, I wouldn't blame anyone for disappearing at this point. It's just to illustrate how long it takes to edit these things. And I don't know any quicker way to do it. You know, it's just this is how you you just got to put, you just got to watch all of what you did and you got to pick the best bits. So, yeah. Right. Come on then. So this is getting, this is not interesting where he's playing with the camera. So I might cut out of this. So. Here with Ian from IKS Exploration and Matthew from The Secret Vault. We're complete professionals. Right, I reckon complete professionals. We can put a bit of music in there and we can go back to an aerial shot of showing the Citadel, which is where we are. Um, I was a bit gutted. I didn't realise that I could have got some shots of the other side of it, which is where we'll see in a bit, but I didn't manage to get them. I may delay the putting this video out, and I may have a word with Ian and say, hey, Ian, could you get us a shot from the other side, which is the bit we're looking at, because it's a hell of a drop. It's like a cliff. Uh, and I, and I, well, I, I'll decide in a bit, you know, but it, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, it's one of those things, it's just like, I wish I'd filmed the other side of the Citadel, but... Anyway, let's have a look where we are up here. Um, right, is this it? Probably not. No. Uh -huh. Come on out. 995. It's going to be one of these, a citadel. No. 992. Ah, that's sort of it, yeah. That is sort of it, the citadel. But we need to be further back. Is that it? Is that all we've got? Is that it? See, we're, we're actually walking up around this edge over here. So I could just show this bit. It would work if I showed that, just for a few seconds. So I'll say in point there, out point, I don't know, somewhere like maybe that. Yeah, just like pan away and up as we're talking. So we can just put this in the background. So we have got a bit of footage to overlap. I need to get the color, save it never forget to save right okay uh, let's get a piece of color information from one of the earlier clips lumetri color let's come back up the timeline where am i where's the timeline i've lost where i am where am i where am i i'm somewhere down by here no i'm not i'm up here right there we go now this clip um this clip who's sending me messages See if it's important. Um, text message. Ah, oh, right, okay. Uh, ah, right, okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I think it's just crashed whilst I'm not doing anything. Can you believe that? It's just crashed and I won't even do anything. Are you serious? I wasn't even touching it and it's just crashed. Oh my God. Right, I think I saved fairly quickly then. So, oh, it's not normally this bad. I think it's because I'm doing doing the OBS and things in the background as well. This must be making it struggle. I'm, I'm doing OBS, I'm live streaming. 
and yeah and it is Windows 7 to be honest Windows 7 does not like OBS I've noticed this which is why I am going to move to Windows 10 and that's pretty much the only reason is because I want to do more of this live streaming but it is unreliable on Windows 7 it hasn't been designed for it in any way shape or form and I've got some hardware that works with OBS but not in Windows 7 so unfortunately I'm gonna to have to use Windows 10 and I love editing on Windows 7 I like this machine but yeah sadly you can have to move ahead with the times so where are we reveal in project let's just attach the proxy to this so I can edit it quickly attach 992 proxy 992 there we go should be quick now scale to frame size come on it's not having it save that come on there it goes there it goes. Right, I've got to put the colour information on again now. Right, so I've got to zoop, zoop down the timeline, get the colour information from one of these, from the effects, Lumetri colour, copy it. Let's get back up. Come on, come on. I don't know where I am now. See, I've got to zoom out first. Zoom out like a spaz. Spaz, come on. There we are, there it is. It's hard to find out where you are sometimes with these bloody things. Right, okay, so. Um, Okay, drop the color information on that clip. Good, we like it, good, I like that. So, whilst we're talking and walking, we're gonna have the clip playing on top. So let's just do that. So, we're gonna be, da -da -da -da. let's find out the place where it works best, so. This is Ian from IKS Exploration and Matthew from The Secret Vault. We're complete professionals. I think it should be sort of about in here. And I'll put a title yeah. on this to say that it's the Citadel. 316. And I'm going to change this bit going in the background because I don't want him. In 41 minutes. Don't want yep. him Do you want to spin it and put it up so you don't get any of those wires in the shot? Yep. That's the one. There we go. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if we really need to have an explanation of how he puts the camera up. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It looks like you've got your own cameraman now, see, so standing in front of you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, watch him. It's dark. Right. So, I don't know. I think I want to see us get in pain again. So I don't know. So, I suppose I want, I want to see us going through the brambles again. That's important. So, maybe I'll start this drone footage earlier. So, as we're, as we're walking and talking here... With Ian from. <laughs> so there we go. Oops. So we start that footage there. Put a title on it which says that it is the Citadel, I believe it's called, in Dover. So we do that and we get a title up and we'll say um, the Citadel um, uh, disused prison. Dover. And I'll just make this a bit bigger. There we are, the Citadel. Disused prison Dover. And I will put that I, in fact I'll make the whole thing a little bit smaller because it's a bit imposing otherwise. So make it a bit smaller. Disused prison and over the corner. Um and then we'll put that title in over the top. We start it like, like a second or so after the footage comes in. Let him, let him establish what they're looking at first. IKS Exploration and Matthew from the Secret Vault. We're complete professionals. It fades out before the end. So we fade out, Ooh. fade out now. Yeah, watch him. And then cut back. Oh. There we go. That'd be hell. I'm really... Ow! See what I mean? I'm enjoying this. I'm... I am happy. I'm happy. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. So, <laughs> that was me. That was me and my Monty Python, um, Monty Python uh, jokes. Like, you know, the guy who's um, in the coffin, he's like, I'm not dead. I am happy. I'm happy. Uh, right, yeah. Life of Brian, I think it was. Um, or was it? Was it Life of Brian or was it... Um, uh, I can't remember now. So, um, come on, play. 
I'm happy. I think that's a good point to, to cut it. I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm not dead. People won't understand that reference, maybe. Um, so let's have a look. Right. This is try two. I'm now walking back up the same hill. But uh, I'm going to put one of those jokey things in, like, 15 minutes later or something like that. Um, later. There we are, SpongeBob Spare Pants, because... Oh, we've had to go back down the hill. Oh, it's gone. Where is it? Festival of Light. Oh, where's that gone then? Hang on. Uh, that should be there. Where's it gone? Festival of Light. There we are. Long Leet Festival of Light. Where's the square bulb scum sponge pants? There it is. Don't know where that. It says it's question mark. The footage is gone. Oh, there it is. And it's like. 2,000 years later. Right, two thousand years later. That's a funny one. Later. Right. So cut. So I want to cut that out. I want to pop that in there. So just for comedy relief, because and it's it's not going to fill the full the whole screen. So save it before I start playing with things. Go into select mode. Select the footage. Whoop and scale to frame size. So right click and scale it to frame size. Right. Um, so I tell you what, it's, it, it might help to have a little bit of black at the beginning, just to go pop with black and then to pop with black again. Right. Okay, right. Let's get rid of the in and out points. Uh, right, okay, so press space. I'm happy. Two thousand years late. Now you notice it's quiet, it's too quiet, so I'm gonna boost the audio. So right click, audio gain. It's not the only way to audio gain, but I'm gonna add six dB which is gonna double the amount of the volume. So six dB means double volume, twelve dB would mean three times the volume. Two thousand years late. Later. Hang on. Well, the problem is, what happens with this, this clip is, the audio carries on whilst the clip moves to the next piece, which makes it bloody awkward, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go... Later. See what, later, but it actually moves on to the next clip. So what I'll do, ah, that's a good point, I'll just slow the video down but keep the audio at the same rate. So I go to R for rate, and I make the rate longer. See how so it's a bloody OCD, right? Okay, um, and then we drag that in, right? Is this going to work? Save it, save it. Does it work? It's like, look, look how long it takes to put a joke in, yeah, right? So, <laughs> 2,000 years later, so this is try two. I'm now walking back up the same hill, and it looks is that pink? Is that footage pink? Let's read what people are saying in the channel. So, um, you need a new PC, Windows 10. You need a new processor. Um, I've got a new PC. I've got a I've got a 12 core Xeon sitting there, but I haven't had time to fire it up because um, the fans are too noisy. So, um, I'm getting rid of the fans on it and putting my own system in. Um, yeah, you spent 2,000 on an i9 Intel. Mm, this one costs 350 quid. It'll probably pee all over your i9 Intel. Yeah. 32 gigs of RAM. This has got 64 gigs of RAM. It's a dual core Xeon, six processors per Xeon um, die, and that's about 24 processors. So, yeah, I didn't um, build it myself, no, I bought it. You can buy them on eBay, have a look out for them. They're from uh, clearances, business clearances. And you get, you get like six core, six core, six core, six core, and then you'll get one occasional dual core or quad core of these and they're cheap as chips because nobody knows what to do with them because they cluster as workstations and servers which means that people think well it's a workstation it's a server that can't be good for games and it's like no it's uh actually really the best thing that intel have ever made so what you do is you go and buy that and you put your graphics card in it and then it pisses all over everything but the only reason i haven't done it is because this system actually is very stable. I know it's been crashing tonight, but it doesn't crash as bad as this normally. Um, but it's very stable. Um, but the trouble with it is 
this one's got the, the fan noise and I cannot stand fan noise because I process the videos at night and when I'm when I'm rendering the fan noise goes like from this this is the fan noise at the moment and it goes from that to that's the fan noise this one goes from this to dog just woke up sorry it's just like ah so I've got a and you can't play around with the don't yeah you can't the BIOS doesn't work properly to control the fans and I've even installed um, Spinrite the special software and there's four there's four fan settings it's not it's not, it's not variable it's like quiet medium turbo jet um, like somebody with a pneumatic drill going off next door those are the four settings and it's basically so it goes from normal to noisy to turbo jet and there's nothing you can do about it there's no like in-betweens and it's actually not very efficient it gets really hot so I'm going to put on a Noctua Noctua fans they're quiet and they are more efficient watch Linus Tech Tip Tech, tech Tips Linus Tech Tips worked out that a Noctua fan this big is actually more efficient than water cooling so yeah trust me they're quiet they're worth the money they're about 80 quid and they are they're brilliant this machine never gets hot under the biggest strains and it just don't make no noise so it can be done it can be done mm. see Robert said water cooling water cooling is crap and it'll leak and then it'll wreck your machine no trust me knock to a fans quiet quiet yeah right there we are he says his 2 CU rack is 12 core Xeon um, yeah so that you got the same as me then basically 120 gig of RAM and got it for 90 quid on eBay because a rack nobody knows what to do with that because it's like this professional kit but a rack but the fans in a rack are usually crap they're really really noisy yeah um, but you might be able to find ways around it. You could take the top off and put a couple of knock tours on there. Job done, like, you know, just keep it open to the air. And, um, yeah, I would say, you know, like, you know, you've got your blade servers, like, um, uh, like your HP blades, um, G, G7s or whatever. Um, just take the tops off and uh, take the... You disable the, the fans on the end the BIOS will probably complain and go like there's an alarm state because the fans are not working but you just ignore that because it'll actually only turn off based on thermals and you can probably change that in the BIOS anyway um, yeah and uh, believe it or not those blades they have one or two 16 port a PCI Express but they're usually sideways or in weird positions but if you take the lid off you can put your, you can put your card in um, that's right, there was a riser on it. There was a riser that put the cards in sideways so you couldn't fit a graphics card in because the, it's only this big. And the, the card, the riser card, goes sideways to give you your PCI Express. But what you do is you just get a, a cable that allows you to put your card anywhere because it's a cable and it'll just extend out. Yeah. So you put you can put your card sideways and have it up here, or you can have a card up that way or whatever. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, cool, man. So anyway, the, the colours in this are looking drab so let me get onto the color mode sorry color mode um, mm. right um so what is the shadows or is it just overall just a bit shabby put the whites up I can increase just hang on uh, I'm gonna just bang that up that's better that's better that's better there we go a bit more natural is it a bit pinky maybe I don't know pinky pinky pink yeah maybe a bit more blue I think looks a bit more natural oh de natural I have speed fan oh not it was speed fan I was using sorry not spin right spin right is the um, spin right is the disk software isn't it for recovery spin right speed fan yeah by the Italian is it an Italian chap does it yeah no it's 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 good and that's what I was using on this Dell but there's only four addressable values for the the fan in the BIOS can you believe it right a nice machine like this right the cheaper ones the smaller ones they've got 
you know, scalable ranges. This one is like, it's basically like sort of on or off. It's like fan on full, fan off. And it's like, there's no two, there's, there's nothing. It's like four settings, it's rubbish. So anyway, we won't talk about it anymore because it's pissed me off because this machine's been sat here for ages. But it will be coming out soon. I just want to get backlog of my videos out. Then this one's coming online. But, or maybe sooner actually, but yeah. Um, trouble is, once I take everything out of this machine, I'm going to be wanting to work on this one. So I'm going to probably run them side by side and I'm going to start trying to use this one and seeing whether or not it wants it. I want to put the new version of Windows 10 on because did you know that Microsoft have conceded that Windows 10 was a piece of shit because it made people do updates when they didn't, when they didn't want to do updates and, and the whole world was screaming, we don't want to do the updates. Microsoft went, all right, all right. So there's a new version of Windows. It's like build 13 or something, I think they call it, or it's, it's version da -da 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 -da, 13 onwards. You can install it on your machine no more updates you get control yeah so if you didn't know that go and get it because honestly that's one of the big reasons i would not touch windows 10 and that was one of the big reasons i was holding back because i tell you what nobody is ever going to tell me when i'm going to do my updates and that's the first thing i would have done with windows 10 is i've been in there like rip that shit out of there you ain't telling me when i'm doing my updates no ing way sorry not on my <sighs> not, not on your nelly that. sir I am never being forced to do updates. Pulse. Oh, God. Um, I think I've just basically abused my legs so much over the last couple of days that the injury from Plymouth, can't even feel it now. It's like it's lost somewhere in the ache, aches. So, we get back up these steps, walk all the way back up the top, and then pretty much I'll be back in. There we were, in no time at all, and happy days, I'll have some recording time. So let's just catch ourselves up at the top. So I could do another one of those jokes, I suppose, like 15 seconds later or something there. Um, but I'm going to have to explain, because I didn't explain with my voice what, was, what actually went wrong, because we were kicked out, because we were spotted by the security at the Citadel, who said, Oh, you can't be up here! We're like, we're just going down to the bits around there. No, 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 you can't go down there. I was like, yeah, but it's not in the prison. No, 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 no. So we're like, oh, all right then, mate. So we left it half an hour and we came back and we sneaked around the other side. We were a bit more careful. But, um, you know, anyway, so. Uh, but I need, I need to explain that because I didn't really explain it properly in this thing. So, come on, bit of footage, right. This is try two. I'm now walking back up the same hill. Um, okay, let title. I need to say um, security guard at former prison kicked us off. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, so let's go because that explains what happened. Where's the titles? Where's the titles? Where's the titles? I've lost that title now. This is a this happens a lot. Hang on, is that it? Oh, so lucky. That is well lucky. Let me just position. Ah! Wrong one. Wrong one. This one. Save that. Right. Um, put a fade on it. Put it, put it fade up, so. But not with any nettles. Oh, God. Um, I think I've just basically abused my legs so much over the last couple of days that the injury from Plymouth, can't even feel it now. It's like, it's lost somewhere in the ache, aches. So, we get back up these steps, walk all the way back up the top, and then pretty much, I'll be back in. Where we were, in no time at all, and happy days, I'll have some recording time. Right. So I don't know, it one wob, waffles on a bit there, hang on. So, come on, come on. Where we were, in no time at all, and... In no time at all, cut. Or, cut. Right, so cut.
cut that out. Uh, then they've got the SpongeBob thing, which is Sponge. SpongeBob. Uh, let's get that on again. Where is he? 2,000 years later. Let's have a look for a different bit. Later. Scale to frame size. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Uh, a few inches later. Let's try that. Later. Up. So, because it's kind of silly getting kicked out, really, isn't it? So, a bit of comedy. A few inches later. Cut. Get rid of it. Bring that back in line. Get rid of this bit. We need to be on the top now, because that's what I said we were going to do. Oh, there we are. Well, look, we're back now. Cool. Wow. Well. Would you add them and leave it? We're back. Uh, we're back in the hole. And we oh. Colours looking a bit bleh. Let's see if I can just boost them up again. Whites. Zip. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Zip, 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 zip. Zip. Maybe. I don't know. A bit better. A bit, bit, um, bit, bit more toward the blue. A little bit less pink. Back in. Right. Let's have a look at what people are. Yeah, the Holy Grail. Yes, thank you, thank you. It was the Holy Grail. Oh, the Holy Grail, not Life of Brian. That's right, the Holy Grail. Um, yeah, the dude got dude on the play cart. That's the one, yeah. Um, yeah, sort the ratio out. Well, you want me to sort the ratio of the um, the comedy clip? But it shows, it kind of illustrates you've switched from our footage to, like, old telly and back. Oh. A few inches later... See, I don't mind having the the black in there because it like illustrates that you've switched, switched. All right, you want me to sort the ratio out? Here we go. Look, let's stretch it. Yeah, there you go. For you, sir, not a problem. You could get away with stretch fit. There we are. See, not a problem for you, sir. But remember, I wanted to put the little black bits in. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really anal now. Look, I'm gonna be really anal. I want to put a little little black cut point and a black cut point. So there we are. So I'm at all. A few inches later. Whoa. Well, would you add and leave it? We're back. I reckon just would you add and leave it? We're back because I don't want all this camera camera messiness there. That's a bit messy, isn't it? So I'm gonna get rid of that. So it's gonna go a few inches later. Later. Would you add and leave it? We're back. Uh, we're back it. The hole. And then pull it all back in. Rip my, rip my legs. So, this time we're going to get in. We've got the batteries. We've got the Lucas Aid. Lucas Aid sponsored by. Yeah, sponsored by. Buy as much as you can from the link below, folks. Yeah. Hopefully I explain why we got kicked out. Trouble is, I would drink Lucas Aid, but has got aspartame aspe in it. Aspartame. It's one of the bad boys. I don't drink that poison. So, even though it used to be a good energy drink, it used to have glucose and sugar. Now it's got glucose and poison aspartame, so I don't bother with it. I'd rather have uh, Red Bull because it's got sugar still in it or, you know, I don't bother with a sucralose, yes, stevia, yes, had a push, some of the others, but not aspartame. Well, yeah, then. Let's try this again, folks. Whew. Bit of wind noise there, it's quite windy. Right, so obviously we're going to need to cut some of this because it's getting boring. So. All right, come on. Rewind, rewind the footage, please. Thank you. The same. So before the camera pans too much, I'm going to cut. All right, cut. Well, yeah, then. Let's try this again, folks. We need to find our in point now, so I'm going to get rid of this in a minute. Whew. Well, I need to find a good in point, and I need some more hey, beer. Thanks. Tidy. Let's go. Oh, tidy. When I was 32 record time. 
tidy. Come on, rewind the footage. 38 minutes. Tidy. Right. Right. Um, because we're, we're sort of like messing around for such a long time, I'm going to do a circular clock wipe to kind of in, indicate time. Check a wipe, check a clock wipe. So I'm going to do a clock wipe between these bits to kind of show that time, time's gone on. Aspartame. Eight minutes. Tidy. Let's yeah. go. One hour, 32 record time. 100% battery. Can we have a random smiley face in it? Um, Stephen Truthseeker. Yeah, no worries. Let's get a random... Let's get a random... Uh, random smiley face, is it? So what we do is we're going to get one of these, hang on, let's get you a random smiley face, smiley face, right, let's get images, smiley face, right, is that what I'm going to do, 1200, yeah, right, save image as, I'm going to put it in, I don't know, where am I going to put it in, uh, where am I going to put it in, where am I going to put it in, where am I going to put it in, I don't know, hang on, uh, Long Leap Festival of Light, this one. Um, I'm going to, Smiley, I'm going to call it. Smiley. Smiley. Right, I'm going to close that down. We've got to drag it in. So we've got to go to that folder. We've got Smiley. We drag it into Premiere. We drop it in Long Leap Festival of Light folder. I'll do. Uh, what's going on? Right, so Long Leap, Long Leap Festival of Light. I'm going to go find it now. There we are. Long Leap Festival of Light. Where's the Smiley, Smiley, Smiley? We drag it onto the timeline, right? Um, of course, it's got this crap around the edge, which is not looking good. So I'm gonna have to put a, I'm gonna have to put a mask on it now. So I'm gonna have to mask it out for you. So I'm gonna have to put a mask on the edge. Look, right? So I'm gonna have to mask the edges like this for just for you, Stephen Truthseeker, right? So I'm gonna mask the edges out, and I'm gonna have to put a feather on it, a feather effect. Then we can scale it down, right? And we're going to position it somewhere, and I'm going to say, um, uh, I'm going to say, uh, th this smiley sponsored sponsored by Stephen Truth Seeker. Don't don't save in the middle of that, right? Okay, Stephen Truth Seeker. So I'm going to I'm going to put it to the right because I reckon I look more stylish. Right, because it's on the right hand side. I'm going to put a title in there that says, There we go. So I'm going to say, Right, title, bang, smiley, bang. They're not going to understand why. I'm going to say, um, you know, look, Ready? So, whilst we're walking along, please play, play the fucking footage. Hang on, that's in the wrong position, so let's just get it in a slightly more stylish position. This smiley sponsored by Stephen Truthseeker. There we are, look. We'll bring him bring it down, look. There we are. So that is gonna end up in I will put that in. I'm not gonna take it out, right? That's for you. That's at eight it's at eighteen minutes at the moment, but when I put the titles in, it'll probably be about twenty minutes, okay? Twenty minutes in. Back of a prison. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it out a bit quicker because I think people do want to look at the prison. So um, I think they'll be thinking, what the hell? Right, so here we are. Back of a prison. And like, what are you doing, Matt, with this nonsense? But it doesn't last too long, you see. So there we go. <laughs> All right, but if it's sponsored, are you going to say, send us a donation? <laughs> Monetary donation, not not a sperm sample. Thank you very much. Mm. Did you know the backpack is unzipped your zip on the bottom section, Matt? Nothing going to fall out? Yeah, no, I've only got a power pack in this 
You've got to get very close to the prison to get into this place, look, alright? So we could have been spotted a second time, which would have been awkward. And don't don't even think about going into that prison. It's it's swarming with guards, right? I mean it's an ex prison, but they they are swarming the place. Otherwise I would have gone in, but it was like I was told, just don't even bother. And it don't look like it from outside, but Trust me, apparently they're in there, and we did meet them and we picked us out. But this bit, if you can get around the back to this bit, this bit's pucker. Absolutely pucker. Cooking with gas. Well, we're, we're dawdling a bit here, so let's. I need to kind of move on a bit. So come on, footage. Come on. So once we get in. I'm going to cut it there to us walking down the steps. So just accelerate it forward a bit. So what are we doing? Are we still getting in? Right, I'll get him from the moment where, where Ian starts to go then. Because that, that's a bit of a pregnant pause otherwise. So, um, hmm, okay. Right, so I just cut, I think. So it's just so. Looks good. Save. The thing I often forget to do. Right. Um, I'm homeless with no benefits. Well, fucking hell, what are you doing with the internet then? You should be like scraping around in sewers looking for turds to eat. Cooking with gas. So this would have been the original way out to the defence coupon here. From here onto the top of it anyway. Shouldn't be on the internet, Maybe. you can't afford the internet. Unless of course you're living off your savings, your millions of pounds of savings that you got from your last job before you ended up without a job on benefits. Excuse without the magazine. benefits. Dan, if you want to go first. Okay, thank you. Now, of course, as we moved into this section, the colours changed, yeah? So what I might do now is I might change the colour at this this sort of point here to kind of match up with, because it's very... Uh, right, where's that? So let's let's look at what, what I would kind of suggest, maybe a bit more blue, um, maybe a bit less green, I don't know, we'll see. Let's try that, so... Yeah. I'm gonna put a put a cross fade um which is a, one of those and I'm gonna make it a long one so you don't notice the change so much because I don't want it to be like a kick ch change in the colours. So here we go. So ready? Colours start to change oh come on. Oh, it's not having it. It'll look fine in the in the final Cooking product. With gas. It'll look alright. Trust me. So this would have been the original way out to the defence coupon here. From here onto the top of it anyway. Now I think there's too much white in there to be honest. Ah we are look look we're we're, we're blasting out the stuff at the bottom, so I'm gonna take the whites down. Yeah. I was gonna say it looked a little bit over the top that, so let's get that down. There we are. That'll be good. Alright. Tidy. So it's two o'clock now. I think we were starting. It's about eleven o'clock. This goes into the magazine. Down if you want to go first. Okay, thank you. So, colours looking okay is. or with it's red brick, so I suppose it. It's going to look like that, really, isn't it? It's amazing I can forget stuff like that, but we're, we're doing so much today. But look out for something white. It uh, seems to be things can be easily forgotten, so... But whatever's white will be, will be affected by the red time brick time as well, so we've got to, to be careful with this. To get them, so. Massive power room. Power yeah, even his white on his T-shirt is going to be kind of blown out by the red bouncing off the wall, so you yeah. kind of maybe judge it by skin tones. Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. 
Don't look too bad, but I'm looking at it now, and I should zoom in a minute. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit looks a bit green. What do you reckon? That looks a bit better. It looks a little bit better. What about pink? No, so we've got to find the middle point there. Might be maybe a bit more like that. Hang on. What do you reckon? Does that look any good? Is it looking a bit looking a bit better, maybe? And that was some sort of serving hatch. So Barry Stevenson, that, he said he heard it's got a load of I heard that I'm a retiree, so <laughs> there. Although, what are they called? Uh, no excuse. Send us all your money. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna split the difference between that and give it a bit of red. Yeah, and we'll have to have a bit of red on the remnants of the sink on the floor. Dated as well, 1940 something. Yeah, bit but it's a lot better than where yeah. it was because if you consider, and I'll save this. Right, that's 117. I'll remember that figure. When we came in, it was like over here. So, but now it's more like that. So, like 100, 117. So, it's a little bit it's more. A sink, and even more recognisable bit of a sink. See, so that sink would have looked like that, would have looked like that if I hadn't done the colour balancing. So now the sink is looking a little bit more like that. Back on it there. Not so bad. No Dave. Yeah. All smashed up though. If I hadn't have shot this in log colour, if I hadn't have shot this in this in this weird mode I told you about, which looks like this, if I hadn't have shot it like that, that's what it looks like when it was shot. If I hadn't have shot it in log colour, I would not be able to go crazy with the colour balancing and colour correction afterwards. That's what log colour is all about. That's why you shoot in log colour. If you didn't know, so anyway. Cool. See, this one's got uh, information on the back there. Westwood SS. 1945. Well, Westwood is <laughs> the place Westwood. that had. Before there's a bunker in Westwood. A bunker in Westwood, yeah. Well, that was smashed. Ah, look at the look at the whites on the walls now, right? With my light, this is where the color would have been had I not adjusted it, right? And this is where the the color is that I reckon it should be around, yeah. So just goes to show, you can you can play around with it a hell of a lot if you shoot in log color. Come on, run. Damn. That would have been worth a bit of money, that. I'll oh, complete one. Westwood. That's a bunker where they were testing chemical warfare stuff near Bradford and Avon. Oh, right. Westwood. Things on the cobweb, a cobweb clean there. Hang on a sec. I'm just going to send somebody a message. Um. I'm live streaming on YouTube on the Secret Vault channel. If you fancy tuning in for a giggle, I'm showing how to people to video edit with uh, Premiere, Adobe Premiere. Right. Oh, sorry. Beer. Westwood. Now we're going outdoors, so the light's going to go woof and change really badly here. So this is the point where we want to change. Just as we go outdoors, cut, right? And this is where we want to get the the settings to go back. Once I once I dim the dim the thing back, it probably wants to be all back to probably about there. And let's put a long fade as we come through the through the through the thing. Yeah. So you'll see the colours change now. But I haven't, yeah. on the camera, I haven't um, adjusted for the light at the moment. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Idiot. 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 Oh, watch it, it's thorns on that bastard. 
Right. Again, I probably need to be back on the other colour so setting here. Got... Behind there is the gun position. You'll be able to see it in the other one. Probably going back out soon enough, so there's no point in being too zealous. It's a bit red, isn't it? It is a bit red. So, hang on. But it is a lot of bounce back off those bricks. That's the trouble, see? So, when we go back in, I'm going to put a cut point. Then I'm going to put the colours more across to where we were which is like there a little bit so a little bit and then I have to put another fade on it so let's have a look what that looks like come on out so we go in and then the colour is collected then so that should be yeah it's a bit better so maybe I don't know a bit more like that so yeah try it like this there we go okay so these are the gun casemates. Behind there is uh, the gun position. You'll be able to see it in the other one. And I think I must have done something like this sort of in the second world war. Picked it up. Barry Stevenson says, No, Who's I am retired. Place, no bad comment to you, okay? Why no bad comments? Everyone else gives me bad comments. They all like slag me off. You might as well join in. <laughs> And like, why are you hang around with this person? Why are you hang around with that person? Why are you talking to this person? You shouldn't be hanging around with them. I get, I get it all. Hang on, I need to get another beer. So excuse me, folks. Let's take this finish can. Two seconds. So this will help me get to sleep in a bit. I may not finish this edit tonight, I may have to give up. I haven't lost enthusiasm or energy at all, but I am kind of, I'm just getting a bit, mm, getting a bit sort of like this is going to take forever. It's one of those type of edits, because I do like to get it, I do like to get it right, you know? I don't like to mess around with these things to, so I don't know. I'm just going to turn the S-Log off. I'm going to do a white balance on his T-shirt. And I'm going to turn the S-Log back on. How does it look now? That is, that's probably correct. The, the, the fact that you've got red on his face, red on his shirt, is, is inevitable because that is actually naturally what was there. That is the bounce back of the red light on his thing. We can correct for it by pushing it all the way up there, but then he, he starts to look green. So I think we have to kind of go for the natural look, which is like that. Oh, so here we go. I say I'd be, I'd be happy to um, bring somebody in on a Skype so you can have a chat with me whilst I'm editing if you want. But you'd have to email me your number, and I'll um, and I'll dial you on Skype, and you can come in. You can come in and be part of the fun, and chat to me, and ask me questions whilst I'm trying to edit. Um, if you want, but you'll have to send me your number on um, on email, and I'll go and get it, and then I'll fire up Skype, and you can chat to me if you want. I don't mind doing that because you've been here a long time, and I want to sort of um, I want to kind of you know make it a little bit more exciting. Yeah, truth for the most part, I don't go through the bins for food, but I might come to that in the future. Um, why don't you go and why don't you go and sign on if you're entitled to it? I know it's a pain in the fucking ass, but I mean if you're entitled to money and you haven't got a job, go and sign on. But um, and there's no dishonour in going and getting food out of bins. I know lots of people who do that because the bloody um, supermarkets just throw it all out instead of putting it on special offer. They're little bastards. And I know people who um, eat very nicely out of bins. The, at least the ones that don't put domestos or glass in the bloody things. Uh, that's been known to happen, but I think they've been told off about doing that because it could end up in somebody being seriously injured or whatever. But yeah, I know people who do that. I'm not one of them, by the way, but I know lots of people who do because they're environmentally active. They're living on Poverty Street, you know, and um, they just they just think it's a good it's a good thing, you know. 
Um, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Ah, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be anti that really. Um, not my cup of tea, but you know I wouldn't be anti it. I mean I, I've I've had stuff that people have brought out of bins and said, "Would you want this?" And I went, "Yeah, all right then." You know, I mean as long as it's not got mold on it and it's you know cool. looking all right. Meat and things like that. You got to be really careful with meat. But I mean vegetables. I mean what's wrong? What's going to be wrong with a vegetable? You know, it's nothing going to be wrong with a vegetable, is it? I mean it's like it's just, come on. You know, possibly bread. You know, you could um, uh, you could just you know cut off the mold if you had mold. I'm not saying you should. I mean, if it was cheese, <laughs> who cares about mold? You just cut that off and just eat the middle bit. But meat, a little bit more tricky. Maybe leave the meat alone. But yeah. So okay. if, you, if you do send me your telephone number because you want to come on Skype, then tell me that you've I've sent it to me on my email. You know what the email is? I'll tell you in the channel now. Hang on. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? So if you send it to me at com. I won't reveal it. Yeah, I won't reveal your number. But if you want to send me a number, um, I can contact you. Um, or if you've got Skype, I can Skype to Skype. If you want to, if you want to um, tell me that you want to do it, here we are. Um, he, he already did the dole thing. They stopped my housing benefit, made me homeless. Yeah, well, you you got to fight them. Unfortunately, um, you got to fight them. I've helped a number of people actually fight the benefits people because they take the piss and I've helped people get money that they were told they weren't entitled to and I've actually had to stand in the job centre with the security guards going, we're calling the police. I said, we fucking call them. We're not getting out here. And I'm li literally like, we ain't going nowhere, mate. We're staying right here, yeah, until the police come, you know, and, and shit like that. And, um, yeah, um, and when the police have come, you know, they've basically been on our side and you've got to fight, you know, you literally have to, everything apart from physical violence, yeah, with these people to show them you mean business. And you have to secretly tape record everything you do with them. You secretly tape record everything and you catch them out in their lives, yeah, and you take it back to them and you say, you told me this and now you're telling me this and that's got me kicked off. But you told me this, they said, we never told you that. It's like, fucking tape recording, fuck you. So anyway, um, that is how I've helped people in the past, but you've got to record everything and um, without exception with those people, they are they are nasty pieces of work, so yeah. But I mean, you know, it's free money, so and you're entitled to it. You are entitled to it. I know a lot of people say, no, it's just not worth the hassle, but yeah, it, it is. It is worth the hassle because you're entitled to it. And these Nazis are fucking... If you're an immigrant or an asylum seeker, you get money given to you and you don't have to go and look for a job. But all the people who live in the country who've paid into the bloody system and they're told, like, oh, fuck you, and oh, you, who the hell do you think you are? Go and get that money. Don't feel bad about it. Go and get it. Yeah? Anyway. Um. Camera. Similar. Sort of set up there. But if you want to send me a telephone number, let me know you've done it in the comments. I'll look at my emails. I'll Skype you. Or put your Skype name on the thing. If you've got Skype, put your Skype name on uh, this one. I know you say it's too much stress, but dying because of no, no money and no food, surely that's more stress. Yeah. I had to sign on once, and do you know what I ended up telling them? I said, right then, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start breaking into people's houses. And I said, really? I said, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start breaking into people's houses, and the first ones I'm gonna do are gonna be yours. So I'm gonna look you up on the electoral register where you live, because I know your names, yeah. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out here, and you'll never prove it's me. But I'm gonna break into your houses, and I'm gonna steal your shit, yeah. And I'm gonna do it specifically, right? And if I get sent to prison, right, it'll be easier than signing on. So it's up to you. You can pay me money, or you can pay me. You can pay hundreds of thousands of pounds to keep me in a prison cell. Yeah, but one way or another, I'm not fucking starving. And they're like, ooh, 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 you know. And they're like, don't you speak to us like that? And it's like, really? Don't speak to you like what? You're telling me that I've, you know, not going to get food. 
and you know so I'm going to have to like go and get it from the food bank or I'm going to have to get it from bins yeah you're going to you're going to do that to me is it they did this to me once yeah they did it to me once and it's like yeah, you can't tell us well it's not our problem it's not our problem you know because it's like well yeah no you're getting a bonus for kicking me off the benefits yeah so I'm going to make sure that because you kicked me off it's going to come out of your pocket you're going to deal with it personally yeah when I break into your house yeah, and it's like they're like, it's like you know, you you will just give me my benefits then, and they're like, oh, we're going to report you to the police. I said, I don't care. It's not going to stop your house getting broken into, and then I come back the next time, and it's like fucking, you know, I just you know look look up look up details about them and say, look, I've been look, yeah, I've been looking for a job. I said, no, I've been looking, I've been spending my time looking up where you live, you know, and shit like that. And you just get you, you can be aggressive to the point where you don't actually say you're going to threaten them with physical violence but you just say well you know i've got to live so I, so you're the one that's done this to me right so i'm not going to like penalize somebody else that hasn't done this to me like you know some person i've never met when i could do it to you you know because it's like that's how it should be isn't it you know like you do it to me i do it to you and eye for an eye you know and all that sort of shit and it's like you know right get out to the job center that's what he said to me get out to the job center you're not allowed back and i said right okay and it's like so anyway enough of that and eventually they take you off signing they take you off signing and they say well you're too violent and too reactionary to come into the job center so you have to sign through postal and it's like thank you very much so you want to just get on that mate huh? get on that and i tell you what right if you feel like you aren't going to food mate if you feel like you aren't going to food go and see your local food bank right they'll give you tons of food tons and tons and tons of food most of the food banks I've been to, right, I've got more food than they can give out, right? It'll often go off because they can't give it all out, yeah? So go and see a food bank. I had to do it. I had to do it once myself, and it's not clever, but they let me fill my car up with food, you know? And I lived off that for a while until I got my benefits sorted out. Got to do it sometimes. Don't feel embarrassed about it, you know? They're usually like churches and things like that. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the editing now, but if, if you need any help, mate, if you need any help, just give us a shout. I'll um I'll help you work through it. Don't be don't feel like you're on your own with that shit. I, hopefully you've got some people to help you, yeah? So Yes, yeah, you, you can't let it get that bad, you know. Okay. I'll come round where where I'll come I'll come round where you are. And I'll film myself going in the job centre for the channel, and you'll you'll see what the secret vault is all about, mate. You won't you won't have seen anything like it. Trust me. When I get going, oh yeah, oh fucking yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind end up spending the the day the afternoon in the cells as well, but it'll be like right in their face, mate. Right in their face, and they'll be like, oh shit. It'd just be easier to pay this guy because otherwise we're gonna get his mates gonna keep coming back. Yeah, and that's how they think, mate. That's how they think. You'd be surprised, right? You'd be surprised, yeah. They're like, you know, our job centre is gonna get smashed up here, or something bad's gonna happen, or one of us is gonna get smacked, yeah. And it's like they start they oh suddenly they're they're oh 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 and we're gonna get to have to answer lots of questions here about what we've done and why we cut this guy's benefit off and why he's lost his housing benefit and all that sort of stuff, yeah. You know, you, you take it to the, the line, yeah, you take it to the line of not actually making any threats and not actually doing anything bad, but implying all sorts of things, yeah, without actually saying them. Yeah, and they start going fucking nuts. You go, oh, I'm tape recording everything. I haven't said nothing. I haven't said nothing to you. What are you on about? Yeah, and it's like they start going, oh, shit. This is just too much. And especially when it happens, it's happening with everyone else in the job centre going, oh, 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 oh. Because they're all like going, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir. Like, all right. And you're in there going, nah, call the police. Call them. I want you to call the police. I'm filming you, and I don't give a fuck. And they're like, don't you swear at us. And I'm like, well what else can I do you know it's like I, I'd like to be polite but unfortunately uh, you know if you just film everything mate film everything and fucking secretly record but if you need to just pull a camera out and just film them yeah they hate it so this is going on YouTube this is going on YouTube and do it you know and just like they'll just be like oh god oh and they'll just give in in the end they'll just give you what you want they'll just give you your money because they don't want everyone else to see what you're like because if everyone else behaved like you they'd be in trouble 
Yeah. So, there we go, mate. Um, they wouldn't let me back into the homeless day centre in Winchester. Hmm. I'm sure you've got some great stories to tell me. <laughs> Vice versa. <laughs> okay, I better keep going. Come on, turn that Irish down. Come on, Matt. Yeah. Come on. Or, uh, fall off that. Come on. Turn it down, Matt. Anyway, I'm going to cut that out because it's just looking horrible. Right, so it's going to go from there. So, yeah, I had. Whoops, a daisy. So, it's not very good, is it? So, yeah, I had a bit of camera. Not set correctly then, but yes, you wouldn't like to fall down that. Okay, let's cut it tight then. Right. Right, um. Right, okay. Yeah, I had the camera not set correctly then, but yes. You now we're outdoors again, so we're going to have to set it again. So we got so shadows up a bit, uh, the whites up not not enough. To fall down that. Right, what's going on here? Uh, it just looks too, it looks gaudy, doesn't it? It looks really gaudy. Ah, that's better. It's because they needed a bit of green in it. Uh, it's looking a bit better. I just think maybe. Mm, I don't know. No, it's better. Maybe a bit less colour. I don't know. These shadows are pissing me off. Hang on. Maybe that. That's looking a bit better. Right, go for it. Do it. Do it! <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. How's he saying? Do it! Okay. Hair on drop. Do it! Shyla Booth. I know what's happening. We've got way too many shadows. There we go. Let's put it on the master channel, right? Master channel. This is where the master channel yeah. comes in. If you, if you can't dial in the shadows without it going too black, you go to the master channel and you put the shadows in before you apply the LUT and it brings back some hard to recover areas. Slope. Without really deforming the footage, but you see there's a little a bit of uh, that's noise an in that or something area. There, is it? Yeah. I was wondering if is that what you saw from the, from the this, car. This is the bit that I was hoping um, to have some drone footage of, which I didn't have. So this would be nice to have some drone footage pulling up and away from here. So, but never mind. I know it was very close to the road. Right. So you know, like from. That first row of houses to the road, that sort of distance, but right over there near the roundabouts where you go down into the ferry terminal. Right. You can go you can down right to the ferry terminal or you can go down left and carry on towards town. So we're on three hours forty seven and we've done twenty four minutes of footage and we've still got one hour forty two to do, so we better just keep playing. Because there's a lot of footage. And against that chalk wall on your left videos. hand side. Right by there, very, you know, tall archways, like going right up and over and down that steep. That might have been the oil mills. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, you can see the mounds there, look, if you look over there. Yeah. Where the guns would have fired from. Yes. So, you know, it made a, a dip in it, so where the guns could fire. Mm-hmm. And the mud's been put up against the parts that not, um, to protect it a bit, I suppose. So we'll be going down Matt's there. Matt's poor What's Osmo. That, um, See that Osmo, he lost that. He put it on the roof of my car. He forgot he'd put it on the roof of my car. We drove off, and then he goes, where's my Osmo? And we drove back. It was only like 10 minutes later. Somebody dad it. Somebody dad it. We looked everywhere. Poor Matt, he paid 150 quid for that Osmo or whatever, and he's like, he lost it like two or three days after he bought it. Poor bugger. He went, he's got another one now, but it's just like, ah. Oh. Jeez, never let anything out your sight, and it never let it out your sight. Come on, wind up the footage. Come on, wind up the footage. Wind up. Uh, what's that pepper pot thing? They're the old. Um, that's where the railway tunnel runs. Ah, under there. What the new? The Folkestone. Ah, let's just zoom in on that because that looks pretty funky. Yeah. They're the old uh... old railway tunnel. So I'm going to go zoom. 
Um, that's where the railway tunnel runs. Zoom. So I'm going to put a zoom in. So we're going to go, yeah, like that. So, so we go like this. Zoom in. There, the old. Um, that's where the railway tunnel runs. Ah. Under there. What the new? Over the Folkestone. Ah, right. Not the. And then we'll do a. I don't know. At the end of it, we'll just put a zoom back. So I'll go back to a hundred. I'm oh, sorry. Bloody tissues on the keypad. Right, so let's just go. The folks then. Ah, right, not the Euro tunnel. Right. Oh, let's back at a back at that. So turn that off. Yep. No, no, no. no. So the Folkestone Tunnel end, does it go beyond this? Bit of chitty chat, probably a bit too much. Folkestone Tunnel, talking about this, I'm just. So the Folkestone Tunnel end, does it go beyond this, just down the cliff a bit? Come in under there, or does it come totally underground? What's that? The, uh, you the say the, tunnel. No, the, the oh, Folkestone these. Tunnel. I think they come out just as. Um, you, from uh, the. Do they come underneath here, underground? Not under here, no, it goes across the cliff along the beach. Across that way, yeah? yeah. That's what I was wondering, yeah. Okay. Right, let's, uh, let's head in. See, my lack of knowledge there is, One is what's not... Down in these, but... yeah. Oh, yeah, well, my lack of knowledge there and asking him a daft question doesn't really translate as necessarily brilliant stuff. So what I might do is just cut now from... When I start talking about something I don't really know very much about, because I thought the tunnel might have gone through the hill here and come out the other side, we're not sure, but you know, asking daft questions don't always do it, does it? So. Right, let's, uh, let's get in. Let's get in. One wonders what's down in these, but yeah. So we've got no takers on the. Uh, I'll ring you up and you can. You can talk to me whilst I'm editing. They all bottle it, see? They're all like, oh, I can't do that. It's too mad. Being all live and live and interactive and all that crap. It's not like we're on Radio Where 1 or anything. Really. <laughs> um, now we're going to get into the tunnel section. So. Something just fucking flicked straight underneath my glasses into my fucking eye. Hmm. Remember that? It's like it managed to get in under my glasses. It sort of flicked at me and sort of went up under my glasses like you bastard. You know what? Something just fucking flicked. Farking. Get rid of the farking. Fucking fl Arking. Arking. Fucking fl Arking. Get rid of the ucking, and that'll be good enough then. So, something just. Something just fucking flicked straight underneath my glasses into my fucking eye. My fucking eye. Fucking eye. Yeah. yeah. Fucking eye. Fucking eye. Fucking eye. Can I? Can I? Fucking eye. Save. It is just a time game with all this, you know, it's just such a time consuming bloody thing. Good eye. Just fucking went like that up and fucking underneath. Alright, I can, we, this is getting boring now, we just cut it to inside. So. Don't mind a bit of wobble because it shows like oh look I'm all thrown off my, my I don't know what I'm doing because I'm all thrown off look and I've got ages and ages now where I'm just moaning and ranting I don't believe this in my eye my eye and my thing in my eye and blah, 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 and I am more than me and I'm a poor man and nobody loves me uh, spare me this bullshit urbex explore even though it's actually quite good fun but. I wasn't well prepared, those shorts were just woefully crap. Well, they were good for the sun, but terrible for going through those bloody bushes. Uh, so anyway, right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I naturally just edited another point where I say, never mind. <laughs> Whereas I've like cut out the bit where like five minutes of me going, rah, 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 rah. never mind. <laughs>
<laughs> I just don't get to hear this, see? Makes it sound so professional. Like I said to Ian, I said, you get to see the real me now, like moaning and going like, ah, rah, ah. And it's like, oh, right, back to normal. <laughs> I know, mate. I think it's going to help, don't you? But to oh, to well, totally professional now. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm buffering, am I? I am buffering. Is it? Um, hang on a sec. I am buffering. Let me just um, save that a sec. Hang on, save this. CPU is very low, 2%, 30 frames a second, uh, 2 kilobits of data. Um, let me check that the, let me check they're in the correct order. Oh, see, look, that's, I should be below normal, it crashed, see, I should put the, this one is below normal priority. <sighs> Got to remember if I have a crash to do that. Tell me if it's starting to look a bit better. In a minute. Come on. So OBS should be high priority. Hence why we're wearing gloves and glasses or safety glasses. Helmet saying that waste yeah, they're a waste of time, but the glasses are quite good. Saved my eyes a few times from bloody thorns. But that one just then. Not Water tank. Yeah, not cast iron or something. Hmm. Like and uh, L bad boy. Colours looking okay. Don't look too bad. So just it's about boy, to change in a minute. What's that? This. This one. We're going down into the belly of the beast. Oh. There we go. Expect the colours to sort of change now a bit. Yeah, here we go. So as we come in, I think I'll I'll put a, a colour change so you don't notice the transition so much. Okay, well. So there, where I put the camera up, I kind of fake it in here now so we get in. And the colour probably here. Get it in mid-range. Yeah, try that. Try some of that. Maybe. We'll see. And I'll have to do a um I'll have to do a dissolve between the two so you don't notice it so much. Anyway, here we go. So let's see what it works like. Outside colours. Oh. And it's changed to inside colours, but you didn't notice because the iris went up, so there we are. We're on the inside so colour now. The bottom of the hinge, how worn is. Yeah, you could just tap that through with a hammer, couldn't you? And yeah. yeah. I'll put a title on there saying not that we ever would tap things with hammers sorry I'll say we we never tap with hammers or carry hammers on us just just to kind of make out that you know because it's like we wouldn't do that shit And because Ian's there and it's going to obscure his face, I'm going to put that title at the top. Out of the way. There we are. You can, you can see straight away, it's like huge rooms down here. Yeah. Watch the floor with steps. Yeah. And uh, you could fall into these nasty little hooks here as well. But yeah, this is spacious, isn't it? It's massive. Yeah, thanks, uh, Stephen Truthseeker. Yeah, it was just because Premiere was the same priority as some of the other programs. We're well, like some Premiere down here and OBS right up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More steps to go to mount more. Colours look okay. More areas. These are like the toilet. Turn it down. Turn it down. There we go. It's outdoor colours, but we're going back in so soon, I'm not going to bother changing them. There's a yellowy, reddy quality to some of these stones. Um, you know, you could say 
they've been whitewashed, but I think some of the stone colours come back through. So gauge it there, maybe that this these colours are bouncing off that white, but that white's not too bad, and the blues are coming through okay. So I'm see, I'm a really bad judge of colour because my colour vision, but yeah. It's not an easy one to kind of. Do. I'm going to save it here. Hang on. I'm going to save it here. And I'm going to put a marker down. 27 minutes so I know where to skip back to if we need to. Speaking of which, I fancy it. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> fancy a pea. In fact, I do. I fancy a pea. That's speaking of which, I fancy a pea. And I'll be back in a second. Hang on. I'm going to try this. Um, this advert crap here, right? So I, I'm going to push a button to see what happens. I'm going to press an advert, yeah? Add inserted, right? Ah, but I don't see it coming out through the, the thing, so maybe it'll come. Any news on the red door? Well, if you give me your telephone number so I can ring you on Skype, I'll tell you. Hang on, I've got to go to the loo. back I'm back ah Stephen Truthseeker I works work with colors I'm an artist yes but art doesn't pay as well as some other jobs so yeah um, I consider myself an artist too because all of this editing for free it's a form of art isn't it you could do it as a job but then you'd have to do it for like corporate shit and television lying and yeah this is my art, like crop circles, it's my art. Um, yeah, and artists don't get paid well, so you have to learn how to live on very little money. And I know that one very well. I know that one very well. Because I could do computer work, but then I'd be dealing with dickheads all day. It's like, I, don't, I can't log in. Yeah, well, have you put your password in? I can't remember my password. Well, you were only given it yesterday and I told you to write it down. Did you write it down? No. So I've got to reset it for you? Yeah. Like, yeah, really? Yeah, I want, want my life to become that every day? No thanks. I'd rather be uh, I'd rather be an artist. You might starve, but at least you'll uh, be doing what you want. Uh, right, so what have we got? we got Andrewish5000 says, Any news on the red door? Hmm. Uh, not that I know of. Apart from the fact that there were some guys um, got in there who I do know, I could mention them because I think they put it on their channel, but I, um, they haven't got a lot of videos on their channel. It's um, they're starting out, you know, they're starting out. But I don't know how they got in there. Well, I might know how they got in there actually. Um, now I think about it because I remember it in the video now. And oh boy, they chose a very risky way to get in not not from a security point of view from a danger to your life way of getting in um but they showed it in the fucking video excuse my language they showed their entry point in the video which means now that will be absolutely secured beyond belief that that method will be they probably got bulldozers up and out because the mod are absolutely on the case and i've been sending have a look on what do they know dot com or what do they know dot co dot uk or whatever it is and that's a freedom of information thing i've just been firing off question after question about that underground tunnel system and guess what that was declassified in 2004 i'm going to be very quick on this this was declassified in 2004 that underground bunker city yeah 25 miles of underground tunnels it was declassified now i've written to the mod and said um so then uh can you tell me uh what's going on underground in those bits that were declassified um and uh, who's operating down there? 
And they went, we can't, for security reasons, tell you what's going on. Yeah, see, because the red door's all been alarmed now and it's all been reactivated, you see? So what I told people was true all along. I said, this is all a smoke screen. This is all a smoke screen. This could be reactivated at any time. Well, it's like the new GCHQ. They've got stuff underground. So I've just banged off a um, freedom of information thing today saying, uh, because they, they wrote back to me and they said, um, uh, without answering my question, they kind of diverted. So I just said, look, okay, thank you very much for your letter. Can you tell me if it, the declassification of 2004, whether it's still declassified or whether it's been reclassified? It's just a simple one question, yeah? They'll try and wriggle around that. Now you watch, right, without answering the question. But bot bottom, um, yeah. Uh, okay, Barry Stevenson. Thanks, mate. I'm going off. I'm going off on my thing here. We'll catch you again soon, mate. Yeah. Um, hope you've learned something. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on it now. But uh, the point was that um, if they answer with the thing saying we cannot answer your question, it means it's it's reclassified. It's been reclassified. Um, but if they say no, 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 it's not classified, then it isn't classified. You see. But if they if they say we can't say, then it's reclassified. So that's why all this shit's happening with that red door underground. It's because there's shit going on down there they don't want to talk about. Mm. So, yes, we'll try and get in there again soon. But um, I've got some places that have never been used by anyone right down there. And I'll save those till last. <laughs> Trust me. So I'll save those till the very last. And either I'll go down there or I'll send somebody else down there. And we'll just show them boys you didn't even know these ways so yeah so was that to like keep an eye out when you're having a pee you know you can oh, just yeah, no, I don't know if these are done later yeah after they built the fire instance these are gun positions aren't they yeah or maybe you could stand a bit further back and aim if it was, aim yeah. your pee stream out through the hole and yeah. get 500 points which is I'm sure somebody's tried it Somebody who's actually here, stationed, I bet you they've tried to see if they could get their pee out through the hole. It's just a man thing. If you're, if you're a woman watching, you wouldn't understand, but it's a man thing. Ooh, look at that. It's a bit of a drop down. The second floor, so that would have been a wood floor was ripped out. Yeah, mm -hmm. not as bright as I'd like, so I'm gonna just bang that, bang that up. So wood here we go. Wood. So here, uh, what can we do? What can we do to kind of bounce that up? We could get the highlights up a bit, bit of the whites going, possibly take the shadows up. Have a look to see if the master ah master channel hasn't got the. Shadows up there, we go. That's, that's oh, a lot more better. That's a lot more like it. Hang on, uh, mm, 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 mm. Mm, that's not too bad. Let me take the sh contrast down. Here we go. Can imagine, yeah, if you had a party and you're like there'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Yeah. I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> party party fatalities I'm just so tempted to get like something and drop somebody off the edge here like just for a joke hang on a sec let's just see if we can do it right um, hang on uh, what could I do so like um, stick man stick man right and let's just have a look for stick man images and I don't know that looks pretty generic Right, save the image as. Let's put it in that folder where I had it. So it's oh, it's a WebP file. Oh my god, we can't we can't use WebP. That won't bloody load up. Um, oh, that looks funny. I wonder if that's just can we save that? Save that a PNG. Yeah, we can do PNGs. So it's Urbex Longleat. We've got to go into the Urbex Longleat folder. We got to get the Clip Stick Man, and we got to go. Uh, and we got to come all the way over here into the project. Come on, project, please, 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 please. I'll just drop him on here then. I can't drop him on there. Oh, you bastard. Right, okay. Right, whatever, whatever. Drag it in again. Drop it here. Ah, 
unsupported file format. You are kidding me, it's a PNG. It's a PNG, what's the problem? Sometimes it's the file names, you, you learn about this. So I'm gonna go stickman walking, I'm just gonna try that. I'm gonna try and drag that in. Nope, doesn't like it. Oh, for God's sake. It doesn't like the bloody format it's in. I like that. <coughs> I like that. <coughs> I like that clip. That um, thing. Hang on, I'm going to fire up Photoshop and just make that. I want that clip. I don't want it because it looked kind of funny. So um, I'm going to get that PNG and sort it out. Bang it, bang it into a submission. <coughs> oh, here we go. Right, stickman walking ping. Oh, it won't, it won't load it into Photoshop even. It must have been a really bad format, that. It didn't like that. See, see bloody people trying to stop people nick their, nick their stuff off the net. And then they, they do it in really weird file formats. Free Stickman Transparency. Okay, save image as. It's gonna, it's gonna be images PNG is called, right? Okay, let's try that one. Images PNG, drag it in, drop it. Yay, images PNG. Right, so there we are. We got Stickman. Um, he's kind of inverted. So black is white, white is black. That's gonna be an awkward one. Um, so I might have to, because black on black is not gonna show up very well. So I might say invert, invert, channel invert, which means negative, which means black is white, white is black. Then we then we can put an effect on called a, uh, a loom, luma key, hang on a sec, luma key, which will drop out anything that's either black or white. Chroma key will drop out blues or greens, which is like green screen or blue screen, yeah. A luma key will drop out black or white. So we come to the effects, we type in luma for luma key. We drop a luma key effect on it. Bah, see? Straight away. Bang. So now we've got a stick man. A stick man who's going to do what I said. It's going to like, imagine if you had a party in here and people on drugs would fall off the edge. Right, so that's what I'm going to talk about and that's what I want to see. So here we go. So. Ooh, look at that. It's a bit of a drop down. And the second floor, so that would have been a wood. The floor was. Can you imagine? Ripped out. Yeah, if you had a party in here, like there'd be a few fatalities with with people on with people on drugs. There we are. Look. So I'm gonna I'm gonna now show you show you a person person on drugs. I don't know whether they just bring it in straight away, like bang. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is he's got to be down here and big. Yeah, and I got a scale position, and then he's got to go people on drugs there. so he's got to come up as if he's walking towards the edge and move away right so that looks like he's walking away so let's try it so it's like with people on drugs needs to be quicker really that's the problem there so let me just see if i can get him to like run out to the edges quicker yeah so it's like he's gonna go with people on drugs so uh well we could actually take him out to the middle and then just let him drop I think so what we're going to do is we're going to make him even smaller because if he's gone to the edge is that right so we go easy so oh, I think he's going to be right out there he's going to be right out in the middle and right up so, so that looks like he's hang on let's take that one out so, so how's he doing now so he's going to go on that he's gone out to the middle like that and then he pauses and then he then he hang on Saving. Right, I better save actually, yeah. I don't want to lose all my work. Saving. Right, so then dot and then he's gonna drop like a stone. So I'm gonna do a keyframe and then he has to draw oh, not left or right, it's gonna be it would be nice if he could like shake and then drop. Now because he drops down, I have to mask out this lower area so he drops down and disappears. So what I have to do is I have to put a mask on him, it's known as a mask, it's an opacity mask which means that the only bits that are visible are the bits inside the mask. So once he goes below this area, he becomes invisible. So there he is. Oh, is he gone? Opacity, hang on. So, 
Oh, hang on, hang on. The, the mask is in the wrong place. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right. So there we are. So our mask. Oh, hang on. The mask is moving. The mask should not move. Why is the mask moving? There's no mask path on it. You bastard. Hang on a second. There's an opacity layer. Mm, hang on, I'm missing something here. What am I doing wrong? Oh, because it's moving with the... Ah, okay, 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 okay. It's moving down when I move the object down. Ah, okay, so what I do then... Right, okay. So when he drops, when he drops, I put the mask path on. Put the mask path on. And I have to animate the mask. So as he moves, as he moves, the mask has to... <laughs> then eat him so i have to animate the mask so hang on there we are so he's gonna be oh no 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 not that one so it's gonna be about what am i doing what am i doing so this is what ah hang on it's gonna be an interesting one because I need to drop him off the edge. Hang on. Um, what am I doing yet? Maybe if I just change the timing. Come on. Well, it's not going to zoom in. It doesn't zoom, does it, anymore? You decide you do, don't want to zoom now, do you? You, you? you used to zoom, but now you don't zoom. No, you don't zoom. You don't zoom anymore. Oh, great. Now, you see, this is a, like a pseudo-crash now. Right, um... Hang on. Have I got another type of mask I can use? But is it going to work if I use another mask? Unsharp mask, mask, clone, mask, mosaic. No, 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 no. It has to be this type of mask. Hang on. Uh, let's go back to. No, no, no. It's tracking the mask. No, that's a tracking mask. I don't want that. I want to go forwards to the keyframe. I need to zoom, but it won't let me zoom, which is pathetic. Right, so, okay, so, no, I didn't really want to do that one. That's that's not right, so I want to come to the point where when he's there, when he's there, the mask is up here. It's probably still not going to go right, so it's going to be on the edge, so it masks off it, uh, what, what's happening, and then it has to go forwards, and then it has to mask him up to here. And then he goes forwards. And it has to mask him up to here. And then he probably is just going to be out by that point. So let's see whether that works. Yeah. So now let's take them. Yeah. So that, does that work? Yeah. Oh, hang on. It's still got a bit of him. See? So what happens is he goes down past the floor. And it's, it's just the last bit going wrong. Hang on. What's going on? Mask path. Oh, there. Right. So if we come back a couple of frames. One, two, three, four. Right. The mask's got to be up here. Hopefully this will do it. Because I can't zoom in for some reason. It won't let me won't we let, let me go in really close. So I'm kind of screwed. So there we are. So he just drops down. Rah! Now, what would be good is if he starts off slow and then speeds up, but that's probably going to mess things up. They've got a thing called an ease in, ease out, which means, oh, you can't. It won't let me ease in, ease out. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Save it before I play it. Is it going to play naturally? So I'm talking about party people dying. So here we go. He's with people on drugs. Yeah. Yes, it worked. I liked it. It worked. It's fast enough to to not be silly, you know. It was like it, it dropped like a stone. Yeah, right. Okay. So, party people on drugs. Talities with people on drugs. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. Hang on. Let's have a look in the chat channel what people are talking about. Um, Stephen says these underground facilities must connect. Oops. To bigger, more secret, hidden government bases. Well, they don't always connect because that would be really expensive. I mean, there are these these conspiracies about tunnel boring machines and tunnels across places, but I think that sometimes that's just a piss take. Because I mean, it's just going to cost it's going to cost 
unbelievable amounts of money. The Swiss have, you know, several mile long tunnels cheesing through mountains, you know, and in the middle of the mountain they have bunkers, yeah. Um, but they're prepared to spend money like the British and the Americans, even with their, their they love to spend money, but there's limits, there's limits. So anyway, right, um, stick the 28 days later on the edge, lol. On the edge of the, um, over here you mean? Hang on, but am I steady enough? Because I don't want to have to track, I don't want to have to track the edge to, to match. If I move around, you've got to motion track the edge and match match objects to things. These with people on drugs. You know, I'm going to have to motion track it perfectly to make it look like it's stuck on the edge. It's going to take too long. See, that was a cheesy effect, but within 28 days later on, I suppose you could do a cheesy 28 days later on the thing. Um, hang on, Photoshop. Let's try it. I'm gonna have to spray. I'm gonna have to do like a spray, and then perspective distort it, and then I might have to track. I'm only doing this to prove to you I'm. I do know what I'm to talking about. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Right. Okay. So let's get. Um, I don't want to. I've got to write it, and I've got to spray it. Spray it in red paint. Usually, it's like they usually use red paint for some reason. So, um, uh, let's use a red to it like that maybe and let's look uh, I don't know uh, 20 oh that's a bit light hang on the flow rate is turned off so uh, 28 gaze later I think is the joke isn't it Right, so there we are, 28 days later, let's crop it, crop it to the file size because you only need and all that nonsense, right, okay, 28 days later, da 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 da, save as, crop it, whatever, um, let's put it into the same place as I did before, which was the, where is it, the, the one that had the um, long leap festival output, it's going to be a, I don't know, a JPEG, that'll do, uh, I call it 28, I'll call it 28. 28 days later. Uh, uh -huh. Now I could put a mask on this if I wanted to. If I was being really clever, I would turn on mask mode, which is this. Uh, you're not going to do it. Ah, because I didn't do the. I didn't do it on a. I could drop out the background. Could I? Could I drop out the background? Possibly. Possibly. Hang on. Ah, let's just do it in do it in Premiere, right? Okay, so 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 no, not interested in that. Right, twenty eight. Drag it into Premiere. Let's bring it over here. Drop it in somewhere over here. Uh, bring it into the timeline. Oh, I've got to do this over the whole section of the timeline. Now you remember that, don't you? Oh, I'm going to have to perspective distort this now. This is not going to be easy. So I'm going to have to do a Luma key on this. So it's a Luma, Luma key, Luma. Luma key on this, okay, and it's going to have to be an inverted Luma key. So let's see what we got. Ah, hang on. So it's going to, have to be an inverted. Oh no, no, no. Hang on. I've got to do that to that to there and cut off there. There we are. Twenty-eight day gaze later. But see, um, let's not use Luma key then. Let's use um, Ultra key, which will allow me to do keys on color. So it's keys on colour. So it's ultra key, which will allow me to what they call choke the edges, and it will it'll allow me to m make sure there's no white spilling in from the edges. So the key colour is white. Ah, oh, looks terrible. So matte cleanup is going to have to be the choke's going to have to be on. Oh, it just doesn't look right. Soften? No. No. It doesn't like. If I did blue against red, it would be fine. It just doesn't like white. It's the trouble. It just doesn't like white. 
Hang on, fire Photoshop up again. I can sort this out. Hang on, hang on a second. Yeah, let's get that back in there into Photoshop. Right. Um, how am I going to do this? Right. So let's get. No, let's let's do it on color type. So you select color range and you do white, and I can select how much. So it's like that's the color. It's still not enough because it's going to have white around the edge. So hang on color range all the way in all the way in not ideal but what we can do now is we can say grow we say grow and uh, undo grow no, I want more grow I want modify expand by seven pixels ah there we are it goes into the red area then then I can copy that probably cut it um, black might be better. I'm going to do. I'll try a couple, right? I'll try 28B for black, right? And what I was thinking would be probably better is to create a new channel, turn this one off, paste the red in. Oh no 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 no! It's in. I need to invert it. Don't I? Hang on. Step backwards. Step backwards. Uh, invert that selection. So I select the inner parts. Uh, create a new channel turn that one off, paste the inversion in, now I can say I want to have um, cutout mode on, so it'll cut it out for me automatically and I can save that as a TIFF or a TARGA file TARGA uh, TARGA will that, will that do it? Let's try it let's have a look what we got, so we've got a TARGA TARGAs work with transparency so if you drag them in to a project, they've automatically got the background cut out. It's called an alpha channel. So if I cut, if I drop that one off, let's take the targer in and watch what happens now. Oh no, the the, the al where's the alpha channel then? Hang on, I must have not selected it properly. Alpha channel channels channel is the alpha right. The alpha on or off? Why is it not on? Looks like it's on. Hang on. Let me save that again. Save as. It should have save alphas. Save layers. No. I'm gonna save target. It should have save alphas. Don't know what I've done wrong. I've missed a I missed a trick here. Hang on. Save as. Save as a copy. Layers. No. Um, hang on. Let me drop out the background layer. Just kill it. Kill it. Come on, background. There we are. Let's see if I can get alpha channels now. No, might be because it's not got a higher color enough, high enough color mode. Might be it's not in the right color. Hang on. Um, image adjustments mode. Why? Why would it let me change the mode? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? What mode are we in? Image color needs to be high enough. It won't let me change anything. Alright. Image. It won't let me change the mode. Oh, let's just bring it in. Let's bring in the black one in. Hang on. This is not right. I'm forgetting how to do alpha channels now. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Right. That's so all we got then. Um, B. Black. Drag it in. Kill you bastards for asking me to do this. Right, 28 days later. Right, Luma key again. Let's try Luma because it's easier. Luma, Luma, Luma. There we are, 28 days later. Now we've got to change that so it's more visible, like that. It's more visible. 28 days later, just like a bit of shadow. A little shadow. See, I do know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Oh, hello, somebody's trying to tell me. Just make a ping with no background. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look into how, how to do this. So right, 28 days get later, right, so I can I can put it on the wall, I can rotate it, or something like that, 28 days later. Put it on the floor, actually. I was thinking about um, trying to perspective shift it, but I don't know if there's a perspective in this one. Perspective basic 3D. Hang on, let's try it. Basic 3D. Mm -hmm. Swivel. 
swivel there we are 28 days later tilt mm, yeah tilt it to the wall size uh, distance but I need it to um, I need it to corner pin is probably going to be better let me just turn that off let me just do a corner pin corner pin you can stretch things really well with corner pin hang on uh, corner pin corner pin corner 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 pin right where's a corner pin then I can't see it no corner pin fit 25 where's the corner pins corner pin oh because it's um, stretched in so I'm going to say that one there and let's make that bigger that end so make that end stretched it's going to look like a perspective shift then oh god what's going on there a bit weird why is it being weird why is it going on oh I see it's gone really like bleh, in the corner it's like stretching it like crazy stretch crazy stretch okay okay well that, that might be okay I suppose it's going a bit weird let's try this one then it's going a little bit weird this end That's not bad. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe if I rotate that around a bit now. There we are. Look, 28 gaze later. I don't know. It's not going to stay on the wall very well. 28 days gaze later. Let's make it opaque. I'll, I'll, I'll just maybe do that. Um, now we got the. Do we want the shadows or do we want whatever? Do we want a shadow on it? No. 28 gaze later. I think subtle. So if people notice it then cool if they don't notice it then great so put it on there now we may be able to use premiere it's got very limited um tracking it'll track stuff so if the if the wall moves but watch what's going to happen now is the wall's going to move and that is not going to that's going to stay in one place so watch now come on play. few fatalities with people on drugs <laughs> so you know you need it to track the wall but I'm not sure whether the tracking is going to be good enough in here. Oh, no, it won't be. It won't be. It won't be. No, it's After Effects. Um, you can only track mats, masks in Premiere because, well, then you wouldn't buy After Effects, would you, if we put that into Premiere? Yeah, so they don't put it in there. You have to manually track it, and I'm not going to bother. Am I going to bother? Nah. Well, I could. But I could do it. Right? I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. Right, for the sake of it, because you want me you want to see how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to move it across a little bit. Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong layer. So this one I'm going to put position on. I'm going to move it, move it, move it down, and I'm going to keep the two in line with the wall. So you watch now, right? Because this is how I'm going to do it. Mm, right. 200% let me let me show you how I'm going to do this I'm going to find a point that I can I can adhere to so it's going to have to be ah oh, stop it don't move don't move don't move don't move right that little that little mark there where it goes white to that is my my point okay so now as as it moves right I'm going to move this with it right so I'm going to try my best hang on I'm going to try my best to keep it with it right and I can use the motion function as well so I go forward a couple right and I go motion and ah it's doing the wrong one see it's doing the wrong layer bastard you bastard you bastard hang on right so now I'm going to only do that layer probably no it won't do that layer motion what you want ah oh, that's what I was going to say yeah do the motion do the motion do the motion so stay there right now what I'm looking to do is move a couple of frames forward so boring it is doing manual tracking because of Premiere's lack of functions right and up a bit it's boring it's very boring guys you are asking me to do something extremely boring if I had plenty of time I could make this absolutely match but I would just use After Effects it's going up now. It's going up, so I'm going to match it up. I'm going up again. I'm going to match it, and I'm going to come back. Right. 
and it's, it's not going to look natural because you have to do this in After Effects to get it right. After Effects has the tools for this. Premiere is not really designed for this, which is sad because, I mean, it's just making you use two products to do what could be done in one. Up is it? Right, let's move this up a bit so we can see what's going on. A bit to the left. <sighs> You're making graffiti, I know. I'm making graffiti, but in a non destructive way. Um, this is the way you should make graffiti to not actually have to do it in real life. This is going to take too long. Look, I'm not even halfway through it. I'm going to go for bigger chunks. Look, I'm sorry, boys. I'm going to have to do bigger chunks because it's just taking too long. If I wanted to do this correctly, I would do it in After Effects. I could say, look, see this here? Lock to that object. And as this object move, bounces around, bounce this object as if it's connected to that object. And it, would, it would match it perfectly. Um, but, oh, that's a nasty one. Hang on. It's nasty. Right, so there's a there. And when we go go in here, put a keyframe in. Ooh, look at you, you nasty, nasty moving piece of crap. Ooh, that was a nasty move. Right, okay. Whoa, and another one. It went up, it's going down and up. So it's a nasty camera. Oh look at that. Look at that. So it's even blurred now, see? And one thing's see it's gonna blur, but the, the, the graffiti is not going to blur which means that I would have to use real smart motion blur to kind of blur them till they look the same so they match which is not easy to do so oh boys what are you trying to make me do look come on I don't even know where it is now is that it or that it that's probably it oh I shouldn't even be there now Oh, perhaps I'm going too over over the top with this. Let's have a look at how it looks. Perhaps I'm going too far. Save. I lose everything. Let's have a look. It might be good enough. It might be good enough. But but see, the 28 gays later isn't in at the beginning of the scene, which is the problem. There'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Yeah. See, so I need to cut out there. Fatalities with people on drugs. Fatalities with people on drugs. Cut. Yeah. yeah, like there'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Yeah. Out. I've got a cut out there, so I need to unlock this channel again. I need to. Oh, I need to uh, cut that. We need to cut to a different scene so you don't see. Oh, no, that's got to be there. That's there, right? But we'll cut into the scene so you see 28 gays later the whole time. So it's not it's not perfect, but I mean, let's just fade it up then, maybe like this. There'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Uh, I think it works in a silly way. It's childish, but it works. I like that. It's to the it's it's. Yeah, what do you reckon? Hang on a second. So, um, uh, what are we going on in the channel then? Um, stick twenty eight days later on the edge, right? Andrew twenty five thousand ish, right? You've got to, you've got to like um, send us, uh, send us a donation for the work I put in there. My God, Billy Todd message retracted. He says I like your channel, good stuff. So he must have retracted it, going like, what's all this shit? And then he saw me doing all this. He was like. Oh, actually, maybe he's not too bad. <laughs> look, he's offered. Look, next line. What's the name of your drink? Well, sorry, I thought he was going to offer to send me some then. Right, okay. Black Budget. No, that's not the name of my drink. Um, I'm a conspiracy person, uh, says Stephen Truthseeker. I'm a conspiracy person as well because I know they're out to get me and they have done a lot in the past to screw with me. No conspiracy there, actual facts. Um, what takes the piss? is the governments who work for people behind the scenes, they take all the money, send for secret projects. Mm. Kevin C. From the States, I believe. Is Mr. Kevin C. from the States? I think you are. And, uh... 
am I correct in saying that? Because I've kind of looked. I think I looked at your channel um, some time ago, so I kind of lose track now. There's so many people I kind of like look at. I was like, oh, somebody's just commented. I was like, I've looked at their channel. Is, is, he, a guy, is he a guy with a beard? See if I got this right now. Kevin, see, is he a guy with a beard? Lives in the States? Could be wrong. See if I'm right. Okay, come on. Let's play. Play. Today. Today. It just stopped. He said, no, I'm not going to play. I'm going to get rid of Premiere. Uh, not Premiere. Um, Photoshop. Free up some memory. Save again. Just in case. Right, okay. Let's just... I want to play it and just play on, see what happens, right? So, come on. Play. Play! There'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Yeah. Right, hang on. That was a bit... It was so subtle, you'd have to be really quick to see that. And you know, like, there'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's not bad. But you'd have to be an aficionado or somebody who's well into this stuff to kind of spot that. But it's a nice Easter egg, isn't it? Yeah. A little hidden hidden gem. Oh look, my, my gimbal's gone nuts. So hang on, what's going on? Cliff fall. Oh yeah. Someone fell down on the things there after a drunken sort of party. I'll get that in. There's a place that I'll put a thing saying gimbal problem. I shouldn't have to do this really, but you know, it looks a bit unprofessional if you don't tell people why the gimbal's just looking at the ceiling. Um, stabilizer problem. Story stabilizer problem. Just put it up for a split second or whatever, or a second or two. Just to explain to people why they're looking at the bloody ceiling, but I want I want to catch his comment, which is like somebody did die once, blah 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 blah. There's a place that falls in um, the cliff fall. Oh yeah. Think, uh, someone fell down on the things there after a drunken sort of party. Hurt themselves there. Yeah. Somebody fell off a cliff in a rave in bloody Wales at. Um, Treble quarry when I was there. Right, here we go. I was looking at these people dancing on the edge of the cliffs, going, "Look at these nutters, man! They could one of those could fall off, and apparently they did and died." But I didn't see that. Come on, I am trying to play. How many times do I have to press the space oh, what's button? Uh, bloody, oh, I am. Here we go. <coughs> Gimbal's going Camera. nuts. Uh, Gimbal. Come on, Gimbal. So I need to get rid of that bit. Amateur in it. Just catch him going down the stairs. Oh, and then cut to a piece where my gimbal's not going nuts. I'll do. I'll go from there maybe. I don't know. Let's just do a white flash because white flashes are interesting because they make you forget what you were looking at. Dip to white, right? So watch this now. It's it's a little known, you know, it kind of goes whoosh, you don't realise what you were just looking at. Because you just flash them and they just don't realise. Watch now, so it's like. So, so you 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 lose the fact that that's just a bad edit, really. Yeah, because it just white flashes you into the next scene. You go, oh, okay. Yeah, it's almost like Men in Black. It's like douche. I just flashed you, and now you're accepting what I'm doing. Hey. Works. It does work. Technique. Also, boys. So Kirk Evans is saying the scum. Big cocks of my arm. Kevin C says I agree with you. Agree with scum. Street. It's good. It's funny. I'm from the UK. Oh, I must have got it wrong then. I think it's a guy called Kevin Ballard. I'm thinking of Kevin Ballard. How that? How do I remember this stuff? I can't remember stuff from day to day. But I'm editing. I'm doing three things at once, and Kevin Ballard came into my head. It's not Kevin C. It's Kevin Ballard. Weirdo, your brain works, isn't it? Trick your brain into actually becoming Rain Man. Things pop out of it. I commented on yeah. your so, uh, obviously video always that I was once a Freemason. Here. That I was a Freemason on Being your Freemason video. You love your channel, by, great work. Oh, cool, man. By teachers, it's all uh, dead. Dead um, butterflies or uh, moths. Might have been taken out by bats. 
Yeah, that's pretty much they catch him in mid-flight, don't they? So yeah, I wonder how many. There's no, uh, there's no reason for moths not to be able to get out through those windows. Raped by, yeah, by what am I on teachers about? or. Hang on. Oh, I was talking about moths being raped, and I'm talking about kids being raped. I remember now. Yeah, so it, might, it would be terrible. Raped by, yeah. yeah, by teachers or other students. Just like that movie Scum, folks. David Scum. Film. That's how it would have been. Yeah. Racist um, officers and staff and all that. Yeah. Uh, Colours looking okay in this bit. I don't want to push any yeah, too like much floor. blue because I think there's quite it's a lot of red. Come down. Red coming off these walls. I think the white has turned yellow, and there's a bit of red. So I'm kind of. Yeah, they look like huge rooms as they are, but been half height before. Yeah, amazing. What can happen to somewhere like this, a prison? You know, as the weather gets to it, and there's no heat anymore, and a few vandals. It's like a warmy tone. It's a bit warm. I don't know. I'm gonna. I just have a look. What? What have? Put a little bit more blue in. I mean, I've got to sit directly in front of the screen so it's not too dark, not too light. I've got to get right in front of it. A little bit more blue. Yeah, I don't think it hurts. All right, okay, let's try that. Come on, play. Game over. I need SSDs as my video cards, really, but they're so expensive. Game just, on there. Just fire it up really quickly. Yeah. Up here, can't get up there now. Someone's pulled that down. But um, if you climb up there, this oh, goes yeah. round and along the tunnel, it takes you what would have been the moat. But because oh. they filled all the moats in, I'm back with it, I said. Mm. Up that long ladder, somebody's tried to get up there. I think it's a window, isn't it? Somebody's tried to get upstairs. I'm going to put a little comedy thing in saying, like, challenge. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> and along the tunnel. Hang on. Hang on. I got it because I, I, I remember when I did this, I was like, oh, I'm not going to go up there and my hope is going to be good. But I'm just going to put a title in there saying, like, challenge accepted and a bit of like thrash metal or something in the background to kind of make it a bit, bit funny. It's like, challenge accepted. Make it big. Make it big. And. Yeah, I'll do. Right, get it in there. Right, drop it over here on its own. So we're going to need a bit of like thrash music now, which I can. I've got one piece of piece of thrash music that's free off YouTube. Hang on, music. It's under Creative Commons. It's under 2018, and it's like, oh, maybe it's 2017. Thrash. Here it is. Thrash. Right, let's get that in there. I hope it doesn't crash it now. Come on, don't crash it. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the project first because I just don't want to lose anything. So saved, nicely saved. Right, right. When you drag things in, sometimes it goes bit and just crashes it. So I'm gonna drag it in, nice and nice and carefully now. Right, and just like yep. See what we got here. Let's play this track and see if we can find somewhere that seems like it's a bit extreme and mad and good. So, I just want to like snip snip it moment, but come on. Amazing. Yeah, let's get it near the the break. Come on, play, play, play. <laughs> I reckon that that bit there, that sort of well, 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 <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> That's the, like nutty sort of well, sounds good to me, right? So a little bit of a maybe a maybe a white flash off the end, very quick white flash, and then like challenge accepted. And I reckon the challenge accepted is gonna have to zoom towards the screen to kind of give it a bit more sort of effect. Right, so how 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 long is it gonna be so? Challenge accepted. 
Right, that's it, and it's out. So that's the timing. So I've got to go from there. Effect control, scale, put a keyframe on, move the keyframe to the beginning, keyframe, maybe it's like that, and then, oh, hang on, kill that one. Right, that keyframe has to go to the beginning, and this one over here is going to be like 100%, or maybe more, maybe more over there. So maybe, maybe it comes past the screen because it's extreme, it's like raw. Yeah, so I don't know. Just get rid of that one. Move that one across the edge. So this is how the this is how the effect's going to work. It's going to go like this. So that's that. And uh, maybe more. I want. Believe it or not, I want more than that. So it's like right. Okay. So let's get this one down here. Bring that up there. It's going to be more. And I want a position change as well to bring it down into the middle like that. So and at the beginning. It's going to be normal position. So then these two get dragged along to the end. And then we've got save it. So I don't want to lose it. So. It seems to sort of slow down towards the end, which is not good. I want to change these two. Ease. Ease. Out, is it? Ease out. Ease out. Let's try that. Yeah, whatever. Right, so I just want like some crazy sort of like riff there. So it's like, so he, what does he say? He sort of says like, yeah, you can climb up this thing and it's like really weird. So it's like. But um, you can climb up there. This goes round. Oh, it's not, you can't read it for long enough. I'm going to have to. Sorry, I have to stop this zoom madness. is a bit too mad because you can't read it. So, hang on. You need to be able to read it. Um, bring that in. Maybe 400. I don't know. Or 100. 100, probably. 100. Kill that one. Bring that one up. Change the position. Oh, balls. Oh, right. Come on. Nope. There. Where is it? Ah. What? What's going on? What? Hang on. Something's gone wrong. What? Oh, let's turn off these Bezier crap. Right. Uh, linear. Stop moving. Right, let's turn off the Bezier's. Hang on. Linear. That'll do. I'm not going to get too clever on it because I haven't got time. Right, so, right, okay, so it's like. Right, hang on. That's not mad enough. I'm going to put one of my little strobe effects on it, which is a thing I often do. Um, am I editing to post a later date? Well, I hope I'm going to post it after all this blimmin' effort. Um, Dan Desjarin, um strobe light. So I put the strobe light on it, and then we go red. We say red color for the strobe light, and then we turn the timings down to make it quick, and then we go like this sort of thing, and it goes like this. Right. And then we cut, and we come back to the scene. So there we are, and then we press A, we can move all the clips back up to the timeline like that with a little gap each end save it and then we'll do a white flash to go back in as we had a flash in and a flash out so dip to white again and we make it a small dip to white which is a little douche, like a little flash gun like a douche, douche so there we are, it's like a little flash gun now right? so again at the beginning we want a, like a tight white flash so it's like, there we are, tight white flash at the beginning. So see how it works? Save it. I know it's daft in it, but I mean, it's little, 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 little things like this that kind of, you know, Dan Dixon is the master at this because Dan, you look at Dan's videos, right? I mean, there, there's a lot of craft goes in there. I've got to be honest. I can, I can spot it. You may not spot it. You just like because you're so what used to watching television. You're like, yeah, da, da, bit of music, da, 
da, talking to camera, da, 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 looking natural, da, 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 titles, whoosh, da, 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 da. And you go, oh, that looks good. Because you're so used to television. What you don't realise is how much effort goes into making it look natural. Trust me, I don't know how he does it. A guy, a guy must be spending hours and hours and hours and I can't even do these videos in the time it takes for him to bring this stuff out he's just like a machine I don't think the guy sleeps I honestly don't think Dan he might not admit to it because he probably tries to act like yeah I'm cool you know but I bet you right every hour of every day that we do not see Dan Dixon he is editing trust me right? I can't believe he's not doing that and I got a lot of respect for people who can do it because it drives you bloody crazy sometimes so you uh, could climb up there. This goes round. <laughs> and along a little tunnel. Because I now do something really stupid, you see. So that's why I think the joke is worthy. Yeah. Yeah. Up that long ladder, somebody's tried to get up there. Uh, Those doors look awesome. Yeah, well that's why I had to do it, see, and there's yeah. this it looks a bit awkward. So that was flatter. Yeah. Well, I, I I bring a portable ladder with me. I've got a telescopic oh, ladder, ladder in my sleeve. Actually, right. portable and extendable ladder. Well, I deny. Have you grabbed that ladder? I have no lo no longer got this ladder. Though I said I had, I've no longer got it. Think that was like. Yeah, put, it, put it on here. Put it on. Put that edge on the edge of that. No, lift it down a bit. Yeah, no, no. No, up, 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 back, skin up, up, lip, down a bit. You get it on the, on the lift? This looks, this is mega sketch. Well, Look at this now. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like that. Oh, all right. I'm going to go and get some more beer. I believe I can fly. Come on, Ian. Do you want me to film you going? I believe. I, what do you, I thought you were going to go first, man. Right. Go and have a, go and have a 30 second pee break. Count to 30, I'll be back now. a bit of a bummer that was my last beer I'm now on the bloody Vimptola right sorry about that let's press play come on I'm a bloody Vimptola every night and day <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah I believe I can fly I'm taking a bit long wandering around this. Let me just check that again. I wasn't watching properly. Is it exciting enough? Hang on. I believe I can fly. Come on, Ian. Do you want me to film you going? I believe. I, what do you, I thought you were going to go first, man. Uh, oh, okay. Every night and day. <laughs> Cut. Because I don't want to dwell on it too long. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe I can fly. Well, nice. it looks not too bad. Super dodgy. If you if you want to hold on to the camera whilst I give it a go. Can you yeah. Hold on to the camera. Yeah, I'll stop this one for a minute. And, uh, well, you don't want to see me like I'll splatted. Film you with this one. Splatted properly. Okay. Just be careful. Be careful, man. Oh, I like his voice. Eh? Just be. <laughs> Did you hear it? It's my dog sneezing. Sorry. Just be careful. <laughs> I love that. Just be careful. Yeah, softly. <laughs> In the hospital later, we'll be like, I told you, I told you, Matt. Just be careful. <laughs> There's only one secret vault. There's only one secret vault. 
He's only just about to see the one oh, secret no, box go. Don't give up so, so soon. Don't give up. Don't give up. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Come on. Stop messing about. Just get up there. There's not much to hold at the top, or whatever, you know, for like grabbing. You can grab the door, but. Let's get, our, let's get our thrash music back in, you know, as I go up now, like, you know, for a sort of. bit of. Um, bit of sort of like madness. Hang on. Like that. Let's put a marker point there so I can find where I am. Hang on. I don't. I'm not saying I'm going to use this moment, but let's let's try and line up the music a bit. Come on, play. All oh, right. Hang on. That's not too bad actually. That that point. So let's just um, put in a nice cut point. That's right. And then I don't know. See if it'll play from there nicely. Hang on. Let's fade it up, maybe fade it up. So here we go. Right. Here we go. As I step up, the music starts. Come on. It's like ready, ready, idiot. Oh no, no, it needs to start before that. It needs to start. Then when my when my foot goes up, it's like idiot time. Here we go. Ready. Oh no, I don't like this fade up. It's not direct enough. Hang on. Let's get the uh, fade really short. Hang on, see what happens. So hang on, it's got to be when my foot goes up. It's got to be there. It's got to start when my foot raises. Right. Ah, and it's too loud for you can't hear what people are saying. So let's take it down about nine dB. So it's background thrash. I want to be able to hear what they're saying. They'll probably tell me stupid. And I could save this because I want to lose it. I could start zooming in now to see like stupid guy fall. Right, cut that there. So let's get the next piece. Yep. Yeah, right. So I put a scale, scale and position point on. So hang on, it's auto saving there. It's auto saving. So I got to zoom in to I don't know 150. 180 maybe mm, that's not bad okay so then maybe comes down like that so you can see what I'm doing yeah and at the beginning reset so here we are so this is how it's going to work now it's going to zoom in so let's play it with the music as well so ready right. like grabbing Gra right, I'm going to turn it back to editing mode because I don't like this colour shit on the side hang on uh, hang on what's it on about corner pin I'm not using a corner pin now I'm not, using, I'm not using a corner pin anymore. What's that on about? Idiot. Right. Save it. Press play. Grab the door, but... It could do for that. I'm going to do a ripple edit, and I'm going to get the zooms in. As I, as I start to go up, I'm going to zoom in for effect. I want the zoom and the music to kind of go more with each other. Right, so here we go. I don't know, maybe there or no, it's gonna to have to ripple ripple edit down further. I'm gonna to have to move the effects down further. Come on, where you gone? Where you gone? Down further, closer to the music. Come on. Where's it gonna go? Still, it's too loud to hear what I'm saying. Hang on. Maybe I cut the music whilst I'm whilst I'm playing with the uh, whilst I'm playing with the ladder. When I step off, the moment I stop, the music stops, and when I start doing it again, the music starts again. That would that would seem to make sense. Hang on. So if I'm not being mad, you're not allowed to have mad music. And when I'm being mad, you're allowed to have music. So here we are. Grabbing. I'm grab the door, but. Oh, it's got to be the other foot, isn't it, really? When the other foot comes down, 
I got it. That foot means no music, right? So it's like. It's like pathetic, isn't it? It's like music's gone, pathetic, pathetic. He's messing with stuff. He hasn't got any balls. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Oh, look, it's falling off. I'm got a clue, really. I'm just winging this. I'm got a clue. Right, hang on. The music shouldn't have started there. Let's just get it going. So it's meandering. It's getting a bit long. I don't want to spend too much time. You can. So um, when the foot goes on, so there's a moment the foot goes on, there. So it's like that's music back in, I reckon. So, ready? Halfway up. Oh, a little bit fraction sooner. Just kick it in a bit sooner. Right, go on then. Ready? So. Camera. Halfway up. Be careful. <laughs> nice. Oh. I'm losing me off the top of the image. Hang on, I have to pan up, so I'm gonna to have to put a keyframe in. Oh, piss off! Right, keyframe, and then as it goes up, move the keyframe so I can see where. It, oh, there. So that's it. You'll probably pan it up in a minute anyway. But so here we go. Let's play it. So. Oh, I can actually zoom back now. So I can go dut dut and then I can go and when you come in. I can go back to ordinary positions, right? So here we go. So I'm zoomed in at that point, see, so I actually ask him to hand me a bit of the boring this but I'm gonna have to speed that up I reckon because it's like once you get to that point you want to be in don't you so I'm just gonna have to speed that up so it's like yeah so whatever camera and it's like then speed up speed up to I don't know 600 whoa what happened there it'll be the next clip is it ah oh, the next clip has to speed up as well then so yeah so let's put this at 600 and this probably needs the colour from the previous one, otherwise it's going to change colours. See? So I've got to copy the Lumetri colour from the previous clip and delete and overwrite. Oh, bollocks, 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 bollocks. Stop, 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 stop. I hit enter. Oh, it's doing, a re it's doing a preview render. Please don't lose it. Right, save, 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 save. Right. And there's a lot of praying goes on when you're doing this editing. Um. Yeah, Kevin C says, hang on, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Let's have a look at the comments. Um, yeah. I hope you don't actually climb that ladder. It wasn't a ladder, it was a window. Um, you guys actually climb that? Yeah, I do. You don't actually need a ladder by the looks. Twerking, safety twerking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twerking the new ladder thing. I should have known you would have gone up," he said. "Yes, of course, because it was it was just it was required, wasn't it? So we've I think I need to put in the Lumetri color. There we are. Now there shouldn't be a change in the color between things, and it's six hundred percent. So I've got to find the moment when I get up. Come on, footage, please catch up. Press play. Go, go. Right, the moment I'm in, I can stop the speed a bit. Then come on. So there, so it's like back to normal, just about here, right? So save because these speed ups can mess things up, right? So speed duration back to a hundred percent. Right here we go. So the effect is from like I don't know from there. Is 
cut out the music probably about there maybe so it's like oh is that my escape route gone perfect <laughs> I believe I can fly I believe I can now it's looking mega red in here I don't know I don't I don't know I'm, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut the um, the footage and put a different color in Let's have a look what's going on. It probably is meant to be. You know, it's, it's, it's the same sort of colours we've been using up to this point, but I'm just going to put a little bit of a cross dissolve onto a new colour scheme. Hang on. Here we are, look. See, from there. I believe I can touch the sky. You can see all the landfill shoots and stuff. They dump in the moat. All right. So that, um, when you get to that doorway at the end, that would have gone like, out into the moat originally. Right at the bottom of the moat. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Seem convinced now. Thanks, Ian. Right. Yeah. Hang on. Right. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Who's coming up, Ben? Nobody. What? No, it's, it's all right. you're, you're you ain't coming up? No, I'll be right. So the door to the outside, and this is. Remember, folks, right, this is what I bothered to climb up here for, right? Look at this now, right? Ready? Is that it? Oh. Well, no, I came I, all the way up here for that. I, uh, I came all the way up here for that. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> having a laugh. <laughs> You're having a fucking laugh. I thought it was going to be like... I the thought stone. there were like 70 virgins and stuff up here. Exactly, see? It's just fucking, it just goes around the corner. <laughs> fucking, it's just fucking, it just fucking goes around the corner. Hang on. It's just fucking, it just fucking goes around the corner. Fucking. Just fucking goes around the corner. Why can't I just say it goes around the corner? Why do I have to say it fucking goes around the fucking. corner? It's just typical, I'm just all the time I spend so much time taking my f-bombs out one day one day I'll get it I never do it in front of broadcast cameras but my own camera I'm just f f f f f f all the time but here we are it's just, it's just, we can we, we can turn it off when we're in front of our grandparents as well automatically so why can't I turn it off in front of my own camera anyway good fun this goes around the corner it's like dead end So, I'm going to do it. Oh, it's to get back up. Hang on, we're being told you, right, that in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, what the, it's that time of night, sorry, Canada, <laughs> Canada, I can't believe I said that, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, Canada, we don't have anything to explore. Bullshit. I bet you there's loads to explore. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you there is tons and tons and tons of things to explore. Seriously. Right, you've just got to dig it out. You've got to dig it out or just drive to the nearest city, you know. I mean, I don't know if Hamilton is a city. I suppose it is, but, you know, and and that's what it's about. You know, you, you, you know you've got to dig it out. There's going to be mines. There's going to be all sorts of stuff. Come on. Don't give up. It's like, if only I lived in the UK, there'd be so much interesting stuff to explore. I, I, come on. I'd love to be in Canada. I'd be exploring all the time. We'd be like, wow. Yeah, if you were in the UK, you'd be like, whoa. And it's like, I find some of the UK boring. You'd be loving it. I, if I was in Canada, I'd be loving it. And you'd be like, oh, this is so boring. <laughs> so you've got to get back up. Get out there. It's what we would find no, exciting that you find boring. It don't go very far, does it? No, no, no. Hello, rapid man. It's my time of the day, 4 a.m. See, I'm up editing till like 6 in the morning, and then I sleep till lunchtime. Crazy. Hang on. What's going on here now? I'm not even looking at what the video's doing. Oh, it's good to get back up. I'm not looking at the um, what's going on here, so I'm just going to skip it to coming down. I'm wasting way too much time here, like just pointing the camera. I should be pointing the camera down at what they're doing, but for some reason I'm not taking any notice. Oh, hang on, look. That's, is that Matt's grabbed the camera for me? 
Oh yeah. So yeah. Look. Oh, that's that's good. So is this a good place to cut in? It's because I, I want to be up the top. I don't want that boring stuff. Save it. Right. Sponsored by Oh Shite. Oh Shite, I'm falling. Oh Shite. I thought that was another worth highlight. Yeah, Oh Shite. No, that's the company. That's the company that fucking put. put oh, see, I gotta say fucking, don't I? Yeah. That's the company that. Play. Play. Put, put the. That, that really bugs me. It's like, play, play, play. And you've got to bang, bang, bang the space bobby where it play. Fucking put. Fucking, yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. That's what it does to my brain this time in the morning. Fucking put. Fucking. Fuck you. I don't think this video would ever get monetization. What do you reckon? Fucking. I need it. Can put put the the stuff on your grave after you like kill yourself. It's like oh shite, and then you can light the grave. Oh no, it's getting cheesy now. I don't like that. No 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 no. no, no. I don't want to go down that route. Can put put the it's o light. Oh light. Yeah, oh shite. No, that's the company. <laughs> that's the company. Cunt. Oh, it's not under, I'm st I'm stretching for jokes now. So nope, we're not having that. Can put put the, the the stuff on your grave after you like kill yourself. It's like oh shite, and then you can light the grave with oh light. Right. No, that's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, maybe I should have kept it in. I thought it was getting really cheesy, and so I am. Can put put the the stuff on your grave after you like kill yourself. It's like oh shite. What? So what's this doing now? Hang on, let's listen. Right. Oh shite! No, that's the company. That's the company. Can put put the the stuff on your grave after you. Yeah, put the stuff on grave your grave after you like kill yourself. It's like oh shite, and then you can light the grave with oh light. Why would you light a grave? But right. So yeah. So what was up there, Matt? Jesus. I'm just gonna go from so what's up there, Matt? Jesus, forget the joke. <laughs> just didn't. I ain't no stand-up comedian, not yet anyway. Maybe at this age, never. So what was up there, Matt? Jesus. That works. Uh, just goes around the corner. Cut the joke out. Works. Dead end. Chalk and arch. Chalk. Yep. It's got a brick, brick arch. So that arch would have been part of the boat. Brilliant. Just remember, Ian and Matt have to suffer me and my jokes all day. Yep. But, you know, at least we've been up there now. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was going to go somewhere. Nah. Is that one of Nice. Half. I thought it was going to go somewhere. Is that one of the other? Um. Is that one of the other? Nice. Half. I don't want him to ask the question and then we pan away like I'm not interested. So I'm going to cut Matt's question. A bit ruthless, but I don't want to like pan away like I'm not really taking much notice. Is that one of the other? Yeah. Because it looks like I'm not taking any notice of Ian. Is that all of it now then? I like him catching the thing. But I don't know. No, it's half pretty much. So we're going for the pipe. If we can't go for the pipe, then we Le and I'll use the no, keys. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. The pipe. But I'm going to leave it. Obviously, we want the entertainment folks. And, um, you want the entertainment? Get Matthew through the. Uh, you mean like death-defying feats of like ladder? No, I, this is the thing. See, I mean, like he was hoping I was going to go through that pipe. Nah, 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 nah. I saw their video of that and I was not impressed. I was like, you balancing cycles. isn't enough for you guys. That ladder, so janky. Foot come off the top. It just drops. Yeah. So that would have meant if I was on my own, I would have had to have dangled down that. And jumped onto the. Uh... I'm not bothering to. Nah, see, that was boring. Come on. Yeah. Cut. I want to go somewhere else now. I want to get out of this room. I don't want more jokes and antics and bollocks. So that would have meant if I was on my own, I'd have had to have dangled down that and jumped onto the. Uh... 
onto this thing, which may have then wanted to go somewhere. Boom, boom. It's all right, though. Yeah. Okay. So this would have been these. Well, I didn't say to what this was. You didn't. This is all but, accommodation. So this is a. Oh, let's go to. I didn't say what this was, because then it gets interesting again. So this would have been these. Well, I didn't say to So, save. Right, we're at 38 minutes, 1 hour 42, like I said, I'm sorry. Yeah. So this would have been these, well, I didn't say to what this was. You didn't. This is all but, accommodation, so this is in barrack rooms yeah. for the soldiers. We're going to do so a two-part video of this. Uh, bunk, not bunk rooms, but beds. And you can see those, uh, those things sticking out of the wall up there. Yeah. You can see the beds in the other place, but they're, they're equipment racks. I mean, these uh, little spikes, kit, kit racks, that's it. like uh, spike, 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 so spike, spike. Those so spike units would have been the um, the uh, the shelves. Hang on, spiky bits. Let me just zoom in so you can see the spiky bits. Hang on, let's go back to editing mode. Save. Right, so. Those things sticking out of the wall up there. Yeah. You see the better in the other place, but they're, they're equipment racks. I mean, uh, these little spikes. Kit, kit racks. Right, spikes, and I'm going to zoom in. Racks, that's it. Just briefly scale in a. Aye, I'll do. I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do nicely. Right. Like uh, spike, 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 so spike. And then cut back. I need to dwell too long on this, but it's very hard to see on a phone if you don't zoom that shit in four people and help them out. It's not so bad on a telly, but you do need to give people a little bit of a help, I think. So they, they, those spike units would have been the, um, the, uh, the shelves hmm. of the bed. Uh, right, uh, so let's have a quick look at what people are saying in the channel. By the way, if you want to really get my attention, put it in capital letters. Um, yeah, we're lucky in the UK for exploring. Um, Rapid Man Morning, uh, Battlefield Park and Dundrum Castle. I bet there's a lot of caves in Canada. Um, I would have thought so as well. Um, it's nice here. Hang on, let's have a look. What's going on? Um, it is a city, city like Toronto. Well, there's still underground. There's sewers. There's underground buildings. There's basements. There's it's got to be stuff that's built, been built on top of, on top of, you know, like they do, they build things and put stuff on top of them. And it's got to be old abandoned buildings and closed down buildings and old theatres and old cinemas. I would have thought, surely, surely, surely. Um, there are some caves. Pay to get in or private property. Well, you know, you sometimes find them open. This is this is the whole point. You've got to go there and see whether this stuff is, is open or not. That's what it's all about. You turn up. And if you're lucky, somebody's left a gate open or something, and uh, just help yourself. And if they say what you're doing, you say, "Oh, I just thought it was fine. I didn't know you didn't want me being here." And uh, they go, oh, "Yeah, I know you go and don't come back." I go, "Oh, I'm just really sorry, but you've got what you want. Then you filmed. You're happy. Job done." Yeah, but, uh, yeah, above the bills. Yeah, yeah. it's getting late, folks. Let's just, let's not do that. I'm getting scared. Yeah, yeah, above the bills. Yeah. Right, let's... In the um, the uh, the shelves hmm. above the bed. Uh, yeah, uh, shelves above the bed. Cut. Hmm. Above the bed. Uh, the beds. Uh, I'll cut there. Uh, yeah, but, uh, sort of yeah, above the bills. Yeah. It's getting late, folks. It's getting late. <laughs> he got here as well. I'll cut it. He's got here as well. He got here. See, so he doesn't fluff then. That makes him look so professional. Let's see how it works. Save. Play. The shelves hmm. above the bed. He got here as well. You're not recording, by the way, on your 360 cam. No, no. no. Yeah. So here as well, so the bed would have been in there. All right, okay. Yeah. And as uh, if anybody who's not like been here before, Ian is sporting his 
merch called IKS Exploration T-shirt. Yeah. I'll do it like a gratuitous zoom. So have fun. Come on. Today. Yeah. Jesus. Thank you. Scale. Uh, scale. No, it's not. Da, 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 da. It's just like just bang it in. Like I don't know. Like that. Maybe just back a little bit so we can see a smile. So do it. So I don't know. So. Yeah. Jesus. So. And then back to not. Go get it. I don't know. Yeah. Jesus. So go get it. Oh. What happened there? Do we change? Oh, we changed position a bit. Oh, that's back then. So that's okay. So it's. So go get it. Go get it in defense. Yeah. Let's cut there. We're hanging around in this room a bit too long now. Let's start to spin it up, get somewhere. 18 minutes. So we get to the pipe, and then we'll start this up. He keeps threatening to show me his pipe. But Let's get to the pipe. And then we'll start this up. We get to the pipe, and then we'll start this up. He keeps threatening to show me his pipe, but uh, I should be so sort of lucky. Is it? It is a journey, yeah, to get to the pipe as well. <laughs> it's like... Oh. oh, right. See, I'm getting all like childish and, and like having a laugh now, and it's like it doesn't. I don't know if it translates well. We get to the point. Let's see, people that don't know a lot. A lot of people will know what the pipe is, and they'll just assume my double entendre is the rude one. But yeah, because we don't actually get to see the pipe. Because I said I ain't going down that pipe, so I don't know where this is relevant. We get to the pipe, and then we we'll start this up. He keeps threatening to show me his pipe. I could put a marker here and say, insert some footage from his videos of pipe, because it would be good to show it because of what he's talking about, but I won't go down there. I wouldn't want to go down there. Um, show pipe footage. This is a note to me. This is a note to self to put in, to put in a piece here. So put in pipe footage, yeah. So that's just because I don't want to uh, miss a, maybe an opportunity. Uh, it's it's explaining. Be, I should be it's, so it's, lucky. It's a is it? It is a journey. Yeah, to get to the pipe as well. It's <laughs> like that. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this is this the pipe? Yeah. This is the pipe. I I don't want to do it. What? I don't want to do it. What's that, folks? I don't want to do the pipe. I've seen the pipe, and I saw how much frustration it caused and stress it caused, and I thought, you know what? That was only number one fan for YouTube, though. Uh, yeah, I know somebody, he went round the other side, and, and when they popped out the pipe, he was like, hiya, and he was like, how'd you get round there, wasn't it? He was like, nah. And there's a funny part to that story. Look, my arm is hurting, right? That's true, I, I, I don't want to be crawling on this arm. Right. So that's my excuse, but seriously, crawls. Nah. Oh, damn, folks, damn. Look, There's you, you are the professional, you've done it. Right. Another side to that story, mm -hmm. the one with, well, we went round yeah. with Fez and, um, uh, what's his name, Paul, yeah. and all that. We come back round and there was a, a photographer in here with a woman nude, <laughs> and they were doing nude photography. Wow. I didn't film that though. <laughs> so, but dear, yeah, that dear. happened, folks. You've got to film stuff like that. That's the that's the special Christmas showreel that is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe a cut point here then. Let's get it moving on. Get everyone around the pub. <laughs> right, so no pipe then. I'm tempted when he says like there was a nude to like just show some sort of out of focus porn scene where you can't see what's going on um, maybe not it's going to take too much time there's only so much I can it's only, it'd be funny it'd be funny but oh, I don't know no maybe, pipe maybe I've got more time tomorrow and maybe I'll do it but I could look at the pipe he's, he's more into crawling around things than I am Right, so we go round and then go down through the top of the... When he's... 
said pipe, I was thinking like something that's about this high that we could probably just like get through on our hands and knees, you know, just like you know, like that one in the zero bunker. But this thing is like a squeeze, it is squeeze pipe. Whole body out straight. Like that. Oh, no, no. It's been too much for a long night. It's uh, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm a bit hot, and I saw your video and, and it just told me everything I wanted to know. It was like I don't... I'm moaning too much about it here. I think I should just show his video and just say. And that's why I'm not doing the pipe. I don't give a shit what you say. I'm not doing that pipe. Oh, is it crashed? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! It's crashed. Right. You reckon this is funny? I might keep it in then. All right. It's crashed though. Bollocks. So I gotta re-edit that. It's a 4024. Bollocks. That's crashed. As it does. <sighs> that was me, I pressed Control Z and then I thought, oh it's not doing anything. So I control Z again. I went two see because I went da da tried to do it twice and it's like doosh, the second one crashes it. It's like command command. If you do a command and wait, it's okay. If you do command, command, he's like, fuck you, and dies, which is quite often. So how much have I lost now? How much am I going to have to go and do again? It's getting tiring. This is 4 a.m. I said I'd be up till 6. It's going to be a lot longer than that at this rate. We're at 40 minutes. I've got one hour to go, and we've been on for 5 hours and 30 seats. A one hour forty minute. I said it was going to take five times as long. It's going to take. This is going to take ten times as long. It's going to take ten hours to do one hour of video. Seriously, this is you know. And we haven't been putting like special effects, and we haven't been doing anything particularly weird here. Have we we've, we've done the occasional little little thing, and I've been talking a bit. Let's take. Let's take an hour and a half off for messing around, yeah? So you're still talking four hours for, for half the video, so that's eight hours to complete it. If I hadn't had any messing around at all, eight hours. One hour takes eight hours, it's crazy, isn't it? See? If you haven't ever done this stuff, people have got no idea. This is why sometimes it takes me a while to come up with my videos, because I just can't face, or, ugh, I love filming them. I love filming them and shelving the footage. Editing them? Not so much, because <laughs> it takes so long. It's a killer. What's going on here? Hang on. I thought it crashed. It didn't crash. It came back. <gasps> oh, that's so lucky. I don't think. It, I don't think it crashed. It's the oh. special Christmas show reel, that is. Uh, no pipe, then. No pipe. I could look at the pipe. He's he's more crawling around things than I am. Yeah, no, nah, we're not going to go there. There's no point making the effort to go all the way to it. Right. Let's see if we can kind of... Okay. Go down through the top of the... When he said pipe, I was thinking like something that's about this high that we could probably mm -hmm. just like get through on our hands and knees, you know, just like, you know, like that one in the zero bunker, but this thing is like a squeeze, it is squeeze a pipe. Body out straight like that. Oh, no. No. It's been too much of a long line. It's... No, no. I'm going to cut it there. Come on, we've been talking about this pipe too much now, surely. Oh. Right, so is that going to be my cut point? It's, uh, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm a bit hot and... Yeah, poor me. Poor I saw me. your video and, and it just told me everything I wanted to know. It was like, I don't... I don't want to say I'm hot. It's like, poor me. I, I cut to, I saw your video and that's all I told me. Yeah. I saw your video and, and it just told me everything I wanted to know. It was like, I don't want to do that. And I, I didn't realise yeah, when he said here. when he said the pipe, I'm like, yeah, pipe, the pipe, yeah, pipe. We're gonna go and see a pipe. I didn't think it was the pipe. The crazy situation, the crazy thing is though, you're actually here, the location where that pipe is. So right, is it is it um, what underneath the center, something? No, no, I mean it's around the corner. You can see where the entrance. I don't mind having a look where the entrance is, but uh, you say it's a bit of a mission to get to it. Well, 
never mind having to go look at the entrance let's just cut to that maybe keep Matt in as well but I don't mind having a look where the entrance is but uh... you say it's a bit of a mission to get to it well, I'll take it to the next let's go and see the pipe let's just do it I said, I don't like the sound of my voice but, you know, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm one of these people who wouldn't it. want to do uh, caving, you know, that has squeezes and mud and and all that sort of... But, I mean, you know, birthing experiences and uh, claustrophobia. I'm surprised, you know, you didn't get a panic attack in that pipe. Yeah, I've got, you know, two years ago I got a panic attack. I think my body's just got used to it. I mean, that, that to me would be somewhere where your brain is saying, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Just think about footage, you know, keep that filming. Yeah. Well, if you want to take, if you want to take my camera through, you can go through. <laughs> you see how far underground we are now? Quite yeah. Far we're two flights down. Mm -hmm. And the entrance of the pipe. I'll tell you what would look good, Ian. Uh, seriously, right? I'll tell you what would look good. If you want to shuffle forward with this camera in your hand, Right. right, and and sort of shuffle with the torch and and that camera going through, that would look epic because it'd be 360 madness in the pipe. Right, yeah, yeah, 360 in the pipe. Here. Yeah, we have to crawl through here. What to get to, to the, the end? Pipe. Yeah, it, 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 the this pipe. is this is big compared to what it gets like. This is this is like the the best bit. What's up to you, Matt? Do you want to do it? I don't want to do it. No. I like saw his video, video and I thought, no way I would it's enjoy this. It's quite a journey this. to get to the pipe from here. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave I, it would, then. I, I would love to see you do it. I would honestly, because you you know you can do it, right? I would love to see you do it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put a title in here. Nah, let's just look at his footage. Now nah, let's just let's just look. Let's just insert. Let's just insert Ian's video. Screw, screw that pipe. I'm just gonna put a little, little sort of that in there. It's like, well, no way am I going in that pipe. So it's like, no. So it's like, I could put this over the top of the video. I'd love to see you do it. I'd get a lot of bit enjoyment out of that. We crawl through there, and then we go to, and then you watch me go through it. I don't even want to crawl through there, man. <laughs> so you want me to go to the pipe, crawl through it on my own, not through that? We'll call the police if anything goes wrong. Yeah. If you want to pull that that in, like retract it a bit, you know, you can do that so it's not sort of bouncing around so much. Well, I'll come but, to the pipe with you by going in the pipe. Right. Yeah. I but think from the other. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know. I could have done it, but it's just like, do you know what? I really want to, don't want to be crawling. I got the, actually my arm, which still has a scar on it from falling off the thing. It's like a little bit, I don't know. Still a bit scarred there, like, you know. That, that there, right? Um, that was really painful at that point. And what it was, if I jabbed it or, or um, I'm like squeezing and trying to crawl through and I just jab it and it's just like, so I don't mind walking around because that's okay. But the moment I scuff it or jab it, it was just like, oh. So under some circumstances, I might have gone through, but not, not feeling like all scratched up and still quite, you know. I got a bandage on for God's sake. The, the thing hasn't healed at all at that point. So yeah. I but think from the, the other end, it might be easier. This 360. If you've got enough light with you, you know, this 360 will be I. I'm gonna cut this. I don't want to. I don't want us to keep on dwelling on it. It's just like we're not gonna do it. So let's just get out of there. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll listen to it, but I just want to. With you there. now, this 360 will be ideal because you'll get a view of that pipe you've never seen before, and it won't be rocking around cam like uh, 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 be totally level and steady. Just, just, and whoever's coming with you on a VR journey will be able to look all around at just how tight that pipe is. Hmm. Yeah, I well, mean, yeah. Yeah. You go to the other side and then it's easy to get to because this is quite a crawl. The other side is pretty much get in and then you you on your... I was going to say, with that there, it looks like... Mm. I can't believe you actually through that pipe. I, I know my limits, right? I know my... I'll do that because it's a different camera angle. I don't mind that, but I'm just looking at the same wall all the time, talking and talking. It's just, it's just doing my nut now. Right, come on, Em. Oh, don't. 
fucking crash. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting, I'm reaching my limit now. It's way too early, and this is just, this is just taking a piss out of me now. Is this going to let me save where I'm finishing off, or what? Because I'm getting bored of hearing about this pipe. I'm getting really bored. Oh. Oh. I think this is going to be it because I'm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm. That is that is it. <sighs> How many times do I say pipe? Yeah, exactly. Pipe counter. Crawling on one hand with a camera in the other. Yeah, exactly. I mean, pipe is is a GoPro job, isn't it? Really, you want to put a GoPro on your head and 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 be able to crawl properly through it. I mean, one a really heavy gimbal out in front of you. It is. I mean, it's really heavy the gimbal, and it's it's like that tall, and the pipe's only that tall. So how the hell am I going to get? How would they get the gimbal in there for a start? And then I'd have to take the camera off the gimbal, leave the gimbal, crawl through the camera like this with one arm. Ah, I'm killing my because my it's crashed. It has totally crashed. You bastard! See, I told you. I've had enough now. I've had enough. So look, I mean, I wanted to take you to the end of this, but we're going to be at six a.m. in the morning, minimum, and I'll probably be about three quarters of the way through. Um, my dog's got the right idea, as they normally do. Look, in it. Do you want to go at the back? Do you want to go back, do wee wees? Do you want to do your wee wees at the back? Do you want to do the wash? She's like, you don't mean it. I do. Whenever I say it, I always take you out. She's like, you wake me up, but it is crap. You must not do it. I'm like, yeah, I am. She's like, oh, go on, do it. Do it. I will take you at the back now because I'm going to go to bed. And the last thing I want to do is wake up in the morning and you peed downstairs on your bed, which is what she does when you haven't let her out just before you go to bed. So I just got to always let the dog out before you go to bed, which I always normally do. And sometimes she'll still pee on the bloody thing downstairs in the morning. So, yeah, we're going to take you out. Come on, Anne. Take you out. So we have to say goodbye to all these folks. Look, say goodbye. You're going to give us a kiss? Can you give me a proper kiss? No, not just nut me. Not just nut my nose. Give me a proper kiss. Come on. Proper kiss. There we are. So she gave me a little lick. So it's goodbye from me. <sighs> I think. Yeah, it might have auto saved, but I've only lost a couple of minutes. I'm starting to lose objectivity now. This is what this is the thing, here. The 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 point that you people being here has actually kept me going. I can do about two three hours at a time normally and we've been going for probably about six hours now let's have a look so the, let's have a look let's have a look where am i oh where's my cursor what's the time five hours 42 it's not shy of six hours i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to knock it on the head folks because honestly hang on there we go <sighs> my dog's breath smells and now it's on my nose I do clean the teeth, but this that stinks. Blech. Sorry. Um, so anyway, yes, I'll go to bed. That looks more exciting now than video editing. So anyway, you've kind of got the you've got the idea, right? You've got the idea. You know where I'm at. Um, like a one hour forty two of footage. I don't know if this video is going to kind of flow into the next one or whether it's going to be a separate video uh, I think I'm probably just going to go right through with this one and, and just finish the whole Dover series off um, I may put a little bit of drone footage in the beginning and see you know, you know I've got to watch it through after I've done all this then you have to watch it through for mistakes which is like you start nodding because you've already seen it and you've been editing it to death so I've got to watch it through and then I tend to leave them uh, settle and then I will come back to them. I'll come back to them a little bit later on, like give it a you know a couple of hours or a day. Or sometimes I'll just rough, I'll r run off a rough render and I'll send it to a friend. I'll say, does anything look wrong with this? Any mistakes, spot any mistakes? I'll just send it to a friend because they haven't seen it before. So they'll kind of go, 
Yeah, Matt. Oh, shit. I just knocked something off my table. Yes, Matt. Just knock shit off the table. It's, it's, I am too tired now. That's it. That's it. I'm just starting to, like, smash shit now. So, there we go. I'm off to bed before I smash anything else up. So, it's been very nice. It's been very nice. Thank you for hanging on in there. It's a five hour video with swearing, which is probably not gonna do my analytics any good. This is something I was using earlier on on the bed, so that's gonna put out my ear. Oh God. Oh, look. All I gotta do is just a couple of things I gotta get off my bed and then we're job done. So my head's getting cold now as well. So the fun, the fun is, yeah, over. So thank you very much. Look, everybody, Black Dog, Dan, Dan Desjarin, Desjarin, I suppose you pronounce it. You Desjarin, it's going to be Desjarin. Desjarn, Desjarin, Desjarin. Uh, Kevin C. How many people are in there now? 21 people, but not so many people commenting. It's probably like security services. Kevin C, Kevin C, Kevin C, Kevin C, Kevin C, Dan, 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 Anna Yates, safety twerking. Yeah, so, so there's only like some people not commenting so much, but thank you all. I appreciate your efforts to stay with me whilst I edited this video. It probably means the video will be out there a little bit quicker than it would have normally. Um, it requires an awful lot of determination to edit these videos and I got a lot of videos. I got I probably got about eight hours of material that really needs to go out. And I've been saying I'm not gonna build this machine till I finished editing the material. But you know what? The machine crashing and, and jerking, I'm starting to get to the point now where it's like, do you know what? Sod it. I'm gonna build this machine and and take my hard drives over into this machine and, and just see how it goes. You know, see if this one is just not gonna not going to screw me quite as much but I have been like there's a lot going on there like OBS is running I'm running OBS I'm live streaming to YouTube it's da, 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 da. there's loads of stuff I could have live streamed using a separate computer which would have probably been a better idea um, but there we go I think I'm gonna have to experiment with this I'll finish editing this video I'll put it online and I'm going to try and get this one up and running because yeah so it's 4 35 in the morning i i started the, the the process of wanting to get this going about nine o'clock last night so yeah so i'm gonna get some sleep i'll be fresh in the morning i'll be able to probably just zap through the last bit of footage really quickly but thank you for watching and we'll see what's going on tomorrow morning but i won't live stream it i'll just get on with it probably quicker i do and um Yes, if you've got um, any interesting places to look at that are near me in the southern England, not too far, because I haven't got, you know, I haven't got <laughs> masses of cash for petrol, but, you know, I will try and give it a go, you know. So thanks very much for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.